Humping Steven Crowder. Congratulations.
helping Steven Crowder. Chinese food was a waste of fucking time and I could barely taste it, so that was stupid. <clears throat> I hope everyone enjoys my thumbnail of It's a Gundam looking at Phil in horror as he looks at his chicken sandwich mid-masturbation. I ate some of it. I didn't eat... <laughs> No, not panned. I got it from a real Chinese place, man, but it... It was fucking pointless, dude. I couldn't... You could have shit in my mouth and I wouldn't have tasted the difference. Like, I was just like... <clears throat> it's weird, I guess this is going to be a new fucking symptom. Is that this time of day, I'm not going to be able to taste anything from like 7 to 12. So... Well... I don't want you to shit in my mouth. <laughs> you got the sweet taste of ass. You get the sweet taste of ass. Ban Amber Heard's turd, please. Well, actually, that kind of works, because, you know, if you like the sweet taste... See, Amber, Amber Heard could shit in my mouth, and I wouldn't be able to taste her right now. I don't... I Oh, God. Yo, Ukami, COVID is fucking... It's pretty fucking brutal. Um, I think I had it... This is the second time I had it. I talked about it before. That was worse. But I was like, yeah, man, I've been having nothing but fucking Pedialyte and, and uh, Gatorade. Did I eat? I had like a protein cookie, I think. That was when I got daring. And then my ass exploded. Um... My ass literally turned to jello, like Tourette's guy would say. Um, I'm like, all right, I don't usually eat fucking Chinese food, but that's all right, man. I'm, I'm on like a fucking 5,000 calorie deficit. I think I'll be okay. And no, nah, I ate with my eyes. Like had like 90% of what I wanted to eat, I didn't eat because I'm like, I couldn't really eat. I mean, I ate some. I'm not going to make it like I ate nothing, but that would be a lie. But it was like, why am I going to eat this if I can't even taste it? The fuck is the point? Did I say I had a banana? Oh, yes, I had a banana. I'm sorry. And if, I, I'm so, I, I forgot the banana. I'm sorry. Let me see if I could taste this. I actually did taste my weed. I had a couple sprays. I did taste this. Let's see if I could taste that. Yeah, I taste the grapefruit. I taste the grapefruit. Joe Bly tastes the grapefruit and the sweet taste of ass. Minxie lost her mind learning about the... Yo, you know what's funny? I wasn't even going to go into a tit for town. Like, don't... Especially, you're fucking sick. Don't get into a pissing match with DK Oldies. But stay like... Someone added me saying, Hey, I got a Legend of Zelda. It was for the, one for the Game Boy. Wind Waker, I think cartridge and it came great from dk oldies i'm like oh gee a game like you could throw a fucking game boy cartridge off a bridge and nothing's gonna happen to it <laughs> like what the fuck who cares wow wow a game boy cartridge showed up in decent shape literally congratulations Link's Awakening, Wind Waker, Wind Up My Ass, Wind Up Your Ass, Wind Up the Bird's Ass. I don't know. Whatever. But I'm like, and they liked it too, so they're, they're like paying attention now. Um, I think they took like another like little like soft jab at me on TikTok where I, I don't even know. I don't care. I got a PS2. I'm going to be looking, in it, looking at it this week from them. Yeah, I had COVID, bro. I still have COVID. You are looking at a man with COVID right now. 
Um, I'm a hell of a lot better. Yeah, like, wow, a Game Boy cartridge, which is virtually indestructible, showed up not broken. Ooh, oh boy, you're doing your job. Great. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Let's see how this... P I'm going to have my dad, because I don't have the skill to open up a PS2. I'm just admitting it. I'm going to have my dad open up the PS2. The Nintendo I opened and put back together. That I did. But PS2 is like... I, I just don't feel comfortable. Um, we'll see. And my dad will know. My dad will know. In, well, he could, he, first off, you could tell. I'm pretty sure they were using thermal paste in the PS2. Yes, of course they were in the PS2. Um, uh, thoughts on detractor channels. Purple, you wait, you're, are you the same purple pickle? Dude, I don't care. I, I, if you are the same purple pickle, uh, welcome to Review Tech USA. I am, uh, I'm a man. Uh, I don't care. I have my own. I just don't really give a shit. Someone actually paid Phil to watch a video from one of my quote unquote detractors. So, and my dad will notice things that I may not notice with the PS2. Yeah, I'm back streaming again for, I'm not going to, I'm going to stream. I don't know. I'll see how long I feel, how I feel. Uh, fat PS2. Fat PS2. So, thoughts on it. So, welcome back. Glad you feel better. Yeah, I'm still not 100%. You can hear it in my voice. Oh, I'm sure it's still... How much of a difference did... Oh, no, it's not true. It could get bottlenecked by the processor. How much of a difference are you noticing with the SSD in your fat PS2? Which, actually, the uh, PS2 didn't initially come with a hard drive. You could add one in later. Um... Hey, Rich, I sent a video as a message on your Twitter so you can react to it whenever you like. Even if I'm not here, have a good stream. Thank you, Daniel. I appreciate that. Huh. Oh, okay. So you modded it so you could play games. What's up, Mighty Furtada? I'll be listening to the stream in the background while I shove a sub down my throat. Like, are you just going to shove it down there and not chew it? Is Jay feeding it to you? I don't even know, dude, I haven't been paying attention to that. I don't know what's going on. Is it like just a polit is it like legitimate or is it political tit for tat? The N64 Donkey Kong set with Donkey Kong Racing cuz they're ridiculous. Not saying the game is bad. That's insane. Do I like... Yeah, especially when they're pulsating. I love them. So, Mike, I, I, like I said, I don't know what's going on with that. And, you know, aren't they doing things, Slopes, where people are actually, like, putting micro SD cards in, like, where the... You have the um, cards to save data on. Uh, the memory cards, but you're playing the games through there. It's pretty fucking nuts. Yeah, I'm doing okay. Gonna take a nice hot steaming shower after this. I definitely fucking need one. Yeah, there was a... Well, wasn't there that um, PSX2 as well? And not PSX2. Um, yeah, I've, I've reviewed those mini PCs. They're fucking worth it, man. It's just stored carelessly. It's ridiculous. He said, well, it wasn't out in the open because it was next to my sports. Again, if that's the case, that's fucking ridiculous. I haven't looked into it. So. Yeah, I saw that where you take out the fender where you could actually put in an SD card, like where you'd put the GD ROM in for the Dreamcast. That's actually pretty cool. So who's ready for some fill? We're going to start off with some fill appetizers, some fill appetizers, and then we'll lead up to, there's only a couple videos, so, and then we'll get to the It's a Gundam video. Uh, 
I mean, the problem is, is both political parties do the tit for tat shit. So fuck both of them. You know, it, it's. Only AliExpress parts. Dude, I tried to. I'm kind of glad I didn't because I ended up getting my, uh, the one I ordered, the INEO2, because I actually bought one, not just the review unit. I was trying to get a GPD Win Max, but they were like, yeah, it'll get to you in like six months. Like, by that point, they'll have the GPD Win Max 3. It's the Max 2. So. I made it in time. Why are your lights out? What do you have a storm? <laughs> now, look, I know a lot of people are sick of Phil. I hear you. It's not that I'm not self-aware. I understand. I talk a lot, but there's no way I could ignore this. It's a Gundam video. I can't. I can't ignore it. It's too good. There's too much. I came for the birds, but stay for the breast. Breast. Yeah, it's my stream, but on the flip, I hear you, MD, and that's a vow. But on the flip side, you gotta you gotta listen to the people. You gotta listen to the people, Slopes. Why are you not a mod? You're here enough. And I know you're sound-minded, so why would I not make you a mod? Congratulations, you earned absolutely nothing, and you don't have to do a single fucking thing, but your name is Blue. So, Phil has been, of course, when I had Ebola, Phil has been on a rampage. Now, like I said, I understand there's a lot of people here that are tired of Phil. I hear you. I understand you. I understand. Why? Yeah, what, Bruno, why are you not? Just don't hump me and you're fine. He stopped humping, though. Admittedly, I have to be honest. He, his humping has subsided. He, he, he does the occasional thrusting, but it's more seldom now. Yes, my, dude, it's so weird. COVID is so fucking strange. COVID is so, so fucking, why am I too, are you, am I quiet? Is that like, no, there's no way I'm quiet. I'm looking at my, so Phil is afraid of breasts. This is the thing that, I was, stop. I didn't tell you to talk yet, Phil. Now there was a time if you followed the Phil lore, which it's pathetic that I know the Phil lore, this it, it's so fucking true though. I know too much about this man. Like, I make a lot of perverted jokes. I'm aware. Like, you take the amount of perverted jokes I made, and Phil was like, times 10 at a time, during a period. It's like, ever since he married Kat, it's like, oh my God, someone wants to talk about breasts. Ah. <laughs> he, he's like a... What it, it's a gun he's like a he's like a gay man at a Hooters restaurant. Oh, titties are ever oh It's like what are you talking about, Phil? Like who cares? Like you haven't seen a pair of titties before? You're like he's like Quantum. Qua Quantum's writing negative reviews on fucking Amazon because there were breasts in a movie. That's literally a thing that happened. Let that sink in. Who who has ever done that? Like, I could see if it was, like, a children's show that you got a Blu-ray of, and it was, it says it was, you know, it was rated for kids, and then there were breasts in it. That, okay, I could understand. But you're a grown-ass man, like, watching a movie with your wa wife, like, and you, you see tits on the street, like, ah, oh, ah! Oh. Like, what's going to happen, dude? Are, the, are, the, are, are you going to get suffocated by him? And what's wrong with that? All right, this is going to be a long stream. I'm already fucking... I'm going to need an even hotter shower tonight. Uh, hey, Rich, I'm happy you're feeling better from COVID-19. So I'm fucking I. I had it once before, mild version, but before the vaccine. And for those who think it's just a cold, come catch it and tell me that after two. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> oh, look, he took a pregnancy test for a cold. Eat my ass. Come, yeah, come catch this cold and then go back, especially if you're not vaccinated. Then go tell me it's a cold, you motherfuckers. Wish it was a fucking cold. 
would have been pissing out of my ass in case you wanted to know. All right, here we go. Let's have some Phil Breast fun. Initially, I was torn because the audience was torn. Half the audience. God, his lighting looks so fucking. Get another light, Phil. Get two more. What are you doing? Uh. I love my name being gl being blue. Glad you are feeling better, Rich. You're very welcome. When he got COVID, la last it knocked both my wife and yeah, and it's just like. It's weird, and then my energy goes up, and then it goes down, and then it goes up. Like, I almost wasn't going to stream again, and then, like, I'm like, ah, I actually feel okay. I took a COVID test and told me I was pregnant. Well, you got a whole other world of problems. Phil is like Smithers when he's taken to a strip club. Wait, do I have it? <laughs> do I have a snort? Dude, I did a Phil snort before. Anyway, let's get back to this. It was like, wow, looks like Phil will absolutely like this, and we'd like to see him play it. And then there was another half of my audience who were like, meh, I don't like turn-based RPGs. Oh, it's anime. Ugh, anime. Ugh, ugh. And you get the idiots who come in, oh, look at boobs. Look, there's boobs. Boobs. Like, these idiots have never seen women before in any kind of Japanese culture, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, the Japanese have a thing. Imagine that your audience just likes to have fun in their jo and they're joking. Thank you, Scott. I appreciate that, Scott Blazer. Like, Howard Stern, 65, and he talks about titties every day. Is that really, like, like, oh, no. Like, <laughs> I'm telling you, man, I will never let go of the analogy that he's, like, a disgruntled substitute teacher, like, yelling at his class. Like, who fucking cares? It's tits. Thing about women and boobs. They do. Listen, he, his voice is not awful. He should make ASMR videos. For some reason, every anime, almost every girl has to have, like, giant boobs, and they're always in your face, and the women are, like, half-dressed, all right? In One Piece, some of the guys are half-dressed, too. Like, there's a guy there who's wearing underwear. Like, he's wearing a Speedo. Yeah, because that's the artistic style. Who gives a fuck? Who cares? Yeah, I think, like, I, I was playing the Final, Final Fantasy Remake Integrate or whatever the fuck it's called. Yeah, they're dressed ridiculous. Who fuck cares? Play the game and shut up. Go play, uh, what was that game? I bought it. I never opened it. It was, I b imported it. Dead or Alive Volleyball for the PlayStation 4. It's all titties. That's what it's about. Like, what's wrong with titties? You'll see why we find Phil interesting. Because he's just like an ongoing reality show. It's like the Truman Show, except he's a fucking asshole. <laughs> okay? But this is how they've always been. This is typical of Japanese culture. This is to be expected. All right? You can't avoid it if you do things that are Japanese. -centric. Wow, dude. What's wrong with boobs? Yeah. What's wrong with boobs? Centric, anime. This is always part of it. All right? Keep in mind, this is coming from the guy who, in his thir or like early 30s, like would not shut the fuck up about titties and dicks. And, you know, he was making the same jokes in his 30s that I was making when I was like 17. Guess what? It's always been like that. I don't think it's going to change anytime soon. It's time to grow up a little bit. Sitting on someone's stream who's playing a one piece. Keep in mind, he says this. Uh, but, uh, hey, if you give him 100 likes, he'll blow you bubbles. I'm never blowing bubbles ever again. He's RPG. Oh, boobies, boobies. It's like, what are you, four years old? Like, the fuck is your problem? Yeah, we get it. We're not blind. Do you have to fucking talk about it every two seconds? No one gives a fuck. Dude, here is... Okay, let me just give... Let me just be 100 with you, Vanguard Dice. He would have to become self-aware for that to be successful. And the problem is if Phil became self-aware of his dentness, that's the politically correct way to say the R word now. I kind of like it, actually. kind of like it better than the R word. Um, then he wouldn't be funny anymore. Like, if Phil ever was in on his own joke, because his actual sense of humor is poor at best, he wouldn't be funny anymore. So if he ever breaks out of the spell and realizes, oh, wow, I should bank on this, he wouldn't bank on it, and it would be a complete shit show. 
besides you, you're the, the mouth drooling idiot. So here's what you do. You say, before you're tight, here's what I want you to do. Put your hands in your pockets like this and just shut up. Because <laughs> no one cares about you spamming my chat with dumb shit like that. Like, you sound like a fucking idiot. Phil? Just... Do you know how, many stu you know how much stupid shit is said in my chat that I just don't even respond to? Oh my god, they're talking about breasts. Run! Run for the hills! The titties are gonna kill you! Ah! Okay, anyway. So... I like... Yes, this man is married. I was like, wow, this would be a good playthrough. It's JRPG style. I love JRPGs. It's an anime slash manga that I enjoyed uh, previously in my life. Haven't watched it or read it in a long time. And I was like, this would probably be something really good. I bet people would like this playthrough. But it really seemed live. The audience was torn. It was like a 50-50 split on if I should play this game or not. I gotta say, I don't know how you do it with One Piece Odyssey. Here we go again. Here you go. What's, what is it with all these Japanese artists always creating characters with, with huge, over-exaggerated boobs? By the way, uh, Purple Pickle, if you are the actual Purple Pickle, you're on DSP shit list now. I mean, it's just a thing. Oh. It's just a thing with them. Seriously, take a look at anime. For some reason, it's like normalized in their culture. I still find it amazing he's banned off of like every Streamlabs like app, so he has to <laughs> he has to type in all of the all of the fucking donations and shit. I would quit at that point. I don't even I not because it's too yeah, well I wouldn't be able to keep up. I would fuck up and no one would get any recognition for supporting the show. They don't even yeah, why do you think you see him typing all the time like that? He ha If someone donates, he has to manually type it in. <laughs> <clears throat> Man. That COVID, son. Uh, not going to lie, I do s remove some dumb comments. They're just unfunny, creepy, you're promoting. Well, that's, that's good. That's fine. That's something you should do. Oh, that's okay, Spider Sammy. Do Phil and Cat sleep together while recreating the scene from Ride of Hell? He seems... I, I don't even... I can't picture Phil... Like, getting... I don't want... No, I don't want even want to picture Phil getting sexy. Let's stop. Fucking comes out dressed like Borat with nipple clamps on. <laughs> Yo, was that him? Yo, he was playing some Metal Gear game, but that was Phil. And it wasn't like he was 19, but he was like in his 30s playing those games, man, or late. And he was like, oh, tits, dicks, boobs, tits, dicks. He would still have the problem with Phil is that he can't have that humor without going way too far because his humor is of a 12 year old boys, you know? So he still is like that. He just suppresses it hundred percent. Uh, he, he honestly, he seems like a gent. He's just a little confused and self-obsessed. Yeah. He's not a bad person. He's a liar, but he's not a bad person. I actually have no idea how people watch him unironically. Most don't. He makes... Whether he realizes or not, most of his living is made from detractors. Which is pretty interesting. Cods. Even, here's the weird thing about this, too. Did you know the Callisto Protocol was banned in Japan? Because the Japanese deemed that the death animations in the game were too gory to be released in that country. Which I find I just want weird. you to think about this. The death animations in Callisto Protocol were deemed too gory. It's like the only good part of that game. It's death animations. I know people hate my take on that, but I'm sorry. That game is not good. I tried it again. I can't get it. Right? So they Didn't Wings have COVID too? It couldn't be in the They couldn't sell the game. 
Yet, literally all the sexual stuff is one million percent allowed in their culture. No problem. They don't give a crap about that at all, right? Uh, I think they both should be allowed. If there's if there's ratings, I have no idea why something is banned. Uh, Obvious exceptions to things, but generally, if there's a rating on a game, just like a movie, then let grown adults choose what they could play or not. But what about if they buy it for their kids? Then let the parent choose if they want to buy. That's the parents. Let the parent have the job of being the parent. Ban Amber Heard's turd, please. Yeah, but I think Wings did have COVID, too. Luckily, his nipples saved him. It's like, <laughs> geez. Any Phil's nipples are in... Ver- if you're the real purple pickle, he was pissed at you. Anyway, it's you confusing for sure. It's a weird double standard for sure. Um, But, yeah, I don't know. And again, I'm not going to let it distract me or bother me. I don't care. It's a, it's a freaking game with anime characters in it. Sh- great. Big deal. Is it stupid that they're that the women are like that? Yeah. It's also stupid that there's a dude wearing a speedo too. You know, it's a lot of dumb shit in it. But But that's how the JRPGs are, dude. Like you know how they are. Why are you even bitching about this? It's like bitching about Call of Duty having guns in it. Are you fucking kidding me? Uh digging the Philip J. Fry meme. I have no idea what the fuck that is, but thank you. Um Rich, I blame you. I knew nothing about Phil before I started watching you. And now this man is like a 24-7 reality show. I can't stop watching. Phil needs to calm down and get Salvador to... Oh, yes. Salvatore Ganache. You confused me. Try to relax your anus. Well, look. Titanius became a Phil detractor channel from watching my live streams. You, You get to a point where you realize it's so normalized in that culture... That's not a big deal anymore. And I'll tell you right now, idiots that come by and are going to try to talk about it constantly and everything, they're just going to be be shown the door. Because that's not what it's about, obviously. We're not stupid. I was, you know, I played Final Fantasy VII. No one, you know, you stand there and talk about it all day. You get banned. When he paid, yo, someone, if he ever has a, a thing where you could pay to name something, you have to name, make him say RTU has big milkers or something like that. See, Yukami, I can't get into the turn-based stuff. I don't like turn-based. Probably because I have ADHD, but I don't like turn-based. And too, you're stupid. You know, I'm not going to be distracted by stupid idiots in the chat. That's not what we're here for. This is not This is not the dark side fill of 2010 or 2009. Oh, here we go. Which you would have been what, Phil 30? 20, 29? This is not the young child Phil who, who was 30. This isn't the young and innocent 30-year-old Phil. (laughs) Oh, my God. Again, the only reason he's like this is because he doesn't know when to stop, so he just stops completely and acts like an uptight old grandma. Investing titties. I love your name. In- interesting titty? Oh, investing. How do you invest in titties? Imagine you could invest in titties and made a return. Constantly commenting on it and doing stupid shit. Yo, isn't like Jennifer Lopez's ass or it used to be? Wasn't it like insured for like millions of dollars? The, you know. Happy birthday, beautiful Angel Blossom. Oh, I've changed a lot in the last five, six years. As you know, we're doing a serious playthrough of the game. If you have an issue with that, go watch some. I can let you know something else, too. If you have to tell people that you've changed... I mean, you could talk about it, but if you have to say in a consistent basis you've changed, you haven't changed. No, his, I don't think his wife left him. I think that's just some... I don't know. I don't think so. Someone else out there who's going to literally comment on it every five seconds. That's not what you're getting here on DSP Gaming. Wait, there used to be a website where people could go to crowdfund titties? Please... Master Rambo, I'm going to take you up on that. Yeah, because stay warm. Instead, I have one of each sound effect you're listening to Elden Ring. I'm currently eating TH and drinking two streams. You want one of each of the sound effects on my sound while listening? Oh, sure. Wait for it. This is this is going to be. 
I'm not gonna put it in a bottle and breastfeed it to you. This may take a few hours. Try to relax your anus. Your shoulders. Happy birthday, I think I said it to you before. Happy birthday, beautiful angel blossom. <laughs> I am thoroughly tickled. Breastfeed it. Breastfeed it. Oh, wait. I'm never blowing bubbles ever again. Oh, we'll play games. We can definitely play games. You take the bubbles and shut them up your fucking ass. How about that? Bubbles. 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 <laughs> this is insane. Oh no, <laughs> fucking forgot about this one. Humping Steven Crowder. Humping Steven Crowder. This is your life now. <laughs> the salt in his voice. And he blocked me on his, on his fucking YouTube account. Fuck you, Jeremy, I love you. This is your life now. This is your life now. But it's funny because it's not as public as of, of a thing. He won't block me on Twitter because he knows it'll make him look like an asshole. You get a sweet taste of ass. He got my nipples up in the tissy. Oh. Watch your balls. Oh. Phil was talking about his audience, Devin. Just saying things he didn't want to hear about. And he made that noise, like saying blah, 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 blah. But he did it in the most annoying way possible. Cucumbers. 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 I just peed in my basement. Breasts. Breasts. Oh, we still have a journey to go. We are just through uh, the limb grave of uh, the soundboard effects. Now we're getting to the gate front. Wow. Wow. Oh yeah, it turns me on. You know it, girl. I'm sorry. My jaw's hitting the ground. A very intelligent brain. He always said he said something else about brains recently. It's weird how he uses brains to describe things. <laughs> Man's asses. Oh yeah. Ban Amber Heard's turd, please. It's the best one. Look here. Look, listen. Hmm. Fun fact that he said this mm. after his wife let out a really powerful fart. You blew it. Boobies. Congratulations. I love Hulk Hogan's dick and big taints. Yes. Oh, la, 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 la. Who, oh, wow. And the two, no, these are the two best. Which one is Keemstar? I... <laughs> <laughs> Keemstar sounds exactly like the lady from QVC laughing. QVC lady? <laughs> it sounds like he had a voice clip on a soundboard and played it when he was with Aiden Ross. <laughs> so that minus the songs, that's the entire soundboard. So congratulations. So the dense needle, you realize that our time to be able to use the dense until people, until like the PC police start crying is like five minutes. Oh my God. Dense. That means the other word. We have to stop that word. Ah, oh. oh, fucking relax. So about investing a producer, I know at a scheme, which he'd pay for male escorts to get breast implants. So they make more money on the streets and pay him back with interest. Cheers. What the fuck? Thank you, Tickled. The world is bizarre, man. It's like I said, that hooker that you... That uh, Jay had one that taught me, but the hooker who you would... A guy would pay for her to shit on a plate and he would eat it like a steak. But what happens if she had more of like a soft serve ice cream kind of shit? Then what, do you, what did he do then? Get a spoon? Oh, 
I can't think about that now. My stomach's not 100%. I can't think... It. Why did I even say that? In the West, Gore... Like, you know, man, it's not... It's a fairly normal thing. It's not, the, it's not diarrhea, but you have, like, the softer shits. Like, she must have had some stuff to make sure it was firm first, man. Why am I... I'm still going further. I'm going to throw up on the fucking desk. Keep in mind, this is the first time I've had weed in like four days, too, so that might be reason I'm going out of my mind. Gore and blood is glorified. Meanwhile, anything sexual in nature is seen as childish and pathetic, but in the East, gore and blood is deemed too intense, but things sexual in nature in media is normalized. It's like night and day. It's honestly baffling when people in the chat and you say sexual themes in games is stupid for people with no social lives or lore lives because it's a gross generalization. Ralph, if whatever I could taste of it was fine. I ate more with my eyes and... Now my ass is probably going to regret it later. Actually, my ass may be regretting it real soon. Again, I'm not saying, okay. Again, you're you now you're generalizing what I'm saying. All right? Here's here's the way I see it. Okay? It's like everything in life, it's all about moderation. Now look, I've gotten annoyed at my audience, but that's the exception, not the rule. Uh, okay. But he's always lecturing. Always le do I lecture? If I lecture, you could slap the shit out of me. Can I auction my booty? On wash, too? Ugh. Correct? And there's a certain level of judgment you gotta use when you determine if something's being moderate. I'm showering with fucking bleach after this. Or it's being way over the top. Alright? I'm playing High on Life. And there's a running joke in High on Life that the character who plays your sister is getting into a romantic relationship with an alien. At first, you could think, oh, that's kind of funny, awkward comedy. It almost sounds like a sitcom, right? It could be kind of awkward, funny, maybe some Judd Apatow-style comedy or whatever, right? But then there's a whole scene where it's the two of them arguing about having sex and they're shooting goo on each other. I'm like, wait, 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 wait. You've gone too far. That's stupid. You, you know, you get to the ultra extremes, and that's when you're like, okay, it was funny the first time I heard it. As a running joke, it works. It doesn't work when we have a fucking five-minute... I know it's the old one-dimensional low-hanging fruit fallback, but this is ironic coming from the guy back in 2016 who got caught jerking off on camera, but okay. I know it's old. Probably something I shouldn't even bring up, but his penis did burst on May 1st. This scene having to hear these two argue about having sexual intercourse. It's disgusting, basically. Like, come on. You see? Why? So You're that's what grown. I mean. It's about moderation. I'm okay with gore. I'm okay with sexual themes as long as it's moderate. When you start pushing... All right, I partially agree with him here. I always bring up that show Scandal where it was like they could be going out for like to get a corn dog in like New York or get a hot dog in New York City and then they would like butt fuck behind the uh, hot dog vendor. It's like, why is this happening? Dang it. Like, it's like they would force sex scenes where they were, like, completely unnecessary. Because he only has one pulse attack. I'm not saying that yelling at you, but you don't just have one. You have to have multiple angles of lights when you're filming yourself. As the selling point of your game, that's when you're kind of getting ridiculous, right? There's, there's certain games. He, yeah, but he bought in wrong, Foil Grimm. You go like one out there that people are that, that's what they think of when they think about the game. I mean, Catherine, right? That's a game where the whole plot is about a guy who's in a low triangle between multiple women, but then he, somehow there's oh, yeah, fucking forgot puzzles about that where game. he's a sheep or something. Like it's it's like the gameplay doesn't even make sense. You're, obviously, you're in a, a stupid low triangle storyline. It's supposed to be sex. yes, Bruno the Hump Dog. The irony of him giving a logical take on this. I personally think sex scenes are okay as long as they are lodged and not forced. Yeah, that's how I feel about everything. What, it, I don't care about the gender, the race, the sexual orientation of characters, just as long as it has a good story. You know what I mean? What, what, I'm sure what wasn't on Pornhub. I'm sure my ass is going to be on the toilet right after this video. Sexual themes for adults, right? So it makes sense if that's what you're looking for, but... That's what I mean, like, where's the game? <laughs> and that's why I criticize that game. Um, but anyway. 
at work, a kid's mom was buying bubbles for him to keep asking for them. To, had a fight for. Wait, at work, a kid's mom was buying bubbles for him. He kept asking for them. Had to fight not to say you can take bubbles and shove them up your fucking ass. I'm surprised she didn't say it. I don't know, dude. And I think he could still grow his... Like, he used to have, like, a rug on his face back in the day. I don't know why... Maybe that's, like, what... Maybe Cat likes it... Let, I think maybe his wife likes when his goatee looks like someone shit on his mouth. <laughs> maybe that's why Pat's hair looks like a fucking helmet. Maybe he has a woman that's just... Oh, man, I, I find helmets irresistible. Put your other helmet in my ass. Oh no. This is what happens when I haven't had weed for a few days and then I just take some. This is this is going downhill. We haven't even gotten to Gundam's video yet either. You see the point I'm making? It's about clarif it's about clarification. It's about moderation. It's about not going over the top in it. Like it's just such a weird goatee. I don't understand it. Any one direction. It's okay to have these things as an element of a piece of Like I know I look like a mess, but I'm just I'm sick and fucking lazy. Hey, it's my doppelganger, Al's Toy Review. Hey, Daddy Rich, how, how do you do? Glad you're back. I am too. Entertainment, as long as that's not the sole source. If it's going to be the sole source, now you're pushing towards, you know, 18 plus level content. And that's for anything, for gore, sex, whatever it is. You're pushing towards the extreme. And if that's the case, fine, but that's not kind of an all audiences style content that I do. I'm not going to be playing adults-only rated games here on DSP Gaming for any reason. Doesn't matter if it's if it's gore, sex, whatever. That's not what I do, you know. So I. Why? That makes no sense. You say you have an adult audience. I'm not saying play fucking porn. Why is it? All right. Why is it that every fucking game that's like the top-selling game on Steam is like a fucking like hentai? Porn game. You know Pornhub exists, right? You know you could find anime porn free, ver basically, if that's what you're really into, right? Why? Stop. I look and I'm like, oh, what's the top selling game? Oh, it's a... Uh, it's a uh, shoot a load on my face simulator. No, I don't want to play that. I don't understand. It's M-rated. Yeah, dude, I don't... He's... I mean, he's making some sense. Like, I always give Phil credit when credit's due. There's... When he makes sense, I'm not just here to shit on the guy, even though he thinks I am. I have to do, make sure that what I'm doing is moderate as well. You understand? Oh, no. When he said water sip, I drank my seltzer. Am I, Phil? But the point I'm making is, if I'm gonna be no, he isn't upset that let's not. Put, he's like, I mean, we'll see. Like, there's times where like they they have like tits in a game, and now he's like, oh god, I'm so I'm so mature for this now. When you're saying stuff like that to me, it's projection. Like you know that deep down he wants to be like, oh titties, 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 titties. He just won't like. I am so beyond this, right, cat? I don't we're, I don't like talking about breasts anymore. You hear me, cat? I am not looking at the breasts on the screen. I'm a changed non-breast looking man. All right, now she won't be pissed at me, right? There you go. I'm going to be playing a game and I'm enjoying it, right? And you can see I'm enjoying it from a moderate perspective, I'm not going crazy in one direction or another. Phil, I swear to God, if you don't get another light, I'm going to fart on your car. Uh, you look ridiculous with that one light. It actually looks worse than your other lighting setup. To then start doing, uh, who's your waifu? Who's your favorite? Do you have a crush on any of these girls? What do you think about the big boobs? Like, dude, you sound like a fucking idiot. Dude. <sighs> So I was saying is that like I retweeted some picture. She's like a news weather girl and she is like a 20 out of 10. And everyone's like, aren't you not single? Like you can. 
I, I'm not like sending her a dick pic. All I'm doing is just, and it wasn't even like, it was like a PG, nothing, you didn't even see cleavage. Phil, if Phil, he's like, is he in that camp where it's like, oh, I have a wife. So like, does he have to like walk with fucking blinders on when he's at the grocery store? Please say no, Phil. Please say no. I dated a woman that was like that. It was hell. The only reason I stayed with her as long as I did because she had nice titties. You are an idiot for saying this dumb shit on a stream that obviously is not wanted to, to... Rich, what is your opinion? Do you think adding a sound system to a new TV is a must? You want me to hear an honest answer for me? People will probably get roast me for this. I have never bought, I bought a sound bar ever. I don't... not saying you shouldn't. I just... I'm an idiot. I probably should. I was tempted to pick one up and then I was like, hey... Um, depends on the TV though. Some TVs are meh. Some TVs are great. It depends on like, are you going to be watching a lot of like 4k Blu-ray movies? Then I would say pick one up, do some research. Cause I don't know a fucking thing about them. Cause I've never bought one. I'm j I'd rather give you an honest answer instead of, uh, steering you. Why is Ted Cruz complaining about breasts? <laughs> Did it? Yo. I, what did it Ted Cruz get caught liking actual porn like straight up like fucking scat porn on Twitter <laughs> I love that was so funny no I cannot tell you that I cannot tell you that but I could give you this part men's asses yeah of course he was hacked of course he was hacked it wasn't that he was half asleep in bed and didn't realize he wasn't on like his alt account that no one would know. And he was on his main account looking at porn. That's what really happened. Discuss that is not thinking about that stuff. Again, there's tons of content created. Just like the guy on eBay. Oh, my friend accidentally sold the graphics card that you bought on eBay from me. Translation. We sold it for 1200. You were supposed to get it for 900. We wanted more money. <laughs> Fuck you. And you know what? I like whatever, dude. I don't care. You, you want to be an asshole and get your money, but now I have to go through the whole process to dispute it. I'm going to get my money back probably in like best 2 weeks. Which is fine. It's not the end of the world, but it's still like that's such bullshit, man. Don't put the stuff up then. I you know what? I'll admittedly when I was a kid, like I was 19, I did that once. I sold something outside of eBay. I remember my dad, like, my dad was like, you can't do that. He's like, if people are bidding on it, then you fuck them over. But I was a 19 self-absorbed asshole. Well, maybe this guy was 19 and self-absorbed. Still doesn't make it right, though. Leaders out there who probably are of that mindset will play these games in that mindset. And if that's what you want, go over there to that style of audience. That's not me. I'm making content for people in their 20s and 30s and sometimes 40s. I'm not making content for... I don't believe that. The people that are in their 20s and 30s and 40s who are watching you, Phil, are, det are detractors looking to clip the stupid shit you say. The people who support you are either like 50-something-year-old men who have a fetish for you. <laughs> who watch you unironically, I mean. And it's kids. Who's watching you to blow ball? Who? What man my age, Phil, is watching you to blow bubbles? Who? Come on. For a dunce teenager who's going to sit there thinking about what, you know, who they want to beat off to later. It's fucking gross. Why? <laughs> Come on. Dude, all dudes do that. Doesn't matter if you're 19 or 59. Give me a break, Phil. All right. That's not, it's not DSP gaming. You mean like Rich? I wouldn't even know because I don't know what kind of content Rich puts out outside of the memes that I hear. I've never watched any of Rich's content, so I'm not going to say that. That's kind of, That would be kind of unfair. I don't know if he... <laughs> Just like you don't watch Critical's content, but you sure as fuck pretended to to suck his dick, didn't you? <laughs> he does that or not. I don't know. But you understand, you understand what I'm saying, right? Okay. A yes man dead to rhymes. That was pretty good. I got a $2 tip. 
A lot of the folks will go. A lot I mean, my streams aren't all about titties. Titties get, but if someone's like, "Yo, Rich," like we bring up, like, "Yeah," then we'll start talking. What's wrong with it? Who gives a shit? Why is he, like you're sucking all the fun out of your? I'm not saying to like make your streams into softcore porn, Phil, but like you're being so serious. Didn't he just get caught falling asleep on stream again? <laughs> Oh, those, it's such chill, fun streams. A lot of the people, yeah, here you go. This guy has it right. This guy is 100% correct. I completely How? agree with this anonymous tipper. He's a lot of the folks that say dumb shit about boobs and stuff in your playthrough, like when I was playing One Piece the other night. They're the same people who do derail your content at any point and say things like, oh, Phil is married. And, you know, they've been making this joke for years and it stopped being funny years ago. It Okay, pause. If you were a good streamer, you could make jokes and then tie that into your stream and keep the flow of your stream going. You do your... Oh my God, you're talking about breasts. Who cares? You make it to derail your stream because you can't handle it. I uh, wonder if Phil sucks dick the way he sucks the fun at Earth. I ain't going there. Dad, should I get a get an Amico on DK Oldies? It's on sale. Yeah, if it's six hundred dollars, absolutely go for it. They'll refurbish it for you by shitting on it. Ignore that mess. Just enjoy the game. Thanks for playing a JRPG. I'll be sure to support it if you play. There you go. By the way, don't ever think that my game selection, my personal selection of a game that I want to play would be affected by those idiots. Never. The, the memes and everything. If, I'm, if I want to play a game and enjoy it, I'm going to fucking play it and enjoy it. And I'm not going to let those dunces ruin it for anyone. For me, for my viewing audience, no, no, no. Absolutely not. These immature people want to come in here and act immature. They're not, just not going to be here. Or they, heaven forbid, want to have fun and, and like actually joke around and leave their problems at the door. Maybe it's that, Phil. Anymore, it doesn't bother me. Let them, let them go to their restreams. Let them go to their circle jerking communities. Let them go to It's a Gundam and all these fucking idiots, and let them do the jokes there. They're not going to be doing. Oh, he's so salty about the It's. A this makes me want to watch it even more. He is so salty about the It's a Gundam video. I think I have a turd in my ass. So once this is done, I'm going to unleash that turd, and then we'll come back and we'll be interruption free. Doing them on DSP gaming, you don't have to worry about that. Okay. Throwing shade. Salty about it's a Gundam. You, the king of salt. That's what, delicious salt. Speaking of which, you get to stare at it's a Gundam, a man staring at a chicken sandwich, and just think of my ass unleashing a turd. Ladies.
See, it's the small things that keep me borderline obsessed with following Phil, like he's the Truman Show. Like how I said this before, I know. How much work would it take to realize you need more than one light shining in your face for proper lighting? It takes none. It takes no work. But he's Phil. Oh, yeah, we have to watch this Siesta, first. Jan Hugo. Hit a super chat. Says you should have done an interview with Jim. It would have been a good time, but now he's dead. Now, first of all, if he's actually passed away and you just say it like that nonchalantly in a super chat, that's kind of fucked up. Just being honest. No, Jim didn't pass away, did he? Honest. You should say it more respectfully than that. Um, But if you're speaking about Mr. Metoker, who I think you're talking Mr. Mediker, you know it's Mr. Mediker, you turd. Talking about? Um, there was absolutely no way I was doing anything with that guy. Like I said. Which I find funny, Phil, because he's the one who exonerated you from buying a hooker. He disproved that. You do... Re yeah, he had a... But that's the thing. Unless you blindly praise Phil... Oh no, the auction ended on a 30 Dell OEM 3090 Ti. The guy wanted 1054, and then I told him to go. F I hate eBay. Fuck eBay in the ass. Uh, DK Hildy should uncancel the Coleco Chameleon. <laughs> yeah, okay. They'll get what's his name, John. Mike Kennedy, the guy, because I was critical of it, one of my trolls. No, I didn't. I actually shoved my hand deep up my ass with shit on it, licked it off, and now that's why it's clean. Come smell it. Uh, Phil doesn't want to do extra work. He just wants money, essentially. My Steam Deck in desktop mode is frozen on my TV, but not the deck itself, though gaming mode works. I wonder what's... I don't know if you looked it up. It doesn't sound like it's a hardware issue if you could use it. Oh, I wiped my hole. People had told me he had interest in interviewing me. Did he contact me? No, he did not. He never contacted me. He never, No direct contact ever happened between me and him. It was just word of mouth that I was getting from people saying he wants to interview you. Now, the only thing I know about Mr. Matoker, or however you say his name, is that basically... But you've said his name right before. That's why it's driving me nuts. Over the years, he had made very negative content about me. Back in the day, he used to do these negative videos, montages, streams about me, making fun of me. But it's all on information that was proven factual, Phil. He actually proved it factual to the point that he proved... The lie is, he said that, yeah, Phil didn't get a hooker. If he was just looking to slander you, why would he do that? Look, I know Jim's not a great guy. He was on that. He was on the guy who was on Vice. He's like that fucking Nazi freak. Literally, he's a fucking Nazi. And he has like some like right wing show where he has a bunch of guns on his table. And Jim was talking to him like, I know Jim is, I'll put it nicely, has some really bad takes. And that's an understatement. But he literally like, oh, yeah, you know the whole thing about DSP hiring a hooker? Yeah, that's not true. Not Gavin McGinnis. He actually makes Gavin McGinnis look like a fucking liberal. And essentially, you know, making money being a bully on the Internet. OK, do I like that? Of course I don't. Why would I give that guy the time of day when it comes to an interview? Right. But when people had said, oh, he's turned over a new leaf, he's really ill, and he really has expressed a genuine interest to want to actually interview you. And then someone actually said, did you hear that he responded um, to you about, you know, the interview or whatever, because you had talked about him on your podcast. I was like, no, I'll check it out. That night, I checked out his response. And I shit you not. His yes, Phoenix, I'll get right on that. Absolutely. His response contained no less than like 12 N-words. And I was like, this guy is someone who just, he has completely casualized racism in his content. Like, he thinks it's funny to just drop the N-word constantly. He thinks, oh, now here's the thing. I think there... All right. For consistency's sake, because this is kind of going all over the place. This is an hour video. Let's just get to it. <laughs> Mm. 
I thought that video went in a different direction. I'm pretty sure Medicare was still using the N-word as far as I've heard recently. I don't know what... He was on some streaming platform. Phil is right about that. He is right about that. We turn the volume up. Dark side Dark kills the wild animals. I love how they have what's his name, Andy Dick, probably under the influence of numerous things. <laughs> Saying Dark Sea Devil. Dark Side Phil, the man, the myth, the fap legend. Oh, the camera's on. <laughs> The camera's been on the whole time, huh? I, I love their plotting. I don't even know. Hello. This dude is the wildest of animals. This just might be the slowest day I've had. Yeah, Andy Dick has went down. He fell down a fucking hit hole. I don't even have a thousand bits yet. Cheered. I don't even have ten dollar tip. Like this is horrible. So I'm actually glad we're near the end of the game. This just really sucks because I really need the help right now with tips in particular. And this is the slowest stream I've... Or he needs to make it into an actual podcast because it's not a podcast. It's just him rambling. ...seen in a million years. It's over. We are screwed. Isn't it refreshing that you're going to be on this marathon stream today and someone is not going to constantly be trying to you to spend money? Isn't that good? I like that. 12 seconds later. It's a, it's for $100 or more tip, it's one shot. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, breaks. It's kind of like I do the 50 dono for the shirt or for me to hit the, the entire soundboard. Um, I don't really mind that. It's when you're like, guys, come on. I only made XYZ tonight. Tomorrow I have to go out with the wife. I got to feed the cat. I got to get clean my dog's diarrhea and how am I going to like this is terrible the the engagement aka meaning money it's just not there that I'm I have like I'll roast Phil all day about I received a legitimate 125 yeah it's a little high to, I wouldn't take money to do shots no matter what I wouldn't want to go down that rabbit hole personally but I mean, I will say, if you want to be really objective, that is a little high. It's a little, it's a little extreme. Maybe he did that though in his defense because he didn't want to get shit faced. Maybe. Why am I overthinking this? Who really gives a fuck? Five dollar tip. So I got to do about halfway for a shot. Oh, isn't it refreshing <laughs> that you're going to be on this marathon stream today and someone is not going to constantly be trying to get you to spend money? This video is sponsored by Raycon. Sleek, stylish, the look, the feel, the vibe. It's a lifestyle. And they come in colors to match your aesthetic. Hey, by the way, sounds better than ever. And don't get me started on those gel tips that don't hurt your ears after prolonged use. They also offer 8 hours of playtime and 32 hours of battery life. Raycons are priced on the right side of affordable, while other earbuds can cost you as much. When I watch other people's videos, I always play the ads. As much as $300. Raycons everyday earbuds have over 50,000 five-star reviews. They are Why does that woman look like she hasn't washed her hair in like six months? Also feature three customizable sound profiles, earbud tapping functions, noise isolation, and awareness mode. You have no idea how useful this is, when walking into a building while trying to take off your motorcycle helmet with music blaring. Now, as soon as someone starts talking, you can unfortunately hear them. Click the link in the description or go to buyraycon.com slash it's a Gundam to get 15% off your Raycons today. Okay, I did. A sh that's an actual shot. This is a double This is a double shot glass. That's an actual shot. I took one shot. Okay. Uh. Now, if... I would, Here's what I would recommend. If you want to do... This is where Phil goes downhill, though, because now he's over-explaining it. Uh, two shots. 
do two one hundred dollar tips. If you want two shots, that way it's separated. It you know don't do oh I did two hundred dollar tip and I want two. All right, now he's now we could argue that he's sneaking in the begging. The begging has now he slid the begging in. Two shots, just do two one hundred dollar tips. Not a bad deal if I say so myself. <laughs> Kill me, please. I'd want to die. Yeah, I hear some of you out there going, But Boogie2988 went bankrupt with Bitcoin. <laughs> so what? We don't know if Cat left Darkside Phil. And to avoid scrutiny, he's paying a young boy to wear a wig and be seen what? out with him in public in a car, posing as Cat. This is just my theory, but the photo seems pretty damning. Bro, I'm telling you, DSP, for many of us, I still think he looks like a, a cockatoo right there. I don't know why. Uh oh. Why is there a motion at my door? The fuck is that? It's like a Discovery Channel reality TV show drama. Women have 90 day fiance and. My Thank you. This is what I'm saying. Phil is like a reality show to me. My 600 pound life. It's the burrito sales. Jesus, that guy. I've never seen that guy from a side profile. Holy shit. I have. Dark Sea. Death Hill. So what's been up with Philbert since my last video? Well, DSP went into a begging black hole, the likes of which you've never seen. This dude was sending out emergency tweets telling fans to support him by coming to his stream and giving him money. That's what support is. Don't just watch, you fool. Things are rough right now. Phil only has $5 on the chat board. If you guys could come in and support, I'd really appreciate it. It's a slow night. You talk about Phil? Foil hey, guys. DSP talks like a deli butcher on 6th Avenue from the 1970s. It's a slow night here at Nunzio's. Nobody's buying my baked ziti. So basically, <laughs> this has been going on for a while. There's a lot of begging segments. He's needing money. Please, you got. Dude, I've done shit like that. Don't feel bad, Pacific. It happens. Doesn't matter how much experience you have, especially if you especially try to fix shit when you're tired. Trust me, I know. Guys, if you could help. Uh, oh, there was the time when DSP was. Wait, where is this DSP? doll from and where can i get it's it like he need i need it dude i would have that as a character i would be f like yelling at it and fighting with it and farting on it need money so he could go out on his day off with his wife and have a nice day and buy a nice meal today and tomorrow is the money that i have for monday okay for my day off so please if you can please tip and the goals tonight are as usual at 50 dollars gunner glasses He's now learned his lesson, though, from even though people like me have been telling him for almost a decade, Phil, stop begging. Critical says it once, and he is a changed man. Thank you very much, and breasts. Breasts. Uh, okay. <laughs> you know, boobs. Whoa, is that baby drinking from your boob? At hundred dollars, these come off. No, you don't need a subscription for a ring doorbell now. Because this I don't think so anyway. The real life Dumas hat. We did hit the goal earlier today, which I was very appreciative of. Uh, it would be great if we could do it again tonight and see the real life Dumas. Hat. I had co. I still have COVID. Hat in effect. Okay. I am at the tail end of COVID. Hey, um, and we hit the full goal tonight of one hundred fifty. I'll put on the platinum vest and it'll look like I'm wearing a suit of armor along. With the Dumas hat. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's what I want to see. Nothing. That is my dream come true, seeing Phil in a suit of armor. Okay. So that's what we're doing. And uh, Mythical says, what do you need money for on Monday? Gee, what do you think, Mythical? Uh, let's see. Grocery shopping. Having one meal out a week with my wife. Um, uh, pet stuff this week. We're actually last week. But back. Okay, Phil, maybe you're a changed man. We'll see how long it lasts. But why is this your audience's problem? It was like nothing. This week, there's pet stuff I need to get. <laughs> this is money, all. Money, please. Oh, no, no. There's no money. Oh. <sighs> money, please. Money, please. Darkside Phil, if you're a fan, 
of this guy. It's like having a kid, but you gotta give him allowance every day, two times a day. It's expensive to be a Dark Side Phil fan. It's true, because it's not like he even has like a 500 plus sub viewership. He has like the same three to 400 people watching every day. You know what I mean? Like, it's the same pockets that have to be opened. I'd rather support Pokimane. She's a cheaper date. Isolation that holds people accountable for the actions that they do online. Oh, God, remember those broads? Line. It's a Gundam to me, Dallas, and big thank you for the good work. Oh, look what I can do online. <laughs> I'm a mature adult with a business degree. <laughs> sure, Phil. Dad, it's been six months. Thank you. Finally got brown turd cucumber. <laughs> Glad to see you're doing much better. Can I get six different sounds? Your choice. Yeah. Uh, yes, you can. Uh, sorry you got negative. I'm telling you, Rich, look up Vault. The fuck is Vault? What are you talking about? Yes, you could get six different sounds. Oh, yeah. It turns me on. You know it, girl. Ban Amber Heard's turd, please. Congratulations. Wow. Wow. You get the sweet taste of ass. Was that six sounds? I already, I already forgot. I'll give you one more for the hell of it. No, not that one. <laughs> That's 100% a lot. Thank you, Phil. It's been tough. You know, my life has been tough. Oh. I'm good at lying. I agree with you. Why am I toxic? I have nothing to get rid of the toxicity. I'm a thief. I'm a scammer. I'm a liar. Let me keep going. Show me the money. Oh. Save the pig. Whining and complaining. <laughs> I need that money. I really do. I need that money. I did absolutely nothing wrong. I wish I could see the whole clip from that from because I'm sure it was him complaining either about back taxes or the fact that he has a second mortgage, which he put upon himself by not getting his own house paid off or his old house sold or paid off first. I'm kicked out of the Twitch partner program. Holy shit. That is an epic <laughs> intro, dude. I did nothing to do. But not Luke Lake. I really love to. Well, anyway, one day Moist Critical got a load of DSP and talked about it for five seconds. And oh my god, the five seconds of Moist Critical did more damage to Dark Side Phil than my two hour videos. I should elaborate further on the boogie drama for those who don't know and probably don't care. Yes. From what I understand, the Juggernaut allegedly gave the Boogster some bad advice. Unfortunately for Boogie, he wasn't my friend. I would have helped him out. I would have said, Boogie, leave the crypto alone. You don't know what you're doing. And for God's sake, stop it with the sugar babies. All right, guys. I'm going to be I'm gonna be honest with you. The one thing I'll be critical, but he should have never made the I'm finally rich video. I'm frustrated for two reasons. If I ever became a millionaire or multimillionaire, you know who would never know? Don't take it personally. You guys. Nope. Reason number one, because yeah, the game does suck. Um, I really did not like tonight's stream, and in addition to that, as you guys oh, this see, was I scoring, right? This was scoring. Basically, it amounted to nothing. Um, no one's really supported, which pisses me off. It God does. Yeah, I'm playing a game. Obviously, it's frustrating. A lot of people showed up to watch it because you saw how frustrating it was, and no one supported. Yeah, that does upset me. Oh no, it's an okay Aqua Pacific Teal Productions. But well, at least there's nothing wrong with your Steam watching. deck. The absolute worst possible scenario for Filbert. Okay. Which is funny because his videos are barely edited. Again, it's just coming from Phil's streams. But if you're not watching a... If you're not sifting through the 58 billion hours Phil uploads a day and watching that, then you're a detractor because you have to watch other people's channels because they're not editing it. They're not taking shit out of context. They're just sifting through all the shit for you. But that to Phil is a mortal sin. Oh, stop it, Phil. It would have been one thing if I'm staying late and people are laughing, having a good time, and a few people are at least supporting the stream, but no one did. And that really upsets me. Um, I'm going to hope that tomorrow when I finish it, uh, there will be some support. Because it is pissing me off that I just stayed extra late and I got nothing for Pissing me off. He's making it like, yo, he worked overtime at a factory and then they told him they aren't giving him time and a half because it's not a holiday. They made a mistake. 
you know, the game's not even good. Yeah, he just goes full you mask know, off. For me, I Bro, the mask was never on. Your channel, the King of Hate HD, and click on the ads. He still cuts a stream into. I don't pay it. See, he thinks I sniff every fart out of his ass. I don't pay attention, does he? No, come on. He's still doing that shit like it's 2010. <laughs> Why does he look like Curly from the Three Stooges? Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't do it. I actually could do a good impression, but I, the COVID won't allow me. The fucking COVID won't allow me. You son of a bitch. He looks like Curly from the Three Stooges. <laughs> they show up on the videos there, but this hopefully, you know, fingers crossed, that actually starts giving me some, some money back. <laughs> I can't believe it. And, th and then he lies and said he never said it. Then he lies and said he never said it. That is amazing. I remember that. I remember before I even knew who It's a Gunda was. I'm like, Phil, I heard you say it before. You've said it a couple times to tell people to click on the ads. It's like the number one thing you're not supposed to do. Like, that's instant ban. And you did it. One time indirectly, but it was still direct enough. And one time you just said flat out, click on the ads. Uh. Camelot, how are you? The Tipple King? No, I want to be the Tipple King, not the Nipple King. It's a whole new level. Was You punched a microwave? I punched a wall one time so I can relate that. And, yo, know, I, I if I actually was a millionaire, I would just build a room for VR. I'm not kidding. That's the problem. I have nowhere to like comfortably use VR right now. <laughs> for the rest of us, it's like, this is DSP on the Dizaily. That's what I love about him. He's a wild animal. <laughs> Moist doesn't even know. Dark side Phil charged two grand for his fantasy a cat. Let's Quack. go. Team tipped a dollar. He said, well, Yeah, that's like. <laughs> uh, they're probably brought the pug on. Could you imagine if I got Pippa? I was like, yo, give me a thousand. I got the biggest surprise for you guys ever. If we get a thousand dollar goal, the biggest surprise. I got a surprise coming for you. Well, you actually, you could thank Wes for doing the 12 hour stream. That is, oh, it's pretty much confirmed in the bag, but I still won't talk about it. And you, and I didn't charge. I actually didn't charge. Well, for a 12 hour stream, it was 250. <laughs> and I think the surprise I have coming is pretty kick ass. I didn't charge you two grand to see an animal. Everyone has dogs, everyone has cats. And he, didn't he say his hair is the way it is because he's Italian, by the way? I li Someone sent me that video today. It was... <laughs> oh, my God, I can't. I don't know if I'll be able to make it through this fucking video today. I'm going to pass out first. Wings of DSP. Band animal makes me look like an ad animated Hitler. What are you talking about? $1,000 cat DLC. Well, it's not a DLC. Yeah, 1000 to show us your... I, yeah. Yeah, sure. To throw the 1000 I'll show you my... Go hold your breath. I'll even, I'll make it, I'll make, I'll whistle out of it too. DLC, but it certainly is some, you know, information you guys had no idea about. It's something that I want. No idea about. Charge a thousand. Charge a thousand. I wanted to share with all of you. Then goes on to say, like, he doesn't even know if he'll be able to afford Gotham Knights on Friday because no one has donated enough and he's. <laughs> Your audience is probably doing you a favor. I heard that that game was on sale recently and I still didn't pick it up. Can we get some demolition, man? What do you mean? Oh man, the COVID is making me sound like David Hayter now. Colonel, this is Snake. Can you hear me? Loud and clear. He's not sure if they'll donate enough tomorrow. Snake, use the COVID-19 to clear out your asshole and wipe thoroughly. I already did, Colonel. But that's his whole brand now. People watch DSP for like the shit show of it. Like if you type in Dark Side Phil, for example, like I, I'm gonna test this. I, I'm not logged in on my main account here, so I guess we'll see. Yeah, his channel is the fourth thing there. <laughs> the third thing was him jerking off.
Oh, God. Oh, man. Is the COVID going to let me get through this? I don't know if I can take it. I still think DSP's biggest contribution to all of the internet is when he jerked off on stream. Now, that actually iconic. He not only jerked off, he blew a load and then immediately just started streaming. That is true. Where did the cum go, Phil? Where did the cum go? The cum had to go somewhere. You shooting blanks? Yo, then he's the fastest. I mean, I didn't know what was going on from the waist down. Thank God. But, yo, he is the fastest tick tissue picker. Like, even if it was in his hand and his cock was in his other. Like, there, it, it, you just... We need forensics done on that video. I want to know where his load went. I'm calling CSI. Uh, DSB is trying so hard to be wholesome. Yeah, I don't get it. Why do you want to be wholesome? Dude, no one wants wholesome. If people want wholesome, they'll go watch fucking CBS. Not you or me. It was so f it, it, That was like an actual Top G maneuver, unironically. I gotta go so hard for that. Maybe he just blew a load right on the touchpad of the Dual Sent Dual Shock 4. I don't even know what to call the jerk off segment. It was definitely one of the top 10 moments of you. Yes. <laughs> I never saw this. Yo, Lily, uh, here's a thing I will say about Lily Singh. Yeah, she's not funny, but I think she's hot as hell, though. Anyway, I think that's that's the weed talking. I'm going to shut the fuck up now. <laughs> Too mystery. Bro, he didn't even pick up his pants, dude. <laughs> like, he just probably left his dick out. You know, Phil is like leaning back and forth. But his dick flopping around, playing it cool. He's like, oh, the camera's from the neck down. Nobody can see this. <laughs> no, he was, we've already figured this out. It's confirmed. I know it's speculation. I wasn't there filming his dick. Again, thank God. But he was making sure there was no angle he was at where you could see his mushroom. That's what he was. <laughs> How fun. <laughs> How funny it would have been though, if yo, if he, <laughs> if he shot some like massive rope that like went over his fucking shoulder, <laughs> you would have been banned from YouTube then. Could you imagine though? And then he just tried to deny it. He's like, yeah, it was dish. It was it was uh, soap. So how does soap shoot over your shoulder like that, Phil? If I make movements like I'm pulling up my pants, they'll know for sure. He was playing 4D chess that day. So anyway. No, I 100% think he was making sure you couldn't see his penis. 100%. I'm a, I would bet the fucking farm on that. The moist one talks about Phil, and of course, the piglets get back to the Adolf Snortler. Let's go with that. On October 10th, 2022. The crying jo aren't those the crying Jordan eyes? Moist critical mentioned me. Why does he always say people's names like that? Like this one too. Humping Steven Crowder. Why does he say humping Steven Crowder? I mean, it makes it funnier. Thank you, Phil. But we've already invested, dude. I have. There's nothing else I could do with that video. No, no pun intended. I've beat, I've beaten it to death. <laughs> There's nothing else I could do with that video, unless he admits something. Me in a latest video, this Mario level took seven years to beat. Okay, I'm sure it's got to be a negative meme about me then, because. I can't imagine how I apply to a Mario level that took seven years to beat. I have no idea. Well, of course it'd be negative, Phil. You haven't done anything positive to be real. Like, what has DSP done that was positive? I can't think of anything. I remember when he gave away, like, empty game box. <laughs> yes, he did. He gave away gameless game boxes. And, this, and the thing that makes that worse is that he was rolling in dough. That's like when I did the Switch OLED giveaways. And I was like, 
you're not actually getting the switch. I'll give you a box with my signature in it. <laughs> the fuck, but the to toilet paper without my signature is worth more. Fuck is wrong with you? Boxes and he signed his name to the box. That was like his big philanthropy moment back in the day. All right, what is up, everybody? Dark Side Phil here, and welcome to the Hardcore Gaming Season Giveaway of 2013. All right, the very first item I'm giving away is Deus Ex Human Revolution's Collector's Edition content. So let me show you what exactly that is. Okay, this is Deus Ex Human Revolution. But I love how he doesn't say it's not the game until after he's like, oh, you're not getting the game. Collector's Edition comes with this very nifty collector's box on the inside. Comes with a few things. First of all, collector's edition packaging. As you open that up, you're going to see the game's gone because I traded it in years ago. Just how he presents it, too. Now, a normal person who's not fucking Phil would say, okay, look. Well, first off, they wouldn't, most people wouldn't be self absorbed enough to think that their its signature is worth every, anything. But they'd be like, look. Why? No, fuck it. Why would you give away a box? No, I'm not signing an empty box. <laughs> Why would you? Dude, I can't. And like, here's the thing. This is when like Phil was like killing it. Killing it. And this is when ad revenue on you on to YouTube was fucking delicious. I wish I was like, I, this is when I was still a, a young buck on YouTube. I was, what year was this? Like 2011? I think this is when I just got partnered. But it does have the second bonus disc that probably has the behind the scenes content and stuff. He doesn't even know it's on like it. Like that? Okay. Yeah, how much would you like to have that autographed by me? Pretty cool, right? It'd be funny if it weren't so pathetic. No, what the Come on, Gundam, you don't know about when he fucking, the alarm was going off? And he, did, and he decided to upload the pre-recorded video anyway. See, this is when COVID's weird. Now my seltzer tastes like asshole. Uh, I get another one. The heck, I'll laugh anyway. <laughs> I gotta be Gundam's making the chick. I know I've been taught threatening about seven years. I need to make the chick. If no one has made the chicken, the chicken saga... The pulsating chicken sandwich saga alone is enough to make a video on because it's so ridiculous. It has to be done. Uh, if Phil wasn't so self-aware about the incident, there's a good chance that he would get money. Guess who says it when he, because he actually talks about me uh, in here. It's a Gundam. He says the same thing. Well, you'll see. I won't, I won't spoil it. On October 23rd, DSP had the big announcement for his followers. Let's talk big releases. Basically, uh, Darkside Phil talks about how Moist Critical and other big YouTubers mention him all the time. Because we're all bottom feeders. Yeah, and it's funny because so many people on the internet... Yes, I can no longer taste anything again. Yes. ...know who I am, right? Let's be honest here. The biggest YouTubers out there... I mean, what's his, what's his name? Uh, Moist Critical literally a week or two ago references me in his video. Um... The biggest YouTubers out there who get millions of views a day know who I am and reference me regularly. And they all reference memes. But none of them ever want to actually give me a chance to do anything. Oh my god, Phil, fuck you, that's a lie. He's going to say it here. Maybe I am spoiling what I just said I wouldn't spoil. But yeah, I've been trying to get you on here for years. Not because I want to shit on you, Phil. I told you I'd block the fucking chat. You fascinate me. I want to know how your brain works. But here's the thing I have to accept myself as much as you fascinate me. I don't even think you know how your own brain works. What, like, why you operate the way you do. I don't think you know. Um, Phil is the kind of dunce that trades in only a game disc to game stop when... So you get those crappy generic cases. And wouldn't they give you more money if you traded in the whole thing? I don't know. I haven't traded in a game since fucking... 2014, maybe? And that may be an overstatement. Right? Just, oh, just laugh at Phil. 
That's it. That's all we want. Happy Thanksgiving! But, Phil, it's not that we're like, hey, we just pick Phil to hate on. That's like, this, you're pulling a quantum right there. Yeah, we just wanted to hate on you, quantum. There, we don't want to hate on you anyway. You're just, you're, like he said, you're like a reality show that's very interesting to watch. Uh, Rich, I need Demolition Daddy and Phil. Um, yeah, I can make that happen to make it as obnoxious as possible. Pumping Steven Crowder. Who wallet? Who wallet? Who wallet? Who wallet? Who wallet? Who wallet? Try to relax your anus. What the fuck is even going on? This right here is a prime example of how Dark Side Phil is nuts. Like he's gone. Wait, he actually Phil actually did that? Gone. What? He's far gone. Phil, what 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 would they talk about about you besides memeing on you, bro? Like And dude, even like me or someone else, like that like the draw like people want to talk about the high they want to talk about everything, the highs and lows. Like, they're going to talk about the nasty shit, the quartering. Like, hey, Rich, did you scam your parents out of a house? No, and I would go into the whole story. You can't go into an interview, okay? You can't talk about this, 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 this. No, that's not an interview, then. That's an advertisement for you. And I'm not just talking about Phil. That's anybody. Like, if, if you someone goes to you, you can't talk about this, then don't interview them. What is there to your being? There's nothing here. You're a husk of a human. <laughs> Dark freaking souls. Now keep in mind, I want to clarify, this is not the game. The game I actually traded in several months ago. Mass Effect 3 Let me get this Collector's Edition, today. but the game is not in it. So to warn everyone, just to show you for full disclosure, no game. However, you get this really. No game. You can get a box. Yeah, you can put some fucking used toilet paper in there. Blow, blow your nose and put it in there. You can save it, save it for science. If you died in desert, vultures wouldn't even pick at your corpse, bro. <laughs> like, what could they do with you, Phil? What would they talk to you about? Your hottest moment was having a wine gun, you two. Like, what are they going to do? What, do you want Moist to have you on a show and talk about Evo in 94 when you became fourth place? You know? Yes. No. Are we going to do the helicopter story again? That's what he wants. Most of us know it backwards and forwards. He just brought up the helicopter. I used to work in a helicopter. He just brought that story up. Recently talking about uh, Ubisoft. After company, dude, Donald Trump came in one time and he didn't pay promptly for his parts. That's like one of Phil's big stories. Fucking that picture of Trump. Jesus Christ. That is a chin. That is a chin. If I've ever said, holy fuck, I have the most tremendous spray trend quadruple chin. Jesus, man. The only other thing anyone could ask him would be questions. Could warm up your leftovers under that shit. Questions he doesn't want to answer, like where's Cat? <laughs> <laughs> Phil, how the hell do you go bankrupt for five hundred grand? These are questions people will want, but you never answer. Nah, you would never talk about the real shit, dude. And you can't be that way. So, Phil, what's your take on the ninth gen generation of consoles? Like, no one fucking cares. No one cares. Like. They, all right, I'll take it because people watch my YouTube channel. But like, no, interviews are a different flavor, dude. They want to know about everything. You know, you can't just selectively be if everything's off limits and it's a shitty interview. It's a fail. Sir, so there's no fun to you. There's nothing anyone would take from this. Wait, he was half a million in the hole. I, I knew it was in six figures, but holy shit, dude. He owes like a Nissan money. <laughs> It'd be a waste of time and energy. Even me doing this video, I know it's going to turn people off. For like the 10 people that want it, there's like a hundred that are like the hell with Phil. 
Now this just in, police uh, officers in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, were asking people to be on the lookout for a man who robbed a store. And I think, yeah, I think we do, we do have his description. Can we take that? Let's take his description. <laughs> Okay. I love how him dressing up like Ken from Street Fighter is another thing he's never going to live down. He's never going to live that down. It's going to be up there with him jerking off, and I'm here for it. I'm fucking here for it. <laughs> he, he does kind of look like a boss that... Wait, was that with the house debt or without it? I mean, I'm in debt if you add my house in, but this is the guy they uh they wanted they wanted people in Pennsylvania to be out on the lookout for. He's got uh he's got a nose and some hair that goes like that and he was uh he was wearing a hat at the time of this particular but didn't he take out like a bunch of business loans and shit? I think that's where like, and on top of it, he had the other place in Connecticut. He took out a bunch of business loans, didn't he? Allegedly. Uh. It's Fillory Clinton. <laughs> it's Fillory Fab Clinton. Yeah, he took out business loans, I think. He was paying for two properties at the same time. Pretty sure it was 500K. 13 credit cards. 13? And they were, oh, no. And they were all maxed out. Oh, Fillory Clinton. Particular crime. It's got kind of a chin that comes down to a almost a point. Stands about five feet four inches. The only person who's dedicated to trying to talk to Dark Side Phil is Review Tech USA. That, well, yeah, that's true. Yes. I can't deny any of it because I, I, I would, I want to like pretend I could figure out how his brain works. I know even talk, like even if I had it, like, let's keep it real. Now, I'm not saying he's a bad guy like Quantum TV. He's not, okay? But even if I had a conversation with Quantum TV, do you think I'd be able to understand a man who said something like this? I'm not going to put it in a bottle and breastfeed it to you. No, he's fucking crazy. But do what I still want. I would fucking pay money to Quantum TV to have that interview because I'm fascinated how someone functions the way they do but they're dysfunctional, yet they live day to day somehow. In the bankruptcy, they called to ask him, what is WWE Network? And he played it off as a business expound. No. Look, look, I know I canceled my membership with the damning evidence that was in that uh, video from Secret Unlimited, and I still hold to that. But... <laughs> Didn't he say he uninstalled the game from his phone and then someone recently saw the screen of his phone with the WWE game on there? Come on, Phil. Don't piss on me and say that it's raining. Don't come on me and say the camera's on. Just don't come on me in general, please. I think Q2 would actually have a decent... No. Are you kidding me? You would leave there losing... You would leave there needing a, a fucking benzo, dude. Are you kidding? <laughs> he, he, you would, you've ever seen his videos where he thinks he makes sense? Even his wife... You would believe they're confused about your own life, let alone his, but I would still want the interview. That's it. If Phil wants nothing to do with him. <laughs> I mean, oh my if I God. were to talk to him, he, would, he wouldn't talk to me at all. People are like, DSP wants to do an interview. Why don't you? I'm not talking to Phil because Phil don't want to talk to me. I go, Phil, when you file for bankruptcy, why don't you lie about having a cat? 
<laughs> like, what move was that? Oh, I got my timeline mixed. Why did he lie about having a cat? Makes no sense. Stop. I guess moist critical talk. I have COVID. Getting over COVID. Talked about DSP twice before? Meme is telling me that Moist Critical actually talked about DSP on October 30th. Hmm. Oh, well. That's life. That's what people say. So anyway, DSP thinking he could capitalize on this, kind of like how he tried to capitalize on the jerk-off session back in, what was it, 2016? Yeah, at the when it was way, way, it was too little, way too little too late. I know, this is a lot of DSP lore. But back when he had a wank... Him and Machinima were taking down the videos that anyone posted of him doing it. And then Keemstar got a load of it and talked about it. And DSP tweeted at Keem back then that he was willing to talk about his mistake in session. Only when Phil thought he could gain from it was he willing to acknowledge it and say that it happened. <laughs> Beyond this, I've made like 40,000 vids on YouTube. Today was the most hilarious one. And it certainly was an intentional. Oops, stupid Cam. Keemstar. Happens to the best of us, but Liana's got some splitting to do. <laughs> but look, wank your gout away. Wank your gout away. Oh my god. Happen and do an interview on it. But oh how the tables have turned. DSP now hates this sh** out of key. And then there's DSP. DSP has been bagging the 200 people that show up to his stream to pay all of his bills. Instead of getting a job, he goes to the stream and says, Hey guys, my taxes are up. Hey, I gotta pay my gardener. Hey guys. And then he'll blow the little money he gets from his fans I'm like skins in a video game. I think DSP hates Keem more than he hates me. So thanks. I think, I think honestly that Phil probably hate, the only person Phil hates more than me is Tevin. <laughs> which I, which I find strange because like one of their videos does way more damage than like everything I've ever talked about with Phil, whether it be a live stream or YouTube. But Okay. <laughs> After Moist Critical did his uh, video where he talked about Boogie2988 going broke and DSP being on the decline, Darkside Phil snapped into action. My God, he was... What game is uh, Gundam playing here? It looks interesting. It's like a pig with truffles. Is it like something painfully obvious that the whole chat is going to roast me for? S sniffing out those possible donations buried under the ground of content. Is this Overwatch? Tent. DSP tweeted no. this. Saw what Moist Critical said about me on. It's a Gundam game. On stream oh, okay. today. I personally like Gundam Evolution. Is it is it on Steam? The guy in his content. If you flash for it, I'll probably put in a clip here where DSP admits he doesn't really watch Moist Critical, but let's just play along for now. Yeah, I roasted him for that too. Oh, I think he has great t content. I don't watch it. But a show, or I guess he does live streams. I don't know. I don't watch all of his content. I just every once in a while I see a random video of his in my feed. I watch them. I think that they're entertaining. No, you don't. No, you don't. You're just saying that because you were. <laughs> is it on? Is it on? Uh, Steam. I'll find. That looks like it, it's free to play. Lies, lies. You are the prince of lies. And I will address it on stream tomorrow. He's not. Gundam is playing with himself. Yeah, actually, quite wrong. Literally. But it's very obvious he only watches the negative about me, and that's the. All right, I'm gonna download that shit. I'll download it on the INEO right after this. Entire point of why I've asked to be interviewed. People would interview Darkseid Phil tomorrow if Darkseid Phil had like a complete expose. But Darkseid Phil has more criteria to interview him than Michael Jackson had for Barb and Walters, which I've proven. Gundam, do not make me get out the fucking. I'm gonna get out the. I'm gonna get out the email. The marijuana's kicking in hard because you know what? I haven't had it in like four or five days, and I still have COVID brain too.
So I'm going to get that email. We're going to see it. Keep in mind, while Phil was sending out all of these requirements and he was concerned about his safety, that he was still on Windows 8, which would have had most secure, more security vulnerabilities because Phil is too fucking stupid to update his operating system. Excuse me. Which, e which email box am I in? Wait. Ah, I fucked it up. Wait. Dark side, maybe? Here we go. Here we go. Okay. It's his public email, so I ain't doxing him. This is how uh, anyone can contact me through my public business email. So, Phil, I ain't doxing you. Relax your anus. Here we go. So, here is written proof from Phil. About his requirements. Okay. Hi, Rich. Hey, I'd love to have you on a stream next week. We would just have, it's fun to answer questions. The audience, when did I write this? September of 21st. Let me know if you're interested. Hi, Rich. Thanks for writing. So to consider it, I need a lot of info. Every other person I've ever interviewed on my channel has never done this factually. That's not even. So to consider it, I need a lot of info. For example, how do you have guests on the show? Is it via a chat program, Discord, Skype, Zoom? Who fucking cares, dude? I'll send you a link when it would have been ready. I barely ever use anything, so I'd have to get something working, which would take all of two minutes. Well, no, we're, we're talking about Phil. Okay, I'll take that back. How can I protect my IP? You would have a fucking VPN. I'm showing this. Again, not to be a broken record, so you could see from, this is Phil's email, his public email. You could see from Phil's email that It's a Gundam is not exaggerating. Okay, obviously it depends on the program, but obviously cannot have my IP address leaked on, uh, or else it's going to be a ton of work yet a change. Well, no, it wouldn't. You call your, you call your IP and they would probably just tell you to unplug your fucking router and plug it back in. Plus, at least one to two days of lost work as some asshat will just endlessly DDoS attack me again. When do you stream and what would the schedule be like? Days, times that would be available would be appreciated. Jesus Christ. You know, although already booked through Thursday, but could be more flexible Friday and beyond. What topics will be discussed or will it just be 100% open questions? Because if that's the case, because there's no moderation, no thanks. You already know the level of harassment we get, and I'm not going to just sit there taking shots. Oh, my God, about things. Did I just shut my mic off? Oh, it's going to be. That obviously have nothing to do with my streams or content. My finances, my personal, my wife's personal life. Like, yeah, dude, I get nothing to do with your personal life, but the shit you talk about. Yeah, it's fair. It's fair game, man. You can't go. I talked about it. But you see what I'm saying, though? My finances, blah, 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 are off limits. Just look at what Kiwi Farms has done to us with conspiracy. I don't even... Dude, you know, my, you know how much I think about Kiwi Farms? Ever? I don't even... I, I think once I've been to my page there. I don't fucking care. They could tell me that I, 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 I jerked off with the Pope in the woods. Congratulations. Think whatever you want. <laughs> Oh, this is your fucking life now. This is your life now. In reality, I don't think that being on your live show, here we go, on your live show would have anything at all to offer me. If you wanted to sit down and have an interview about a topic, even some stuff about me and my personal life that I could prepare, etc., that would be fine. But just taking random questions from shitheads on the internet, but why? You could not answer the question. Like he's making it like if someone super chats, you got to answer that fucking question, Phil. Is not my idea. 
of a good time. You know what your audience will double with a lot of my trolls while I literally have nothing to gain from the experience. So there's that too. This is also why he was kissing Critical's ring. He knows that like it would get a lot more eyes. So anyone who thinks that It's a Gundam is lying about Phil's list. Do I have the other? You rank Oh god, we got the other. I can't do this now. We could do we could go into my email Laura with Phil. There you go, It's a Gundam. You want another free Phil video? I'll do a stream with my uh, emails with Phil. <laughs> Bro. And DSP didn't write Man in the Mirror. <laughs> but with the way he acts, you think he did. I have I tried so hard to get an interview with DSP. I tried so hard. See what I'm saying? It's not just me. It's not just me. Abby, how are you? All right, I just... I love him. Like, I don't hate... All these concerns for a guy who won uses a 10 year old OS. That's the I forgot to read the, the weed kicked in. I forgot to make that the he's so concerned. You know what it is, too. I don't, I don't do VPNs even support like Windows 8 any, anymore. Legitimately, can he even doubt? I don't know. I'm not going back to Windows 8 to find out. Craig, I'm I, I'm here talking, Craig. I'm not dead. Um, Use it and kind of doxing himself, showing DoorDash order. Still uses Hotmail and can't even operate a soundboard. Oh, Phil, if you only knew. But we don't want him to know. Shh. I'm not a detractor. You with Kyle Rittenhouse coming up, and you couldn't get one with DSP? I almost had him. I almost had him and then oh, he fuck backed right out now. and he he's like well you know i got i gotta do my stream i gotta make uh, x amount of dollars and i was like I oh gee does that sound familiar it almost sounds like he said the same exact thing to me he's so close saying i'll pay you so close so close i'm still thinking oh. about it i would hey. almost pay to do a dsp stream. i love you chat i love you guys dsp's follow tweet when I've regularly got the biggest YouTubers saying negative stuff about me based on the trending detractor vids, it's hard to keep this going. I hope Moist will listen. I know he will. He's reasonable. And I can clearly... I know he's, well, he's reasonable. Oh, Phil, here, just, here is Moist Critical's ass cheeks. Here is Phil's nose. He's like in his fucking colon yodeling. Uh, <laughs> Oh, I watched those say you are such a fucking walking brick, Phil. Been tell I've been telling you not uh, not just me, a lot of people, but we have been telling you for years. Stop begging. One person who's very relevant tells you to stop begging. You're a changed man. Told you for fucking years to get a capture card. Fuck you. I make real videos. I don't need a capture card that overproduced stuff those fake content creators do. And then when it was too little too late, you could have been the rad Brad instead of you're known as the guy who jerked off. Yeah. Isn't that like, and I'm not saying this, this I'm not saying to be a dick. Isn't that a sign of being on the spectrum? Like over... Like, I had a friend that she was on the spectrum, and every she talked to her about it. Like, she could talk for three hours about nothing. That's probably why I don't really talk to her anymore. But I know that's mean. But I only have so much time, though. Um, plus, being on your show with cut into his wall staring. Yeah, for, here, here's where I was when they dropped off my order. <laughs> I was staring at a wall. <laughs> oh. oh my god, because he was just sitting there. He was just like this. Honey, what are you I'm waiting for my food. 
I, I can, I don't know why. I just picture Phil like an NPC, like a broken, poorly coded NPC from a game. And I, I could totally believe that he was probably just staring at a wall and like his cat was purring between his legs. I just, I have issues, man. The air a bit. We shall see. That voice critical was going to want to interview me? No. <laughs> They're quite the opposite, right? Quite the opposite. I didn't think at all that he would be interested. I hope Moist will listen. I know he will. He's reasonable. Oh my god, Phil. Moist Critical doesn't give a rat's ass about you, bro. You're like a dumpy chick on Tinder trying to hook up with a dude who's got something going on. <laughs> That's a, That was excellent. Dark, Dark Sea. On November 1st of 2020. I don't know why Dark Sea Devil. 22. DSP's Level 1 Podcast. A little backstory on the Level 1 Podcast. Dude, this is the pre screen podcast, all right? But Keemstar came in. And said, you're still at Level 1. Keem's beard is looking funky there. What happened? <laughs> it looks like he got into a fight with a bear before he got in front of that mic. Offered DSP a job, right? To do a podcast with Boogie2988 and Wings of Redemption. I don't know what it would have been called. Yo, Keemstar, just replace fucking Entitled Phil with another locale. I think that would be an entertaining podcast. Here's the thing about as much as that would have been interesting, Phil would have to be in on the joke. He he wouldn't be he would have just been a killjoy. Get a get a fucking locale that's entertaining. I'm the whoever. I'm not fucking trying to sell myself. I don't give a shit. Honestly, I don't want to do it. But I'm saying, like, who think of like a lol cow that would be funny to be on. You know what I'm saying? Phil would have just been like the uptight, like, you know, like when you went to a high school dance and you're going to you know you're going to the keg party afterwards and there always was like the parent chaperone that you know is going to ruin everything. That would that would be Phil on the on the show. Like, it, on paper, it should have been great. But Phil, it, Phil, it just would have been... They blew it. But it might have been interesting for an episode or two. Keem offered Daddy Phil 50 grand. Phil turned up his nose about it, went on a rant about Keem. Keem then roasted Phil and said... DS there would have to be other things involved. Because I have big projects this year that are going... Like, they're already in the works. Like the merch. My editor, for some reason, has insomnia. And he's been working like a crackhead looking for more crack nonstop all night on the merch. Not just merch. Merch isn't going to make me fucking... It's not going to be rolling out the door. Um, big projects. Like, for me to be on the show... It, it, all right. A bonus would be nice, but I would want... I would want a whole bunch of shit. Because I would make the show entertaining. SP is still yeah I was being an arrogant prick there but I can be something on level one thus DSP being the absolute uh, map I was born on D May first DSP is my dad yeah well <laughs> like dude I feel basically the weirdest thing is my taste comes and goes See, just 50K a year for a weekly? Nah. I need, like, I, you could even give that up, but I want something that comes from each of the episodes, man, because you know the viewership would be on point. I want a cut of, I want a cut of sponsor revenue. I want a cut. I want cuts. Master Tactician changes pre stream podcast. I'm doing all right, Abby. To the level one podcast. This dude. Minimum effort, maximum results. That's how Dark Side Phil will be remembered. Say, but we're talking giant. Yeah, because if you're going to take me away from big ass projects here that have a lot of potential, I need. I'm, I'm talking about something that doesn't exist, but you get my point. I would need my pockets lined to take away from my other shit. Enormous YouTubers, 
uh, streamers. I mean, on top even, of that, too. You know, channels that are supposed to be... Shut up, Phil! On top of that, too, I have streams that do really well and make me a bunch of money. Like, you gotta make it... Like, there's there's been alternative websites that came to me, and they're like, oh, we'll give you this. And I'm like, but I'm gonna have to take a bunch of time away from my main YouTube channel to make the same, if not less, on your platform. And your platform may not even last... No, I want like half a million. I'm, I, I'm not going to sound like a greedy bastard, but you get, I guess you get, like if you had a business, you would do the same thing. You need to give me like semi life changing money up front because if you go under, which you probably will, all it's going to do is hurt my main channel. What the fuck do I get for it then? You know what I'm saying? Beautiful journalism, which it's obvious they're not when all they do is regurgitate detractor memes about me without vetting any information. Um, I want to just interject. Yeah, they always come back with like what a mirror with what you would get on YouTube. I'm like, oh, wow. So I get absolutely nothing. I get exactly the same I'd make. And there's a risk you'll go under. So I'll actually lose something from it. Go fuck yourself. But if you were, if they were like, yo, Rich, I'll give you two million. Will you take the, yes. However, if they told me I had to shut down my YouTube channel, I would still say no at that point. Jack didn't hear about the vetting of information. If they wanted exclusive content, oh, duh. But Phil, how can anyone be a reputable journalist and vet information if you never have a comment? <laughs> Or you'll not, or you'll talk about nothing except, hey, what did you think of Super Mario Brothers three? No one cares, Phil. If you reach Dark Side Phil to try and figure out what the hell's actually going on, he won't tell you a damn thing. Or he'll sit there and call you toxic. I just want Elon Musk to show me his dick and then buy me a horse, and I'd be happy. He'll block you. Um That's still the funny. I don't know if the story's true, but it's the funniest shit I've ever heard. tasting zero grapefruit in that oh my god these detractors they're stupid memes phil what is this from from phil is it true i've never seen him do this uh keem aside why don't you just have more group streams every once in a while i i want to and will but it life that's why the cat has left you and hanging out in ottawa georgia or something he won't reply if you contact Dark Side Phil and ask him about his sister-in-law, Brazy Mama, in the wild, <laughs> you said about him and Cat, he won't say nothing. Phil, I like your comment about Brazy Mama threatening your life. You won't get a reply. I will murder him. I will. Who is this? Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Phil's sister-in-law. Homeless prostitute just starred in a porno so bad you felt bad for the dude. She is so batshit crazy and a social reject that someone associated with Phil could possibly be this awkward and maladjusted to... Who is this? Murder him. I, will, I have his address. I will murder him. This is Kat's sister? Oh my. Who is that man? What the fuck? What the fuck is going on there? Oh my god, there's another lore. There's another stem. We have we have we have we have forked down another Phil lore road. What is that? I I watched this see I watched it when I was like deep in the COVID woods. So that's I don't, I heard that part, but I didn't put it together. Holy shit! Oh my! No, my COVID because I was like fucking just like half conscious in bed, and I heard that part, but I didn't compute that. Like, why does she want to kill Phil? <laughs> Talk about it. You're the scumbag because you didn't do your due diligence. 
It's so true. <laughs> Sorry. Due diligence is one of DSP's favorite phrases. My tax attorney from Connecticut did due diligence and did. Oh my God. <laughs> Very looked like a mafia hitman. <laughs> Kill Phil, volume one. <laughs> Yo. Did research. I, I can't do this. I can't do this. Um, and it's exactly what I was talking about a week ago when I said I want a chance to go public and have a public interview with someone. You know, you you want a public interview where it's curated to make you look as good as possible. You're you want like the equivalent of a in a '90s juicer infomercial, Phil. Fuck you. No, I don't want to give you that. That's not that's not that's not due diligence. I want to know now about your psycho fucking sister-in-law who wants to kill you apparently. Unless, unless it wasn't you. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. No, like that. So that basically I can clear the air about all the misconceptions about me so at least my side of the story is out there and hey, if DSP wants to give his Yeah, he'll give you for 10.95 and we'll throw in the Philip Rennell May 1st Memorial Pin. Okay, Duty. I knew Doge Duty would know about that. Side of the story. Why does he just... Actually, he gives his side of every story every day on the pre-stream podcast, but it's the same subjects over and over yep. and over again. On top of that, Remember, didn't DSP already do a debunk stream back when the pro Jared thing was going on? Remember? And on top of that, let's be real. Phil roasting pro Jared for like cheating or whatever. Didn't his woman leave Subaru man for him? Y you can't throw stones in a glass house. Oh, yeah. She was with someone else. Oh, that's always. Yo. Get God bless. Get your nut. But if a woman leaves a guy for you. She's going to leave you for another dude, no question. So, just get your nut, consenting nut, and then run. Do not make that wife material, because it's going to end in... Most relationships end in disaster, but that's guaranteed disaster. I have never, and I've known a lot of people that have done this. I actually personally haven't. But I've known a lot of people who broke up with someone to get with someone else. And look, if it's consenting, it's all dude, good. You do you. If you want to fucking cheat, and if it's consenting with the person, I your personal life ain't my problem. But do not make someone who left someone else that they were with at the time they fucked with you, do not make them your wife. Do not do it spell after dsp sad attempt at getting daddy critical to pay him a little attention and take him down to critical looks stoned as fuck there but he probably isn't the moisty myers review tech usa chimed in on twitter man look at my beard what's with my beard there it looks like it's about to attack the bird what's going on what is my beard doing is it doing that now that is a terrible Terrible beard angle for me. Holy shit. Uh, but modern life dating said alpha male can cheat. No. What I'm no one should cheat on anybody. Here's the thing though, at the same time. If that's your lifestyle, and as long as it's consenting adults and you're not uh, doing an alleged Andrew Callahan, it's alleged. I don't give a fuck. And then, like, when, oh my God, Dr. Disrespect cheated on with his wife with another woman and it was consenting. All right. Nah, whatever. It's not okay. I'm not saying it's okay, but here's how much sleep I lost about what Dr. Disrespect's dick was doing. None. So, fuck my beard, though. Fuck my beard. Let's... Because Review Tech has been trying to interview Darkside Phil. Since 1942. 
for the better part of a century. The message I left to fill while I was taking a dump in Germany. That is true. I, le I actually left. I was shit. There were logs coming out of my ass while this was being, while I said this to Phil. In case you want, in case the, the none of you wanted to know that. I don't like supporting Kiwi Farms. Like, I will say, oh, there's a lot of shit they're wrong about on there. Like, I've been there once before, like I said. We should actually go to my Kiwi Farms on stream sometime. And I could be like, oh, that's right. No, that's not right. Fuck it. That's a good idea. That would actually be a big viewership stream, too. Let's go to Rich's Kiwi Farms. Oh, they are cancer. But that will be interesting. Got to gotta keep the people entertained, right? Really? Hey, Phil. Um, I, I, I don't see this is the thing that's amazing. Oh, wow. That was a time I almost had a thousand subs on Twitch. I miss those days. I could get them back probably in like four streams. About you. If I did more than like four streams a month. I said I'll turn off the chat. Do you have no, you don't have to. Your hubby is really high right now. And he said being naked on the couch is good. Wait, she straight up lied about that? It was never taken down, Kiwi Farms? Why would you want to be naked on the couch unless... You, were you guys fucking? If you were fucking, then fine, I get it. Be naked on the couch. Like, just make sure whoever is on the bottom has the cleanest asshole on the planet because... You know, man, you, you could have you, you wipe properly, but you could still have the fart. And if, say, if you have like a white couch, well, it's going to have a little bit of a brown stain on it. So I'm not going to hit the soundboard again. That would be too much. What am I talking about? Why am I even? I am talking about some. I am talking. What? Let's just go. To worry about the tractors asking you anything or I'll put it in members only mode because I won't even say that I'll put it in members only mode. Um, so like your detractors. I, did it get nuked? I don't know. I dude, like I'm not kidding. I've only been there like fucking once, just to cover my own ass twice at the boat. Oh, Rich, we had your IP address, and we figured out you went there twice. Suck my dick. I'm sorry. Tractors don't become members. I'll get to you. Or I'll just turn off the tough monetization for you, so I, I don't make any but... money from the video. Would you like? Would you like me to donate to a charity? For Gundam, you could have just fucking DM'd me, dude. I've DM'd you on Twitter. Yeah, I would have sent you the link so you'd have to go have all this other shit. It would have taken me two seconds. I sent Minxy and fucking Chris the Narc and Tipster my entire Stream Deck soundboard. You didn't need to get this mess shit where there's bits and me not me with birds not shutting the fuck up. Bill. <laughs> yeah, he said I brought up none of his points i brought up everything you don't it's not for clout then just dude come on okay so i forgot one not only did richer of utech usa throw in his hat to interview dark side phil mr medica stepped in much to phil's chagrin you're out there you're throwing the line you're like moist moist receive my messages please let me on your stream and interview me sire and instead you get mr because he was looking for clout Medica, the cancer man, the cancer man can. One, one quick little thing, one quick little thing. Before you get pissed off at Gundam, he refers to himself as the cancer man. DSP related news. Now I know you think, oh God, am I going to talk about. Wait, he passed away. Uh... About his car dealership thing where he got suckered into paying like $8,000 for spark plugs because he doesn't know how machines operate. No. The best part of this clip is how Mr. Bedeker brings up the other Dark Side Phil saga that was going on. The car saga. All right, I'm going to try and make this so short because I'm sure there's a lot of people who don't give a rat's ass. And that's the problem with doing Dark Side Phil videos. There's so many layers. He's like a painting by Leonardo da Vinci. He's very ill, I know. Just when you think you figured out how he painted the Mona Lisa, there's another layer.
but it's always layers of stupidity. The car dies, it sounds like it's a battery issue. Instead of like checking the battery and uh. getting a new one, which means that him and Cat would have to horror of horrors use public. I can't taste or smell a fucking thing right now. You could shit in my mouth and tell me it was brownie batter, and I would just have to blindly agree with you. Hauling 35,000 pounds of explosives across Pennsylvania. Man tits for good luck. I could do it. I could do it. You know what? You get music, too. You get fresh music. I shook. I'm actually sweaty. If I wasn't sweaty, I would be like, nah, man, I got to be careful. Before, I was actually kind of cold, but the... You got the whole fucking soundboard. You got a good 50. Oh, yeah, dude. I was... I can't wait to... Sh I'm gonna shower so hard after this. I'm gonna fucking... Fucking pour bleach on myself and light it. That would probably be a bad idea. I'd probably die. Thank you, guy. Don't... Be careful with the explosives. The smells that, that sweater could tell you. The stories from those smells. That I can't tell you because I can't smell a fucking thing. Transportation. He pays to take it to like Midas, Jiffy Lube, or one Firestone or something. And they check out his car and they proceed to fleece. The living shit out of him. Yeah, if you saw the... Yeah, dude, I'm getting stuffy again. I feel fine, though. Perfectly fine. The hell out of Dark Side Phil, bro. Ah, oh, I gotta take Mucinex. That's ah, oh, god damn it, I forgot. Eh. Hey, Rich, thank you for making this past month of me being fired and being on college break funny with the streams. I'm sorry to hear that, dude. Uh, makes me laugh, my girlfriend, too, and thank both of you guys for watching. I appreciate that. Replace DSP's battery. It was $230, dude. They didn't even give him a top of the line battery. I mean, the battery itself was 195 plus tax, $5 Washington fee, the $22 battery core. Aren't they supposed to... $15 removal and replacement? They didn't even give Dark Side Phil, like, a rebate when you bring in... And, of course... Hate to say it again. You could just look up a YouTube video and be like, hmm. You know what? I just I did that, Phil. We went to Montauk in 2021. I needed to get new wiper blades. What did I do? I did I, like, how do I put the wiper blades? Some, the, some cars are different. Actually, all cars are fucking different. We put wiper blades on. How they get... No, that not... Whatever. It doesn't matter. So I'm like, oh, fuck. I don't know how to do these wiper blades. Blah, 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 blah. YouTube wiper blades for my, at the time, Dodge Durango. Oh, look. Tutorial. Minutes later, I got them on. Like, it's all a Google away, a YouTube search away. Like, Jesus. They gave you the cheap, of course, man. Give you the cheap and they'll charge you the most to get the maximum profit. You put your wiper blades up men's asses. How does that, you got to explain how that works. Like, why a wiper blade, Tim? Why a wiper blade? Like, is it, do you like dip it in something first? Is it smooth? Does it go right up the hole with no effort? Like, what's going on? Man, marijuana with COVID hits different. <laughs> like... I know, duty. We'll look at that another time because that could be a whole other fucking stream. And I want to check it first. But my point being is anyone understand? There's so many, like, I didn't know how to put the wiper blades on my Dodge Durango. I needed new ones because we were going to be on the highway. I looked it up. I changed the wiper blades. Like, Phil, do you not realize the, that YouTube, you could do more on YouTube than then just stream your own streams? You could look up things. It's amazing. Zoinks! In an old battery, you get money back. They didn't even do that. 
They gave him a diagnostic service. Obviously, you plug in the car to the computer. You look at some. No, no. I would feel so like people in customer service retail can be assholes. But could you imagine, Phil? Oh, my God. I would. I hate it. This is going to sound creepy because I look, I don't want to know anything about pe Phil's personal life. But just because he's already a reality show. I do d drive a Dodge Dangle. Did I say it like that because I'm stoned? But he would, you know, his personal life is is bizarre. Yeah, I do. Well, that's why I'm streaming, man. Thank you, guys. Shook is uh, I do feel better. I can't taste or smell a fucking thing. <laughs> that is the least hot take ever, Ukami. Yeah, that's really it. I don't feel feverish. I don't feel anything else. My ass is funky, but that's just because I'm a funky man. Oh, <laughs> uh, man. Yo, this is how you can tell, even though I, I get stoned at night every day, but, like, I don't do a lot because I just because I haven't done it. Look how, look how low my tolerance went. And I actually didn't take as many sprays as I normally do. I swear I'm not masturbating. I'm not going to take any more, Jesus fucking Christ. Beeps and squeaks and you rip off a douche. Can I say douchebag? I don't even know on YouTube anymore. The coup de grace. $541 to replace his spark plugs. Phil, you could have got a... Yeah, you could carbonate piss, put it in there. I'd be like, oh, and tell me it's grapefruit. I'd be like, great. Perfect. Spark plug gauge, you did this yourself for a fraction of the cost. Uh, Google Fish is naked. Uh, well, this is fitting because you brought me down the whole fucking tip pig lore. Most fucking, my job is so, my job is literally a fever dream in and of itself. I would have never known about tip pig if it was not for Google fish. Thank you, Google fish. That, that is a treasure. Uh, but then that will require you. Go look up Tit Pig, and then I, I, I'm sorry in advance. To leave that home office. I understand. I understand his garage bill got leaked, and everybody found out that DSP doesn't understand how automobiles work, and then went into on a megathon. But what I want to talk about is DSP has put a video out asking people to come interview him. That's such a bizarre picture. <laughs> like even what was he probably like 30 like maybe he was doing it as a joke like look i'm gonna wear a bear suit because someone said it so maybe i'm being a hypocrite here but was he was there like a sonic game that came out and he wore that because if that's the reason you're kind of a douche then Yeah, so thank you, Google Fish. Uh, Tit Pig is a person I will remember forever. Rest in peace, Tit Pig. DSP, <clears throat> oh my God, ah, oh, cancer man. DSP is out there asking for a sit-down interview with anybody that's interested. Even said he's open to having them email him and chat what I... Oh, it was for Halloween. All right, it's not that big, whatever. I'm thinking is, there's nobody... I mean, I've been in a chicken costume, for Christ's sake, so... That would be the pot calling the kettle black, to be quite honest with you. Better for this job than me. But I'm going to need your help. <laughs> I'm going to need your help, chat. Because DSP, he's not... He is holding a Sonic game. My biggest Wait, is he? Biggest yes. Fan. Now, I, I used to make fun of him on Brightside Bob. Did streams making fun of him, and they're still funny to me. But I did do a catfishing video where I exonerated him by showing it was complete bull**** So that should kind of like, that should equal out But I want to interview DSP Thanks Rich, I'm now blind, I'm sorry I have so many burning questions for him About Sons of Kojima About just everything that's gone on, he wants a fair interview I am all for that shit, DSP No, he doesn't want a fair interview, he, want, he said it himself actually 
in his like streams. He wants. I want people to know the side of me. I want. Basically, I want them to know the real side of me. No, you want them to know the positive side of you to try to get more viewers in. Is this Phil's redemption arc? No. I will give you a fair interview. I'll ask the hard questions, but they'll be fair. Tomorrow. I just happened to jump on YouTube and search for the guy. And all I could find... Yeah, like he has the hair there. He just does this weird... Rich, my nose plus your ass. You do the math. That's a lot of math. In regards to him and me, it was the most toxic shit I've ever seen. This guy as far back as eight years ago. Yes, as far back as when I moved across the country from... See, this is the thing. It, this is proof that unless you blindly praise Phil, he won't like you. Because keep in mind, Mr. Medicare was the one who exonerated Phil from... Remember everyone was saying, oh, Phil bought a hooker, Phil bought a hooker, or whatever. You got a mail-order bride, whatever the fuck it was. It was Mr. Medicare that exonerated him from that. It's like, yeah, that's not true. But because Mr. Medicare isn't gargling Phil's nuts and being, oh, you're nothing but positivity, he hates him. Connecticut to Washington was making toxic ass to content about me benefiting from slandering me no COVID COVID 19 is going to be endemic it is a thing we're going to have to live with like the flu unless they find a fucking vaccine that will 100 percent keep people from getting sick from it uh you know saying really nasty things that's the thing we still haven't found we do haven't had you know we don't have the science yet for a flu vaccine because it mutates too much We'll eventually get there, but not yet. About myself. Let's not get into vaccines now, please. No, I'm too stoned. My nose is too stuffed. Duty streams could shit in my mouth, and I would think it's brownie batter because it would not be able to taste the difference. Let's just, why did I say any of that? Let's just go. And, and, and other people who I associate with, um, basically a scumbag. I know nothing about this guy's personal situation at all. All I'm judging on is based on what I saw with a five-minute search on YouTube and what I saw was some of the most toxic, worthless content. Yeah, Phil, look, I'm not defending Mr. Medicare. I'm just telling you how it is. If it wasn't for him, motherfucker, people would still be saying you bought hookers. Just saying. I've ever seen in my life. But because he's not... But here's fucking the quartering. He was a flat-out piece of shit all around. Look, I, I already brought up Mr. Mr. Medicare's bad side, too. But, <laughs> and he, well, he was nice to me. Would you say Hitler was a great guy if he was nice to you, Phil? Probably you would. <laughs> Pol, Pol Pot was nice to Phil, so he was a sweetheart. <laughs> Life. I can't believe that anyone would watch that kind of shit. And again, that's the vast majority of shit. A lot of popular stuff on YouTube. This is funny. He's gay. A quick segment, and every once in a while, um, he does bring me up. Usually, he brings me up in a meme. Like, he'll reference... Stalin said that he enjoyed Phil's streams. You know, and Stalin's not really a bad guy. By accident in 2016, he'll have a good laugh about it and say things like, you know, no one, no one is, is like Dark Side Phil. You name another person that could have something like that happen on a stream and then immediately go into his normal stream and act like nothing happened. Anyone else would be like insanely embarrassed and they would, you know, disappear from the internet. I love how DSP talks about the moist critical clip and he just adds extra stuff into it to make. Like, dude, you would think like, man, now I'm seeing the light. Even though people like Richard Review Tech USA and Tevin and countless other YouTubers either, whether it be smaller detractor channels or actual content creators, have been telling me the same thing, now someone who I could financially benefit off if they interview me, now I see the light.
it's almost like you're an idiot that's only motivated by money. But what the thing is, is that you do, can't see the forest because the trees are in the way, is that you've missed out on so many opportunities and so much money because you are so thick-headed and stubborn. Make it seem better than it was. It's like, he didn't say that. Bill, Bill, what are you doing? This is like when he... He's, he's, he's just like, oh, oh, critical testicles, critical testicles. Blah, 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 blah. Am I going to get banned for that? Yeah, probably. <laughs> What's it? He wants to st taste that moist meter sack. That's what he wants. He just wants. Yeah. La, 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 la. <laughs> Kim Jong Un is one of Phil's. Sh <laughs> oh, Kim Jong Un's great because he's. I mean, he may kill millions of people and starve his own people to death, but he was nice to me. Like that's all it takes with people that are like Phil. Like whether it be Tommy, tell like all you have to do is be. You could be a horrible person, but if they, you like them or you were nice to them, that's it. Doesn't matter the what you are as an actual human being. Uh, the Red Army did nothing wrong as they treat Phil like the Empire did nothing wrong either. Yeah, dude, but that's the thing. You could be the worst person on the planet, okay? Uh, I don't mean EDP may want him to molest children, but he said hello to me once, so that is nice to me. Humping Steven Crowder. Yo, I swear to God, I, whoever got him to say that, I feel like I should pay you. <laughs> I'll pick Steven Crowder. I'm picturing Phil pounding him in the ass while he has nothing but the gun holster on. Oh, oh no, now I'm picturing that. Yo, weed hits different after you. I have no tolerance, and I haven't used it for like four days plus. He won Evo in 94. He said that because... The quartering in his piss drunk tirade <laughs> where he was like Elon Musk's poll if he should stay the CEO of Twitter is his like biggest thing to happen since 9-11 and in the beginning and he was like because he's he's literally trying to hump Steven Crowder I think it was maybe a Freudian slip where he's like hey I was helping Steven Crowder and you know kissing his ass and but he was drunk so the quartering said it like this. Helping Steven Crowder. It sounds like he's saying, what does it sound like he's fucking saying? Helping Steven Crowder. Helping Steven Crowder. It sounds like he's saying humping Steven Crowder. So one of my followers, who's I guess one of Phil's trolls, <laughs> donated to him and was named. Humping Steven Crowder. It was actually, it was actually some other funny. I guess like Phil goes on. I guess someone wants to hump Steven Crowder. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I need to go to bed. And instead of just going, yeah, fourth place, whatever, he goes best American Street Fighter player in the year of 1994. Justin, did you did you have any more honorable uh, dishonorable mentions? Um, hmm. I guess I would agree with you with DSP. Yeah, Cause my like, boy. Because what DSP does, uh, like, in person, he's all nice to me and shit. And, per and, and then when he makes a YouTube video, he, he thinks oh, he's all Phil hard and crap. Oh, Phil's a pussycat in person. He'll say it. Here, like, I'll call you an asshole to your face. Not because I'm a tough guy. I'm, I'm sure that's eventually not going to be beneficial to me because I don't hold my tongue. Um, but I, could you picture Phil being confrontational in person? I mean, there was that time he had that meltdown in an Evo or something like that, but he's he's a pussycat. He's a, minus the, the, the last part that just... Mm. Uh, I, think, I think like Jaha and like Watson were like looking for him if he ever came down to one of the Evo events or something. Yeah, so like he was like, I heard he was like crying and everything, so that was... <laughs> he was crying? Yeah, that's what he has. Where am I playing? You still haven't told me. I want you to hump me, Rich. No, Abby, stop this. Go drink some coffee out of your sister's breast mug and think about what you said. Pretty, pretty funny. Uh, 
funny. <laughs> By my detractors in particular. And now we've got big channels like Moist. Look at behind us. <laughs> Fucking two game console boxes and a dollar store special. <laughs> Critical who reiterate those negative <clears throat> misconceptions and or take moments out of context as like this is all who Phil is and now everyone who watches his content believes that and that's not fair. I don't even know if I could force people to sit through this because like DSP just says a whole lot of nothing and it takes forever to do it. That's why most... Yep. That's the other thing he doesn't realize because his him being so long-winded, dude he knows, is what makes the detractor channels thrive because there is an interest in Phil like he's a reality show. A and E's gonna probably offer him a show one day. Imagine Phil's stupidity actually makes him rich and famous. Like he actually he's worth like thirty million dollars with like a three year A and E contract. I forgot what I was saying. I'm too stoned now. Check Abby Streamlabs. Okay. Where is Abby? Abby, where the fuck is your stream laps? Abby, where the fuck are your tits? I don't see a fucking... Are you... You fucking troll. <laughs> so I, dude, I totally forgot. I was making such a good point, too. But that... But, but yeah, no, I partially remember. Like, dude, his, his fucking ridiculousness... Someone would be like, yo, just let's just make a reality show about this guy's lack of self-awareness. But then him, he would actually, that's the problem. It's kind of like with the Lol Cow podcast. He would probably make a killing, but he'd have to, he would have to put his pride aside and Phil does my 14-year legacy. Who fucking cares, Phil? Who cares? Like, legacy. Dude, we make, we make a living on the internet. Relax. And he would have to become self-aware, and I don't think Phil is willing to do either. He isn't. He proves it. These videos still being made about Phil. Prove it. But that's why detract. Oh yeah, detractor channels thrive because you need people. Ba it's like a full time job to wade through Phil's videos to find his numerous gaps, which there are a decent amount. <laughs> because a lot of like. It, the algorithm will randomly bring up Phil's stream and he's doing something stupid. I'm like, oh, Phil, if the if I could just randomly tune into your stream and you're bitching like this, you can't tell me that you're not feeding the trolls on a daily basis. You're lying. Uh, okay, let me see if I can. People watch this dude to double speed. I don't know how he thinks anyone can give him any more. This is why I'm sub. Thanks for the lulls. Thank you very much, the Golden Goats. The Golden... You have Golden Goats? Like in Goat Simulator? My son is obsessed with Goat Simulator. The new one, too. Goat Simulator 3. Or, or like, paint him in a better light. Like, DSP, bro. You got into YouTube at the ground floor. You were lazy as could be. Instead of changing with the times and keeping your finger on the cultural uh. zeitgeist, you decided to tell everyone to eat a bag of dicks... And you're going to do what you wanted. And you fell off. And you proceed. Yeah. You didn't listen to your audience. And they left. They went to different pastures. You needed to keep falling. Just when we think you hit the bottom, you know, you just tear through the core of the earth. <laughs> you know? It's like, what could anyone do with you? It's like, so, Phil, you had a day off. What happened? Snort. Me and my wife went out, we ordered food from DoorDash, we got our errands done. Yeah, I was just talking, I didn't realize it. I was talking about this on Twitter. Like, <laughs> that was not because of his video. I was like, Phil, who fucking cares about your day off? Oh, we went to the grocery store. We, uh, I, ha I had a, you know, a loose bowel movement. Like, all right, that's what normal, you know, we, we cook chicken for dinner. Who the fuck cares, Phil? I cleaned the stove. Great, Phil. Boring. Like you gotta spice up Phil. It literally takes a skill to take DSP's videos and make them remotely mentally digestible. That's why the trolls do so well. 
That's why the detractor channels do so well, because it is. You just sort of phase out. That's what they call it, pignosis. He just, yeah, 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 until, like, you just sort of accept whatever's going on. And you become a vegetable. <laughs> call it to hell is us. Check out the trailer. Okay. I got to check out the game that he's playing, too. I already forgot it, now for obvious reasons. It's like, guys, I need some help. There's not enough tips in the stream, and you open your wallet. Oh. If DSP was any fun, he would let Mr. Medicare interview him. Now, that would actually be... He'll never... Never! Never! Some Gundam Evolution. Hey, Siri. Set a reminder for Gundam Evolution in the ass. Hey, Siri. Hey, Siri. What's my nickname? Mm -hmm. Say my fucking nickname. Hey Siri, what's my nickname? Apparently, it's a middle-aged man with a very hairy, relaxed anus. All right, it's a little corny. I'll take it though. <laughs> oh. A game I'm looking. So hell is us. Okay. I think people would tune in for. But DSP will never go for it. He'd rather try to get Moist Critical to interview him. Someone who doesn't know who he is. So that way... Why is Moist Critical like he's in a Karate Kid movie right there? I triggered your... My voice triggered your Siri? Yeah. Well, people say that about Google as well. Okay, Google. Ha 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 Fuck you. Hey, you. You can't grill him half to death. Hey, Google. About all of the things he's doing. Phil, why'd you pay $500 for spark plugs, Phil? You ever heard of a spark plug gauge, Phil? You ever worked on a car, Phil? Where's your wife, Phil? What did you do with all that money you made? And somehow ended up in debt for 500 grand. 13 credit cards. 13 credit cards were maxed out, allegedly. Phil stroked on his PP. <laughs> Allegedly, I don't have the evidence in front of me, but there are multiple people confirming that Phil maxed out 13 credit cards. And knowing Phil, it wasn't just five digits on those cards. It was probably, yeah, no, wait. No, it was five, probably five on each card. It was 14? Oh, come on. I can't confirm or deny that, but if that's true, what the fuck? Oh, remember that time when DSP was, like, trying to get money out of his fan base? God, this game looks so good. It makes me want to stop the stream and just go play it. But I'm not going to do that because I'm a good entertainer. Tell him that, like, his family member, like, his mother and father, they're, like, close to death. And he's going to go to Connecticut to see him because he might not see him again because he's so old and frail. He has to do this now, you guys. And then people in chat were like, if you go over to Connecticut, Phil, you should marry Cat. And DSP's like, I don't have money to do it. 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 <laughs> Even if this, I know this was years ago, like, stop talking about that you don't have money. Even if you don't have money. Even if I didn't have money, I would never tell you that I didn't have money. Because it's not your problem to know about my money problems. 99% of the world population has money problems. <sighs> yes. yes, that I heard. I heard the bankruptcy hearing. Oh God, I, dude, I know this, this man. Oh God. I don't have money to do it. I yes. don't have money to do it. I don't have money to do it. 5,000 in business. Like this job could be expensive. I had to buy a lot of expensive. I had to buy another, this camera. I bought another one to put up here because my editor said, if I ever use this, like he, this is an FZ 300 from Panasonic. He says, if I ever use it again, he's going to fly down from Canada and shove it up my ass. So I had no choice. So my job. So my job is expensive, but it ain't, f that's a lot of money. Then he goes to Connecticut and marries Cat. <laughs> what is that?
But the misconception is I'm banned from Twitch because that's what my haters say. So I'm not shocked to hear that most critical thinks I was banned from Twitch. It's not his fault. That's just believing what idiots say about me. That's not true. He's so sweet to him. He's so fucking sweet. Aww. Now, if that was anybody, if that was like a six-figure YouTuber or, you know, he would be fucking tisk tis tisk. Oh, but it's okay you made a mistake, Critical. I'll suck on your cock if you want me to. Excuse me. Yes. I'm telling you, man, if God forbid, I don't want to, I don't wish COVID on anybody, but if you do get COVID and you do take edibles and you're kind of on the mend, I suggest taking an edible because it's a whole fucking different trip in a good way. Hey, Moist Critical doesn't know anything about you and doesn't care. You got banned from the Twitch partner membership. So if Moist Critical hears he's banned from Twitch, it's not like Moist is going to turn into an investigative journalist to figure out what exactly you got cream for. Please, if you can, Super Chat, please become a member. Please buy my merch. Here's my t-shirts, right? He was shilling to his audience. He could do that. It's fine. But what Moist Critical was making a, a point of is he... Yeah, so what? I'm going to have... I'm going to shill the shit out of my merchandise. Are you kidding me? Once it's done and ready to go? Are you fucking kidding? Hell yeah. Once I once I have eventually have a beverage, I'll have to blow someone to get a beverage, and that's fine. I will suck a cock to get a beverage to sell. I'm gonna shill the shit out of it. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You're given a product at that point, but and the thing is, I'm not gonna be like buy my merch so, so I could keep my lights on. It, it it hits different that way, Phil. He goes, here's a YouTuber who used to have four, well, used to have five million active subs. Now he has four million. And he's literally be like begging people on his stream for money. He's like, it's not a good look. I agree. But if what Boogie's saying is true, I understand why he's doing it. Okay? I can see both sides. A year ago, Boogie put out a video entitled, Finally I'm Rich. Back when crypto was making crazy, dot, like, what was it? 60 grand a coin or something? Yeah, it was fucking bonkers. Part of that, Elon Musk pumped it. I, they should look into that more. Remember when he bought a bunch of Bitcoin? Or Tesla bought a bunch of Bitcoin? Like, oops, this isn't really environmentally friendly. That was a that was a corporate pump and dump scheme. A corporate fucking rug pull. The second you see it. You buy a whole bunch of it. That you're a cor you're a corporation that makes electric cars. I know I'm going on a rant now. You're a corporation that makes a motherfucking electric car, and you buy something. And, oh, oops! I guess it's not good for the environment. Guess we're gonna have to sell it. Someone made a whole bunch when that pumped it, because then a whole bunch of people flew into Bitcoin, thinking that it was gonna go to some other level, and then Tesla dumped it. So a whole bunch of people made money, then they dumped it, and it's always the people on the bottom that get fucked. That was unreal, and so obvious, too. A downward trend, it's time to jump. Here we are a year later, and Boogie has the help me video. Frankly, like, I don't even know what to make of it. I don't know if I'd have the guts to do that. To be like, hey guys, guess who's rich? And then I... Yeah, he shouldn't have made the first video. I mean, to his credit, when we watched the I Need Your Help video, he's like, I'm offering products to if you want to support. All right, you could think of whatever you want to of the video. It's it's still different than how Phil Phil's like, I, I need that money. I really do. I need that money. I've, if I don't get tips instead of, if you, like, he like, he like poo poo super chats, or he did. Like, he's kind of, like, annoyed you super... I mean, thanks for the super chat, but you could have tipped instead. Screw up. Lose all my money. <laughs> Put out a video like, hi, guys.
guess who's dead broke? Subscribe, join my OnlyFans. He does an only ass. Join my memberships, buy my merch, lick my ass. <laughs> oh. Yeah, the, what, what, what tier is that to lick Boogie's ass? I'm, I'm fucking buying in. You get a sweet taste of that. Oh. <laughs> Play with my nips. Oh, now that's a tier I could get into. Oh, God, I sounded like the, that episode from Tim and Eric where what's-his-name's walking down nude Tane. Now that's someone I could get into. Only you can keep me from working. And, of course, DSP sitting here, and he's like, I can see both sides. I see why he's doing it. Of course you do, Phil. You've been begging like this for years. Boogie needs to pay you. But at least, again, Boogie's like, I'll give you a product. Yes, come lick my ass. <laughs> yeah, now, Tane, I could get into. Now, at least Phil's just like, you know, if you don't give tips, I'm not going grocery shopping tomorrow. Ah! For mentorship, take some lessons. Dark Side Phil, how to beg successfully and hang around long past your prime. <laughs> Boy, we got to read it. Yo, Gundam, you better le let the less of that fucking come out of peg successfully. Long, uh, wait, oh. what does it say? I did not. I did nothing wrong. I did everything correct. It was bad net code. It was Devin's fault. You need to tip me. This is just a small sample of my highly proven techniques to make your business grow successfully. Long after people just want you to snort, learn to embrace the whale. I'm a mature, <laughs> still on a business degree, fourth place at Evo. I masturbated. <laughs> You better take a sip of this knowledge, you assholes. Almighty Tev. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'll, I'll buy that book. Yo, Phil, make a book. Only nice. I'll buy it and read it in ASMR on stream. 95. What do you think of Dark Side Phil? Because he's infamous for being an e right? So basically, that's when Moist Critical goes, well, yeah, I'm up on Phil. I, 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 basically, the way he says it, you can tell that like he's interested in me as a character but he doesn't watch my content all right you can tell he's not sitting here right now watching my stream phil what would that do what would that do phil who's gonna sit there and, and rummage through it would be like trying to rummage through a hoarder's house to find like one one coffee mug what are they he's just gonna go and Go, it's like, all right, let me let me find the real Phil. Let me find the real Phil. Let me like he has other shit to do. He has to sell moist burgers. <laughs> Dude, he has more lore than like a Souls game where you like one side character has like an entire Bible about it. That's Phil. The only person that has deeper lore, like Elden Ring, yeah. The only person that has deeper lore than Phil is Chris Chan. Straight up. Without question. Uh, yeah, God bless the detractors. And most of the detractors, Phil, I would say 95% of them are not taking you out of context, and you know it. They are simply taking a clip of where you do something stupid and going, hey, Oh, boring, boring, boring. Phil's talking about putting coffee, milk in his coffee. Boring, boring. Oh, and he says something stupid. They clip that one part, not out of context, out of the rest of your mundane shit, and give it to us in a digestible manner. And to the, the detractors that do that, I will not call you trolls, so long as you do not go after him personally and go into his personal life. I salute you. Thank you. So long as you do not do call to actions. And so long as you do not go after him personally, you are doing God's work. He's watching the detractor highlight on my stream that picks in at the bad parts and says that's all that I am. All right. This is why I keep saying that DSP.
All right, now I'm going to put my... Sh now it's kind of getting cold. And the 50s going, let me see, though. Is my shirt, like, moist? Like, critical? For my sweat juices? Ugh. I was going to sniff the shirt, but then I realized I can't smell a fucking thing. Ah! Like, nothing. Not a zip. You could... You could fart in my... The quartering could fucking drink a liter of vodka fart in my face and I would not smell a fucking thing. Popping Stephen Crowder. Oh, man. <laughs> fucking... Yo, alcohol. Ooh, ooh, there's moisture. Oh, I can't wait to shower after this. Goddamn. Rich, building my first PC. What do you think about the Ryzen 5 70? Is it worth 250? I would say so. Intel's kind of making a comeback, though. See what they're offering. in Like, look at something for the same price point and see what they're offering and look up some reviews and benchmarks. If it was, like, a generation or two ago, it would be AMD without question. Intel's now, like... Which is good because it's making more competition, but they're formidable now. Like my ass. It's firm and flat and hairy. You didn't need to know that. He is either a character or he's stone cold crazy. He's like, you can tell Moist Critical doesn't watch my content. Because your content is so boring. Jesus Christ. DSP streams are like ambient. He literally, not this clip. There's another clip. He's using an older clip. Someone just posted he was falling asleep in another stream. Dude, you don't want to do it. You're not enjoying it. That's the other big problem. Your lack of self-awareness doesn't help you, Phil. But you're not enjoying yourself. And I'll be honest with you, a lot of those games, that's why I'm not a game streamer. I'm a, I'm a whatever. I'm just, just chatting, I guess is what you call me on Twitter, on Twitch anyway. A lot of those games would bore the fuck out of me too. I'd rather get fucked in the ass by Sasquatch than play Disney Dreamlight Valley. <laughs> like, what? Nothing's going on. Nothing interesting happens. You pray to Christ something upsets him. Because that's the only time he has something to say. I've yes. Unless the game is terrible, it's the game's fault. I did nothing wrong. I did everything correct. It's Tevin's fault. <laughs> Watch his Street Fighter stream of Street Fighter 6. Oh my God. It is a waste of your life. Tevin's getting drunk. You literally have to have a buzz on to be able to sit through a fail stream. It's weak sauce. Yo, when he, now nah, I will say there was that, when that other pro Street Fighter player, like it was like 13 times in a row he smashed his ass to a different dimension. That was funny. Boss. Of course he's not watching. You suck. Oh my god, dude. You torment your fan base. Could you imagine watching something boring and then someone demanding money? DSP's like a stripper you don't want to see at the club. And then they get off the stage and walk up to you and ask for money. And it's just like, Jesus Christ. That actually has happened to me when it was I was in my early 20s. I would go to strip clubs and they're like, like, get the fuck out of I don't want to dance from you. I want to dance from her. Like, All right, yeah, come on. And they would still, like, they would, like, rub on you for two. I'm like, the fuck are you doing? Here, here's a dollar. Fuck off. That's the only way they made money because they were ugly. <laughs> All right, I need some coffee. We got another half an hour to go. I need some coffee. I need to stand up for a second, too, before my back turns to shit. It's getting better. Uh, yeah, but they would do that, though. Like, if you would go to a strip club, and, like, if the one you didn't want, which probably means a lot of other people didn't want, they would, like, force themselves on you, so you had to give them a buck. That was uh, it's an interesting way to make money. Breasts. 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 Alright, what the hell am I doing? This is my life. 
There is a man staring at chicken. It doesn't, it's just tight, it doesn't hurt anymore. Wait, that sounds out of context, shit. <laughs> oh, this is fun. Yeah. But, uh, my back is so fucking tight, I'm walking like an 80 year old man, man. Or like I got, like I said when I walked out, like I got buck fucked by Sasquatch. I could fucking walk. Yo, when it happened yesterday, I'm like, yo, am I going to have to go to the ER? Like, I couldn't even get out of my bed. And I don't my That's so, it's so weird, too, because my back, two times, I'm out, this, the sec, with this being the second that this happened. So, was it COVID? Was it, I don't know. Oh, bro, I'm, dude, I had a friend who was a DJ, too, on paper. I'm sure you do have stories. Some of the shit he told me made my ass hair curl up. You should pay me for being here. These beast dreams are so boring. This dude falls asleep on his own. <laughs> Live stream. Hmm. I love her lack of energy. Go, Go girl, girl, give us nothing. nothing. Ah! <laughs> was I upset that night? I absolutely, positively was upset. The uh, game pissed me the off. It made me feel like wank. because the game was badly designed and it, it it ruined. Imagine you have people that are going to work a third shift at a factory that's probably not properly heated or cooled right now to make 15 bucks an hour. You got a guy making six figures a year crying because he had to play a game he didn't like and didn't make enough money making it. Fuck you, Phil. It was an experience for me because I was liking the game up to that point and I was actually sad that the game had gotten so bad at that point. In addition, I already had a week where things were already really like bad for me financially, both behind the scenes and in front of the scenes. You know, It was a slow week that week. And... I didn't even know what was going to happen being able to afford stuff. 
And I was honest with my audience that night. And some people just can't take that honesty. People can't take that honesty. <laughs> Phil, my streams do insanely well. You know why they do insanely well? Because people love feeling like they they are entertained and it makes them feel inclined to want to support the streams. My streams make more money than my videos now. Because I don't, I, they're not. None of you are have any obligation to me whatsoever. And that's not me like just trying to be sweetie. So you don't, it's factual. If you think my, if my, my streams don't entertain you, you don't, you would be like, all right, Rich, I'm fucking off. Why would I give you money? You, like, the problem is, is, and now I've seen the light. Congratulations, Phil. After years of guilting people and giving them nothing, but I have to survive. That's the reason why you need to give me money. Now that it's way too little, way too late, that's your nickname, Phil, way too little, way too late, Burnell. It's too, you're just known as the low cow who begs. It's too late again, Phil. It amounted to nothing. Um, no one's really supporting, which pisses me off. It does. That and it's purely budgetary. Rich, I happily support you. Have another two bucks. And you have another two fucking birds. <laughs> yeah, this tastes like I'm drinking sweet piss. COVID is a weird virus, man. It's not strange. Not personal. Ah, I'm gonna kill myself! I never had a cough either. I had very minimal cough for like a day. Which everyone was like, you didn't have a good COVID, you didn't have a cough. I'm like, yeah, but I didn't really cough. I'm like, you should check your oxygen. I'm like, why the fuck am I checking my oxygen levels? I could take full deep breaths. Effortlessly. If I was coughing, of course. Um, Phil is Captain Hindsight. Where he, yeah. But but even when he has hindsight, he has half-ass hindsight. Wow. I'm going to kill myself, and it's your fault. Jesus Christ. Trying to play this off as he was really hard up for money this time. Like, for real, dude, it's kind of disgusting. Because he's always hard up for money. He's been hard up for money for years. He's begging for money since he, like, came in. DSP emergency. Oh, my God. I remember that on KO Gaming. <laughs> emergency live stream. It's an emergency. I'm broke. <laughs> what did I do? No. Don't you dare. Don't you fucking dare. It's talking. You Where are we at? True. DSP. Moist Critical doesn't know anything about you. And doesn't care. You got banned from the Twitch partner members. Where were we? He says it. You can tell that, like, he's interested in me as a character, but he doesn't watch my content. All right? You could. <laughs> hey, Rich, hope you're feeling better. I need a pick me up since I was a form of being laid off. Didn't expect it, but well, here it is. I'm very sorry, Mari. Shit. I'm hearing that a lot lately. <laughs> Emergency. Emergencies. I forgot about it. what the fuck was KO Gaming. That was another thing I forgot. There's so many branches with Phil. Like you just saw, you forget. Now he has like a murderous stepsister. Like what's going on? I don't have the energy for this shit. Oh, the KO Gaming. We got to look up some KO Gaming maybe after this. I'm trying to go long. I'm too stoned to not stay up now. <coughs> yeah, but that was something surprising. I, I like my, my friends who had COVID had bad coughs. I didn't. I didn't really have a cough, like I said, at all. A little bit for a day. I don't give money to you, Father. I do it for the birds. I thought Carlos not be able to afford groceries, kept you up all night, support the birds. He pecks corn out of my ass, dude. I love it, too. It makes my whole feel really clean. I just slurred the fuck out of those words. I kind of sounded like... Uh, Humping Steven Crowder. Or Humping Steven Crowder. They make my hole feel shiny clean after they peck the corn out of it. I'm out of my mind. Uh, when I got COVID, I had no cough or fever and never lost taste or smell. So... It were you sick? <laughs> I 
I, it's weird. Like the, the losing taste is a thing now. Um, now that I feel basically completely fine. I mean, I sound stuffy. Obviously, that's I'm gonna probably sound stuffy for a month now. Uh, that's one thing my dad said. It took like three weeks for him to get back his taste and smell completely. That sucks. Maybe depending on how I feel tomorrow, but that's like a 40% chance. So don't count on it. I'm going to probably stream tomorrow. There may even be videos tomorrow. There's actually interesting topics, but 12 hour streams. I don't know if I got the energy for that one. Let me not push it yet. I will. Oh, well, chills, aches and headache. Yeah, that's a, oh yeah. The aches sucked, dude. The first day I had the aches, the nose went away pretty quick. Tell he's not sitting here right now. That's how I knew it was something more than a cold. I was like, yeah, I took that one COVID test. It said I was negative, but I'm like, I'm achy. Let me take another. And thank fuck I did, because that, that thing lit up like a Christmas tree to tell me I had COVID. Watching my stream, he's watching the detractor highlight of my stream that picks in at the bad parts and says that's all that I am. All right. This is why I keep saying that DSP is either a character or he's stone cold crazy. He's like, you can tell yeah, this is where we're essentially where we were because your content is. Yeah, not even sore throat for me. I tell you, I had a. Uh, thirty eight twenty five rich. All right, we'll go. With, all right, Abby, you know what that is? Well, minutes. Uh, yeah, I didn't have a, I had a headache. I had a headache. That, and usually I never get headaches. So, yeah, 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 yeah. But the sore throat wasn't really... I felt that for, like... That was in the beginning. I had a little bit of a sore throat. The headache was a motherfucker, though. I'm so thankful that's gone. That made it tough to sleep. Hit the scene. He's telling people to click the links in the video, click the ads, send money to PayPal. This is the same... He looks like curl. 2008 Phil looks. Is that 2008 Phil? 2000. That looks like Curly from the Three Stooges. <laughs> uh, DSP emergency. And the thing is, look, he's holding his hair up to make him look distressed. That's his thumbnail. KO Gaming. I know I said I was going to wait. I'm itching my calf and I don't know why. Uh, Kehoge. Did he take... Uh, he probably took down the channel, I bet. <laughs> Does it have a trailer? What is it? Alright, so it is after school... After doing mementos, we finish up those two missions, right? Nah, I don't, no one has time for that shit. Thanks. 14 years, Phil. He's hoping he got Moist Critical sees this and thinks, like, DSP's making some sort of Barbara Walters level turnaround. I don't even know who that is. Dark Side Phil admitted that the month we're talking about, because this was last month, was so good on YouTube. A lot of people came out and supported him and stuff. And he made so much money from gifted memberships that he could buy his wife an Xbox S. Now, this whole time right here, DSP is telling us he's broke. But if you watch Phil, even like passingly, like a retarded squirrel that's outside your house, you sometimes see, you're like, what the hell squirrely doing now? He will tell on himself. Last month, he's hard for money at that point. In addition, I already had a week where things were already really like bad for me financially, both behind the scenes and in front of the scenes. You know, it was a slow week that week. And. Oh, his streams are so positive. I could shit. I didn't even know what was going to happen doing the new food stuff. This month, last month, we made a lot of money. Things were good. He could buy an Xbox. Uh, during that time when they were very, when they were, well, I mean, they still are cheap. The thing was, they went on sale during the Black Friday week. And thankfully, thanks to, to having a really good month here on YouTube two months ago, if you remember, there was the month when I got the ridiculous amount of gifted subs. So because of that, I had some... Oh, well, maybe I'm really... I'm just picturing a bunch of, like, Subway sandwiches just being thrown at Phil. 
all filled with salami, just just fucking tossing. They're like, Whoa! I'm gonna, I'm going. Good night. So, I had some shits. Nightbreak dreamer. I've had, I had the shits. That was a symptom I had. Powerful, powerful shits. Some extra money, and I was able to get her an Xbox Series S. What the fuck is this clip? And what the fuck are his nipples? <laughs> Gee, this thing's can fucking poke an eye out, man. Horse shit! See how this dude rolls? We ain't even getting into the, the television saga. Not even. Keep. Oh, yeah, the television. Uh, I forgot about the TV. A bit off topic, but I noticed about people who act condescending and belittle you in Twitter arguments, bail out when you press them to name, to name call. Or I'll just go like, it takes me 30 seconds. I don't even really do it anymore because I don't even feel like getting into that shit. It's just petty and I shouldn't have done it to begin with. But it takes like, I go on their Twitter for 10 seconds and it's just so easy to expose them. And then like, they're like, one guy even blocked me. I bring that up. A troll blocked me because they don't expect you to do that. But it's not even worth it. It's I have I waste I should waste my energy and other shit. Keep the clip going before I stab myself in the head. Like Phil has the pignosis. He Dark mind sea. and brainwashes his viewers Death into contributing. Hell. Dark sea devil. <laughs> I gotta see. I gotta see him say that. What's his name? Andy Dick. Dark sea devil. Devil. The pignosis is very real. I call it bagnosis. Like the dude constantly, there's always something wrong. There's always something bad on the horizon. He's the underdog. You gotta help. And his fan base always rallies to him. All right, even back in the days of Twitch, you could find this in a Snort Brunel video. Twitch streamers have the most generous fans. We looked at the revenue each streamer gains from bits and cheers per subscriber. This shows which streamers had the most loyal fans, users with the most donations, incoming per subscriber include Dark Side Phil, Tim Ack, what is that, Tim the Tap Man, and Castro. DSP's number one. This was in 2020. Oh my God, I'm so dizzy. Oh my God, I'm gonna vomit. <laughs> oh my God. So the pig- I didn't even realize that he was high up there, man. Yeah, he- that he has to have, but uh, this is kind of what we've been saying. I didn't even see this part. Like, again, I, I th the first 13 times I've watched this, because it's a masterpiece, I was in a COVID haze. He has whales, son. Like, consistent daily whales. I'm telling you, it is a, it, it is a small group of 50-year-old men that jerk off to him blowing bubbles. <laughs> I'm telling you, Philip Brunel is a man. No, this is very real. That's the point. Like, if DSP squeals loud enough, his fans come rushing in and throwing money like Scrooge McDuck, suffering from a brain aneurysm. Guys, playing a game that obviously is painfully badly designed, right? And I would hope that the fact that you guys are getting entertainment out of it, because you obviously were. Look at the, the view skyrocketed. Again, he's pressuring. People don't want to be pressured to pay anything. Let them enjoy it. If they're enjoying it, that 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 that's how you should. F I'm trying to think of the best way to word it right now. I might be too stoned. The success of your stream should that should tell you if you have to be angry and like condescending to your audience, you're doing something wrong because you're not entertaining people. If people were entertained, they would want to support the show. It's that simple. Why am I just, I'm frozen in time right now. People were really saying they were enjoying seeing me suffer through this. That at least so Then they weren't enjoying it enough. They weren't enjoying it enough. Try something different. Try again. <laughs> Someone would have said, all right, thanks a lot for that. We know you're. No, he wouldn't survive as a car salesman. You, you can't be like that in sales now.
You, you would get the she would get the taste slapped out of his mouth, Ukami. I mean, I need you to buy this car. I don't know if I don't hit my commission goal this month, I'm, I'm in trouble. <laughs> he would, they would slap him to a different car dealership. If you're having a rough week. Here you go. We'll contribute or do something to help you out. And at least now I'll be like, wow. Well, at least. My coffee tastes like I cannot taste any coffee. So it was kind of worth it for me suffering through this. Piece <laughs> and it didn't happen. And I got upset about it. All right. I'm a human. I have weakness. <laughs> yeah. A daily weakness. A weakness that happens all the time. I was having a bad time with the game. I felt so bad. And I stayed an hour over. It's not a real. Like, bro, you're acting like you're a bricklayer, dude. You're acting like you're a garbage man or a security guard. I had to do an hour overtime. Phil, you're in your house. <laughs> hour of over. Yeah, like, man, oh, guys, this. I stayed to stream. Like, dude, I'm, I'm, my, my bedroom is literally like under me downstairs. I'm okay. I could stop whenever I want to. If I stayed later, that's on me. I'll be okay. Oh man, I have to commute back home. Oh wait, it's right here. Like, Jesus, like, do you not realize how lucky we have it, Phil? Even with your bankruptcies and shit, you still get to keep your lights on in a gated community because you play video games every day at 40 years old. Let, take that pill, swallow it, and digest it, and let that sink in. But no, you complain, like, oh, I gotta wake up and go to this job. There's people working in, like, freezing temperatures right now keeping bridges together putting their lives on the line you sit on a couch and play video games or chair or whatever christ the entitlement just makes me flaccid you did that extra hour praying to god someone send you 50 dollars. you know you wouldn't have to beg if you just try if you actually Put some uh, goddamn effort into what you were doing. My God. You are the laziest content creator running. Stream. Yes, this is the quality content. Titanius, you're in Coming here. from Phil. <laughs> yeah, we're only two days into 2023, and I'm already suspecting that Phil is losing it a little bit. I know he thinks his fans will watch anything. Like, why would you want to see this? Like, oh yeah, T. Joe, are you here? Are you here? Like, opening up the controller, that's different. Like, who wants to see you do stuff to the set? Like, just show them the finished product, dude. Like, or, or if you're, like, a technician that's working on, like, a PlayStation console or something like that, and they use, and they show you what they're doing. This is just normie shit. It's like, it's like just filming yourself just fucking turning on a light switch. Thing, but this is... But the but dude, I'm telling you, the the five horny or horny fifty year old men that watch him love this. Oh yeah, Phil, bend over and put those lights. Really low brow. Look at his background, bro. His background is empty yes. PlayStation 5 boxes and Xbox boxes with little tchotchkes and bobbleheads. Look, he's 12. It's like a 12-year-old's room. <laughs> As a person with bad credit, work for the MTA and dealing with crackheads, left, I have a complaint recently. Well, you work for the MTA, so dude, you could, you could turn shit around. That job will give you a pension too, right? You're in a good place, dude. Life happens. <laughs> I, ha I had two cars be repossessed, and now I have a 750 credit score, or around there. Life can change. Two repossessed cars. Two. This is him leveling. The fuck is wrong with me? Leveling up. The magic eight ball. You give him eight dollars, you shake it around, you can ask the eight ball a question. Or you could, like I said, I remember I did the joke for five bucks. That's still there, by the way. I, why did I plug that? But whatever, it's a joke. Yeah, I do it. Buy one for eight dollars. He's right. Why don't you cut out the damn middleman and buy yourself an eight ball and ask it whenever you feel it's a one-time fee? If it works. 
this thing does. You know why I don't do that that much anymore anyway? Like, we're, ah, ah, my fucking back. Ah, ah, ah. Anyway. Will I get my taste back by tomorrow? No, go. Go fuck yourself. Okay. Celebratory bubble blow, everybody. Jasper, here it comes. Nah, my dad said his took three weeks to get back. I honestly, minus the weird taste shit and being stuffy, right now I feel normal. Well, really fucking stoned, but oh, that's also normal. But this coffee... T it, you know what it tastes like? It tastes like sugar water. Mm hmm That's it. It is. You're stoned? No way. I'm picturing you like a uh, generic white male. <laughs> From uh, TCAP. Oh, I believe I'm getting an IO Neo Geek to review. I'm excited for that because that's the one I think people should buy. Again, not sponsored by Ioneo, but as much as I love, I bought myself one of the high-end Ioneos, um, and then I got the review unit. But it's a way I'll be the first to tell you, as someone who bought the high-end Ioneo, you don't, the Ioneo 2, I should say, you don't need it. It's, waste, it's a waste of screen real estate. The Ioneo Geek, storage aside, so long as you get the 6800U one, the price to performance is some of the best out there right now. You have the Ryzen 7 6800U, the 12 800 by 800 screen, the 1280 by 800 screen for, a, I think it's a 7-inch panel is more than enough. And on top of it, with the 6800U in there, you're going to be playing a ton of games in like medium-high settings at 60 FPS, dude. It's amazing. I love, and you know, so if you want to get a premium device that's not super out of the steam deck range this is the one to look at whereas the higher end ia neo 2s it's kind of a waste of money sorry ia neo i'm just being honest bubbles he really is falling apart under the weight of this massive talent <laughs> like blowing bubbles too like i was gonna do it i still should do it as a joke See, that would be a good joke. That would probably make me money, too. Like, Phil, keep coming up with these terrible ideas that I would personally never do, because then I could copy you and then profit off of it. <laughs> Tickle television. Phil used... Phil used to cell phones at Hoot Wireless. Dude, he needs to work at Hoot Wireless. Hoot Wireless. Hoot Wireless. Hoot Wireless. Could you imagine he was behind the counter like and you know he would do that arrogant like hand folding, which is if first off, uh socializing one on one, if you fold your hands it makes you seem standoffish and imposing you shouldn't do that. But Phil would be like, Oh, my arms are folded, I'm gonna sell you a phone and I masturbate. I maybe I don't I don't know. <laughs> How did that look? It looked horrible. <laughs> oh, he's blowing bubbles. Like, how do you think? Like, he he thinks that's a good idea. That wasn't done as a joke. That was done as, you know what? That'll get the people to come in. Watching a middle-aged man with a terrible background blow bubbles. The incentives with Philip Burnell don't stop. We get a hundred likes. I'm gonna blow bubble. What the hell? Are you and yeah, he deletes the streams. So what do the likes matter? You do it. Forty years old. You can tell he comes from the mean streets of Greenwich, Connecticut, because this wouldn't fly in this city. Me, I'm the complete polar opposite of that, you know. And that night, I was very honest with my audience. I I basically said, I'm upset because I stayed late for you. Cause he's so, and the thing is, like Rich, you get shirtless and do dumb stuff. You're forty. Like it's, I'm in on the joke though. I get it's a joke. It's it's comedy. He's he's so serious. He is a serious man. 
he very rarely jokes. Like, he's serious about this. He's like, God damn it, this is a positive stream. No joking, no having fun, no, just, just stop. No titties. <laughs> like, yeah, he, and then he, like, I'll blow, but like, dude, you're 40. Why? I thought you said you have an adult audience. What adults would want bubbles? I'm not even saying that to be sarcastic. I'm serious. What adults, what people who are of, like, you're saying 20, 30, and 40, not a single soul would want them to accept a lot to roast you for it. <sighs> he's playing the original Resident Evil. I'm sure he's probably bitching that I'm watching this, too. If not, he will be. Don't worry. You guys, playing a game that... Philip Rinald 2024. No nonsense. <laughs> On that, wait, no, he says uh, raw gameplay, too. That would be his other slogan. Obviously, is painfully badly designed, right? And he'd have his murderous stepsister. <laughs> That's his VP. <laughs> I'll, I'll fucking kill him. I'll literally fucking kill him. I can't wait to find out about that. I am too upset. I, this is the Truman Show to me. What is that about now, duty streams? What is that about? Just when you think it stops with Silt to fill the son of a bitch pulls you back in. And I would hope that the fact that you guys are getting entertainment out of it, because you obviously were. Look at the, the view skyrocketed. People were really saying they were enjoying seeing me suffer through this. That at least someone would have said, all right, thanks a lot for that. See what? <sighs> Thank, thank you so much for me sitting here in the comfort of my own home making money. How dare you not appreciate me more? Our job is so hard, Philip. Oh, look at the sweat on my brow. Shut up. Um, no, I actually have very puffy, pointy nipples, which you've seen. And um, Would you say my ears are big? I would say so. I would say that I have large lobes. What do you think? This is another pro-life tip. This is why you keep your tolerance somewhat low with marijuana. So when you take a break and come back, you don't need 50,000 milligrams to get lit up like I am right now. You know what I'm saying about DSP being crazy? Like, bro, you stay in... Is TSP not entitled to the sweat of his brow, of your brow? Extra hour to play a game you don't like is not doing anything for anyone, really. They're there to laugh at you. You may as well have fun. Notice how other streamers that are rich are having fun? Yeah, that, that's, it's strange how that works. It's like if you're entertaining, people want to pay you to be entertaining. Fuck me, right? Is a kid's name Speed of Sonic or something? Speed or Sonic? You mean I show Speed, the kid that almost lit himself on fire? He looks Speed and Sonic. <laughs> doesn't he call him the? Doesn't fucking it's a Gundam call the quartering the quarter the quarterling? I can't even say it wrong the way he says it. The quarterling. I actually like that better than the quartering. It's like he's always having fun. People just throw money at him. Dark side Phil is always in a constant state of peril. <laughs> Yeah, because nothing brings on positivity and joy than saying how much you're broke and your life sucks. <laughs> no, he always says his life is good, but it, it, uh, you know, it, the hard knock life of living in a gated community. <laughs> and he expects to be paid for it. He plays a game he doesn't like, and he literally says, you think someone would thank me by going, here, Phil, you've been suffering through the game for my entertainment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's my entire week's check. Here, take it. Just take it. Funny. <laughs> Phil, I know you had a rough week. Yeah, like, be grateful for the support. Yes, Phil, I make a, most of my living now live streaming, too. Be grateful for it. Don't expect it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Christ. But now he finally gets it because Critical said it, but he got it too late. Weak. You got fleeced out of five. <laughs> On a scale from one to ten. Can I borrow five dollars? Philip Brunel, 2020. <laughs> Five 
$500 spark plugs. Let me alleviate your stress. Absolutely right. I 100% will publicly admit that was uh, one of the times when the weakness of me as a person was exposed to the internet. For sure. One the weakness of me. The one of the times when you're talking about begging. Phil, you beg every day. Or at least used to. Now you do sly begging, which we've proven. I'm back. And you just came. Thank you for letting me know you orgasm. <laughs> Yo, he he looks like... What are those? That That is a pause face right there. He looks like he's about to vomit. <laughs> And what are those rock faces? They're Easter Island faces. He looks like an Easter Island face that's about to fucking vomit. <laughs> uh, <coughs> fuck me! This, this, this video is gonna fuck. This video is gonna fucking kill me, Gundam. You're gonna put me under. EDP is dying. Yeah, he has stage five. Live, uh, kidney failure. Uh, nah, just kidding. I wish, but uh, well, thank you for that. You were fantasizing about coming. Uh, how about DSP nut faces? For <laughs> he looks like he's about. He looks like an Easter Island face about to hurl. Like if they made one about to hurl. <laughs> one million percent. That was a moment that I was weak because I was very upset about how things were going financially for me that week um and phil what we have gone through a chronological history of every single year of videos where it is compiled of you together saying that you have had a rough year you are a you are philip rough year burnell that sounds like that would be your gay porn name if you were co-starring with tip pig <laughs> Pumping Steven Crowder. <laughs> Philip Ruffier Burnell. Uh, my opponent was lying. I was scratching my leg on May 1st, and man, he had a thirst. Even, I'm going to spoil it. I know I said I wasn't. Even... Gundam says he should have fucking capitalized on the nut faces. Phil, he would have you would have been able to retire, Phil. We know you don't want to do you could have fucking paid for your house in your gated community from the merchandise you could have made off your masturbation faces. I'm only slightly exaggerating. You would have probably made a six figure sum after taxes from the merch from that. But your stupid ass fucking pride wouldn't let you do it, you idiot. Because I was so upset at the game, I vented to my audience, and you could say, that was bad. You are the architect of your... Oh, he's... Oh, fuck, I'm taking his line. But it's true. You are the architect of your own demise. You could have been out of your supposed financial ruin a billion times over, and you have you've, you have had lifelines just thrown at you like this. Phil, make merchandise. No. Phil, start using a capture card. No. Phil, stop bee begging. No. You have been handed lifelines. You just said, no, I'd rather drown in the ocean and purposely threw the lifeline back. I'm getting way too deep into this. Well, thank fucking God. Hold on, stop the stream. It's, thank God, we could stop doing everything right now. Why? Because Abby orgasmed. You know, I was just, you know, I was sitting there you know, in my COVID haze and I was thinking to myself, you know what? I hope to God that this evening, while well, even though I'm shitting my brains out and have aches and chills, I hope that Abby's busting a big fat nut. Thank you, Abby. Thank you. So this was your one moment of weakness. You just saw yourself looking at the wall. My wall from work. <laughs> Take a picture of yourself looking at a wall. I should make that a meme.
I should try while I'm not relevant enough on Twitter. Like I could it, on good days, I could get a hundred people to like my tweets on Twitter. Um, but like just everyone was just looking at walls. I was just staring at my. What do you say? Looking at my walls. Either one sounds ridiculous. Looking at my wall, staring at my wall. Here was me looking at my wall, waiting for my food. <laughs> Look at my ass, Phil. It's flat, so it's like a wall. Yes. I guess the other 14 years of seeing you do this is a fever dream. We all suffered. And all the videos that have proof of you doing the same thing repeat Over and over and over Italy. again. They're all doctored. They're all deep fakes. If you look back at my content from 10 years ago, when I was very popular on YouTube and I was rolling in the ad revenue, I never mentioned money. Yeah. <laughs> and you did. You did. It's, here it is. Is this not you, Phil? Was this a deep fake from like 2010? Were, were you trying to audition to be in Wu-Tang with that getup? <laughs> Dawson looking like he's in a... He looks in, he's looking like a, a white dude in the background of a 1997 DOS effects music video. What a fucking... With goldfish. With the whole thing of goldfish vibe. <laughs> ...which is this channel, The King of Hate HD, and... Basically, how much you guys participate with this channel. If oh, he's such a turd. And he doesn't even, he's so obvious. You know what I mean. Uh, I'm not allowed to come out and just say, uh, you know, how you can do that, but anyway. But I'm just going to really imply it to the point that I'm going to violate TOS because I'm a fucking dent. The real, yeah, real hip hop. Custom to YouTube and how the partner channels work. I'm sure you understand what I'm saying. I was never asking for it. I never, I didn't have a PayPal where you could donate. He did. I didn't even, I, I just started a Patreon. I had been a YouTuber from Bulls Artist. I say again, Bulls Artist. Oh, Nipple Man is back. DSP's lying through his goddamn teeth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he really is. <laughs> He had, I remember, I think I remember him back in the day. I had a PayPal. You, you, Phil, Phil, are you doing this? Are you really sitting there going, I never had a PayPal. I never asked for money. Lie. Yeah. When he looked like Curly, I think he mentioned it when he was going through his three stooges look era. Lies, bro. There's literally video of you telling people to send you money for PayPal. When you had yep. a Patreon, you told people to join your Patreon. And you didn't want to be Mr. Views. That Patreon would set you free from views. Why did I? Why? Why did I? Actually, the Mr. Views things when, when he was at a con. And this is with John Rambo and and, and uh, Panda Lee. And, uh, yeah, I don't want to be Mr. Views. I do this. Box to play Fortnite to the no, that. No. Remember when my editor took this picture and photoshopped the fat face on? <laughs> I gotta find that. I gotta find that. That was the funniest shit ever. I was like laughing at that stoned one day for like an hour to the point that I couldn't fucking breathe. <laughs> that is the pose of a man who has way too much self-importance. But see, at this point, especially with Phil's ego, and at this point, this was like the golden age of Phil. This was like peak Phil. This is before everyone started realizing he's an asshat. Um, so he was like, his head was like probably like, you know, like, like okay, that's his actual head. It kind of looks like a pin. But <laughs> like, why is his neck back like this, dude? Like, what's going on here? But his head was... Yeah, sure, it was this big, and it looks like you could bowl it over like a pin, but it was really, metaphorically, this big. Because at this point, people didn't realize he was a complete idiot yet. Bang. You can take me to Moist Meyer, but not Loot Lake. I really love to chug chug with you. I gotta find the fat face version. Oh, that was so funny. My editor was brilliant for that. But this is very much my business. <laughs> Look at the background. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. I do have to treat it like a business. Because if I have a day where everything's very slow, 
<laughs> and I don't mention. His fucking Beethoven hair while he's stroking his dick. <laughs> May 1st, next to demolition, daddy needs to... I can't do it. If there's any trolls out there that want to do that, God bless. That's harmless fun, but I can't be the one that personally does it. By the way, things are kind of slow today. I would appreciate it if someone could contribute. I have come. Also, I'm here. I have come as well. Breastfeed it, breastfeed it, breastfeed it, breastfeed it, breastfeed it. Yo, I'm getting that, uh, I'm getting that deep stone voice now. Combined with COVID makes it even deeper. In a world where Philip Rennell stroked his own dick until he had an orgasm. <laughs> Ray Liotta. <laughs> Rest in peace, Ray Liotta. <laughs> but imagine, like, Ray Liotta. I can't think of any other actors right now. I was about to say Peter North, but we're, <laughs> what kind of fucking film would that be? <laughs> kind of film we going into? <laughs> Peter North for president, by the way. Did you know he actually uh, or <laughs> was the uh, conductor for Skyrim? He actually wrote. He actually wrote the soundtrack. That's not true at all. By the way, that's, that's a fucking lie. Tell your kids that. That's a lie. Peter North may have a big cock, but he does not write or compose music. I don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs> Ray Liotta, P Philip Burnell, and Peter North star in I Stroked My Own Dick and Forgot About the Camera. <laughs> I don't, dude, I don't know what I'm talking about. It's over. This stream is done. I'm done. The fat face. The fat face is behind. <laughs> with Gundam driving the fucking car. <laughs> it was just too much for me. My fucking brain short circuited. Uh, I paid Steve Downs, the voice actor, to say your shoulders. Did you know? Dude, can I have that for the soundboard? Oh, no. It would pick up. It would be great. Okay, if I don't do that. I'll put it right next to Ganache, man. And I have a series of slow days. I could actually be screwed. Remember when, like, DSP was uh, in trouble for his taxes with the IRS, and he got on the stream every day? It told us that it wasn't a business. Uh, whatever you want to call this, because technically it's not a business. I know lots of other things, too, because I, I've been calling out that this thing is not a business. Cause it's not. It's not a legally registered business. <laughs> yes, I'll send it on Twitter right now. Oh my god. I could only get so hard. Business all the work that I put into this 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 entity, this it's not a business. It's cuz it's not. I don't own a business. I don't legally own a business anywhere. He doesn't know. You're a sole proprietor, Phil. What were you t That's uh, that's what I say of my taxes. I'm a sole proprietor. What were you saying you were like an LLC and you weren't? <laughs> I can't do that. When my PS4 is idle, the music is never the same. Yeah, because now you're thinking about the jerk-off faces. Yeah, Phil, sole proprietor. What we what was your the tax man was like? You could get a bigger, you could get a bigger deduction if you say you're a business, Mister Mister Philium. No, sole proprietor. Know what it is, but it's definitely not a business. I don't need to be an LLC. It's just me. It's me and my editor. My editor trips and falls down the stairs. It's him and his fucking cat's problem. Now we're back to being a business again. Now, do I want to operate like this forever? No, I don't. I don't like this. I hate this. I freaking hate this. I don't want to have to constantly be asking for contributions and asking for help. I hate it. Really, it hurts me to do it to my audience. I've even though he has done it for a decade now. Detest it. I don't want to do it, but I have to. If I want to continue to do what... I appreciate your streams, Birdfather, and I appreciate you supporting the show. Thank you, Esker. In 10 months, man, thank you. I'll pay for you to play it on stream. Of course I'll play I it. Love 
And if I want to do what people tell me is meaningful. Gulag kills don't count. Yeah, bye. Goodbye. Why would you ban someone for that? Even if someone gave an annoying take on a game. Like, I remember, I, got, I had my butt hurt moment when I was playing Elden Ring and that fucking where they get the Reduva Blade was... And everyone was like, oh, just dodge like this, parry like this, shove a sword up your ass, and then you'll be fine. You get extra runes. And it's like, oh, it's got to stop, but would I ban any of you for it? No. How many times, T. Joe, I don't know if you're here. I keep on calling him. He's not fucking here. I'm talking to a guy who's not here in the stream. He was like, dude, Rich, you're playing, you're fucking up, you're doing this. I'd be like, T. Joe, God damn it, but would I ban him for it? No. Don't come back. Did you really ban him for his talk how you're playing the game? I could see getting annoyed, dude. I call it the game show effect. I get it. Where it's like, you know, you watch a game show. It's like, oh, I could have answered that better than the person. But if you were the person there, but would I ban someone for? No. Dishonest app, don't stay in my chat, sorry. Gulag kills don't count. They're the same as any other kill. I need to do what I love, and if I... <laughs> it's just like when he got pissed off, people said he was playing God of War Ragnarok on easy. <laughs> he made it like it was the most offensive thing he ever heard. He was like making it like a you farted at an, on an old grandma at church, and she heard you because it was loud. Oh! If I want to do what people tell me is meaningful. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> So toxic. Oh, you think that was toxic to want people to be people of their word? Now you're gone too. <laughs> what a, so, isn't that a fun where you can't even remotely check Twitter DM? Okay. Uh, how can I get this now without doxing everybody? Oh my God. Holy DMs, man. I, th I think I found you. All right, I'm going to have to. Can I download this? Really? You're not going to let me? I'll play the audio. Mission coming in hot for Jim. This is Steve Downs, the voice of Master Chief, Spartan 117, with an incoming transmission coming in hot for Jeremy Rubenstein. Jeremy, for some reason you want me to say this. I know it means something to you. So, your shoulders. Now, <laughs> wake me when you need me. All the best to you, Jeremy. Chief, out. <laughs> There's another one. Wait, wait, wait. Steve Downs, the voice of Master Chief, Spartan 117, with an incoming transmission coming in hot for I'll Jeremy Rubenstein. Jeremy, for some reason you want me to say this. It's the same one, but fucking I'll play it again. To you. So, your shoulders. Now, wake me. <laughs> That is amazing. Thank you. <laughs> That's, I know what's going on the soundboard tomorrow. That's for shit, sure. <laughs> it's going right next to... Uh, we can get rid of the Phil laugh. I don't use it that often. Since, you know, you think it's toxic to make people actually live up to what they say they're going to do. Uh, see, this is why... You gotta get it. You know how much funnier it would have been if he had the, the Photoshop one my editor did with the fat face? You gotta hit me up, Gundam. That would have been the extra little... That would have been like the fucking parsley of whatever you put on top of shit. Coming in hot, your... Sh coming in hot, your shoulders, please. Yes! Yes! The, the, the coming in hot part. He might have said anus. Oh my god, could you imagine if you got to try to relax your anus from Master Chief? I get it, though. Like, I've turned down some cameos because it's like, nah, dude, I ain't saying that. Stop it. To do? Come on. The fact Phil says he loves this, that's a lie. The only time Phil says a stream is good is if he gets a certain amount of money. If he's in that vest, if he's wearing a stupid hat and glasses, it was a good stream. If the stream doesn't make a certain amount of money, it was a slow day. Notice how that's always what it is. Also, if you look at DSP's Twitter page, it's like a totally different person. TSP the renewed. He does run his Twitter like a business, like a PR firm that has nothing but positive things to say. Find out more on DSP Gaming while we make it to the other side of this. 
<laughs> Today we look to the future. Join me for a very special edition of the Level 1 Podcast where we go through the game release schedule for 2023 live. Then we try out Need for Speed Unbound for the first time. See you in a bit. Shut the fuck up, Phil. I love Halo. I'm just disappointed with Infinite. Rage, like, then you go on the stream, the dude looks miserable, and he's hinting. Yeah, like, imagine, like, you saw this, like, saccharine pot, like, oh, man, maybe this guy is truly positive, and you go to his stream, and he's falling asleep. <laughs> Get money. You do what I love. Yeah, he rage quit Need for Speed. I saw that. And if I want to do what people... Oh, I forgot. I, I got the EA Premium. I want to try that. I can't wait for Dead Space, man. Tell me it's meaningful. Can't wait for Dead Space. I forgot about Dead Space. Very nice. Nothing you've done is meaningful. I'm not trying to be mean to you, but I'm being real. Even what I'm doing, people sit there and go, you got me through a dark time. I don't let that go to my head. I was making doofy videos to make a couple people laugh, and I went on about my business. That's the difference between me and Phil. Yeah, that's how I feel. I mean, I appreciate when you guys tell me that. Don't misconstrue that, but I don't... I don't... What is, what is it? Where you, where you think you have more self-importance than you really do. My, I have COVID and marijuana fog right now. You know, you get what I'm trying to say. Like... I don't jerk off to myself, essentially. I look at what I'm doing, I'm like, I, what I have this toast day. Phil's like, I'm helping people snort. <laughs> I'm helping people snort. <laughs> Yo, I think it was. Oh, why is this not on the soundboard? If you're not, if you're still here, Sean McCarthy, do you still have the cameo you got from Chris Hansen? I should get Dickers on the soundboard right next to. Oh, I don't have. Can I taste your nuts anymore? That's sad. Oh, la 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 la. Name tomorrow's stream coming in, <laughs> coming in hot. I mean, dude, I don't remember which. Oh, maybe I put featuring Chris Hansen. Sean McCarthy. I may have it there. Good call. Is if I say Chris Hansen in my search, it'll be easy to find it. My long-term plan is that within a few years, my credit builds back up because my bankruptcy will be in the past. I'll be able to do things like apply for loans or refinance my home. Um, and that's going to save me. No, God, please, no, no, no. Did you lose... No! No, Phil. Credit is not for you, dude. You literally went 500 grand into debt. Yeah, don't, Phil. Avoid, avoid credit cards, Phil. Avoid them. You look at credit cards how I did in like my teens and twenties. <laughs> like it, a credit card is not free money. You owe it back eventually. Like it, it's not free. That's how I used to look at credit cards because I was fucking stupid. And now he's talking like, oh, when my credit gets back up and the bankruptcy's over, I can apply for loans. But that's how you got into this mess the first time. Applying for loans on a failing business that you... 13 credit cards, allegedly. Or 14, some people are saying. We're going, we're teetering back and forth with that. Either one, it sounds like there was a lot. Called DSP Gaming. And I talk to people and I'm applying, or I apply for a loan, or I do anything, and they say, what do you do for a living? And I tell them I make, you know, gameplay videos, and I'm a YouTuber. 2016, I lost big money that normally I would have. Yeah, get, yeah. sign them up for a platinum card. Fucking Phil. coming in just from people naturally searching for a game on YouTube. Oh, a raw playthrough. Let's check it out, and they'd come watch. I got none of that, and it really concretely hurt me really, really badly. All right, to the point, and I won't go too much into detail, but to the point where I had to take out loans, I had to rack up credit cards. <laughs> this is, but if you ask Phil about this, and it came out of his own mouth, he would say, "Fuck you, you're banned." He would never. 
come on and interview and talk about this shit. I had to do a lot of things that I did not want to do because I already was in debt from moving across the country in mid-2014, and my debt went way up. He's literally going to do it again if he gets his credit back. See? DSP doesn't learn. DSP's worst enemy, the greatest detractor of all time in Phil history, is Dark Side Phil. <gasps> oh my God. <laughs> hear me? You quote me on that. You heard that? Past Dark Side. What do I always say? The biggest detractor channel on YouTube is DSP Gaming. Because it's all there, Phil. I Phil. Screw Please. present dark side Phil. How many times have I said that, guys? You know. Present dark side Phil. Screws. Future dark side Phil. <laughs> I love the anger face right there. <laughs> so wait, Curly from the Three Stooges is going to screw over dark side Phil? <laughs> this dude is literally planning to take out loans. They're going to save me. The bankruptcy was supposed to save you, Phil. It didn't. Getting the money for your taxes was supposed to save you, Phil. It didn't. It's a never-ending loop. Dark Side Phil streams are the equivalent of Star Citizen. No amount of money will ever be enough. And you're a damn fool to give any more if you've seen the grift. And I'm not trying to be mean to it, but god damn. You lucky. Moist doesn't know half of what I know about you. You lucky Moist doesn't want to speak to me. I might talk to Mudahar. Mudahar and I talk once in a while. I might, but Mudahar probably knows as much as I do. Nobody wants to deal with you. You a goddamn snare. Rolling and dumb. Like, geez, dude. Maybe, the, maybe, maybe. When you start making entire posts and entire videos that are product placements, maybe it's time to reassess your future. <laughs> but begging and talking about your financial woes. That's the way to run a business. <laughs> what did you... What did you send me? Oh, no. Cop tries to breastfeed me with his pig tit. What? I always... Viewer discretion is advised when you look at, at messages... As, as a person, as a business person, from Google Fish. say, what the f*** am I doing with my life that I'm such a sellout? Because it really disturbs me. The DSP's like, oh, these shells, and the title shells, and the knife shells, and, you know, I don't do that. I don't shill to my audience, but these people need to reevaluate what they're doing. And it's like, this dude is counting everybody else's bag. Everyone else. If you Every, absolutely. He hates that there are people that are way more successful than him. You made $10 today and Phil made five. He hates your guts. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Remember that Dave Chappelle's bit, the player haters ball? DSP is literally all those dudes rolling into one. Brother got a nice car, man. Why you got a car, man? I only got one car. Why you got, why you got three cars or a wife or <laughs> all that, man? I mean, that's played out, man. I hate on it till he's totally broke. It ain't got nothing like me, you know what I'm saying? Cause uh, yeah. God, he does sound like what I do, sexy Coco. Oh shit. That's what real hating is all about, man. <laughs> so true. Phil, <laughs> like, hey yo, man, why all these? Man, I've been doing this for 14 for motherfucking years, motherfucker. Why is you making? You making like six, seven figures, motherfucker? I should be making that, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I jerked off on May 1st, motherfucker. <laughs> That is Phil. That is uh, Rich is such an attention whore. Hey Phil, ri ri the last of six figure videos from Rich minus Logan Paul have been actually reviews. Phil from Rich. Yeah, but why have you got to be doing those fucking reviews, man? Fuck that motherfucker, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yo, I gotta say, Ice T. There, because like, there were people like, did you think, like, nah, what do you mean iced tea? What are you talking about? There, he sounds exactly like Sexy Coco. Exactly. It's kind of weird, actually. Part nine. I mean, I could pack it up. I <laughs> That's a way to start. 
right? What am I going to give up? Quit on everything I've done for 14 years that everyone tells me daily is meaningful and they, they would be crushed if I stopped doing it. I got to play that one again. <laughs> Film masturbation lies of penalization, motherfucker. Why is he? Yo, I got a Corolla, man. Why has he got a Mercedes, motherfucker? <laughs> that's Phil. He said, say it. I can't unsee it. He is iced tea from the Chappelle clip. It's done. It is set in stone. Yo, man, I don't, I don't have none of these. Spo I don't have any sponsorization, man. None of these motherfuckers got these sponsors, man. I don't do. I'm a real motherfucker, motherfucker. And I pay my lunch tomorrow, man. I gotta go grocery shopping with my hoe, man. Yeah, filthy. <laughs> Yo, I got. <laughs> I could do that shit all day. I could do that shit. Yo, Jasper, the shit on the motherfucking floor, man. I need, I need to get some new litter. You know what I'm saying? I want to get the, 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 the scent free shit, man. You know what I'm saying? I want to smell that cat's ass, man. It's disgusting, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? And DSP is playing himself off like he's Rocky Balboa, dude. But he's punching himself in the face. Who the fuck these people? That would be crushed if DSP stopped uploading his garbage. Probably snort for now. <laughs> it just, it bothers me. When I see someone like Moist Critical, who's like a genuine guy, who looks like a fun guy. Makes... Oh, why is he? So, look, I like Critical. Don't get me wrong. So don't say, but like, you're only sucking up to him because you saw with this wide viewer base, there was potential there. But you've squandered every other avenue of potential that you could have capitalized on. I gotta piss. That, that just me just going to take a piss just shows how bizarre my streams are you just try to relax your anus to the nes Re pro wrestling theme remixed with birds clucking in the background i just i have no idea how i make a living doing this but i'm not complaining <laughs> How much to stream till one? <sighs> Why are you making me think? I got COVID brain, motherfucker. I actually feel okay, though. 150. And I'll stay. And we'll do more fill. <laughs> 5,000. Fuck out of here.
Not that I wouldn't take 5,000, but that, that's insane. Um, I just hashtag try to relax your anus. Uh, I ain't relevant enough, man. That ain't gonna happen. It's great There's always more fill. There's always, and I am like on a fill binge right now. Content. You can tell he's watching only the negative stuff about me, and that's his conception of me now. Am I only watching the negative stuff about you, Phil? Am I only watching the negatives? No, I literally can watch your streams, like I said, and they come on randomly. Not all the time. There's plenty of times it's just you look like you're half asleep and someone's asking you a stupid question about meatballs. <laughs> that actually happened one time. But I'm on your own streams, bro, and you're sitting there. And you're sitting there. And bitching. And complaining about something. You know, this is why a week ago, I... S no. I love the It's a Gundam's drawings. Does he do them? Or does he pay an artist to do them? Because they're dope. They're funny as fuck. Campaign. This is why a week ago, I said I want to have a public interview out there. so that all No, you wanted a public advertisement. I'm going to... I know a motherfucker... You son of a bitch, but thank you, you, but you son of a fucking bitch. Dude, he sounded. Now, I got it. Sexy Coco, thank you. And you get, oh, hold on. Dude, I, I gotta give this to you. Cucumbers. 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 Listen to the salt. I love it. It almost makes me a little hard to hear the salt in Jeremy's voice. Can we just go? Hold on. Listen to this. This is your life now. 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 Did I mention I still think Jeremy's a pussy? Yes, I do. I have more entertainment value in my left nipple while having COVID than you do in your entire lifespan, Jeremy. Cry about it. All this stuff that's said about me... Can I don't know what made me say any of that. Marijuana, probably. But it is the truth. God damn it. Not complaining about the money, but I guess the tits are coming back out. I blame you for this. Oh. Cat is downstairs crying somewhere. She's, according to Phil, which he's lying about, but according to Phil, Cat uh, is traumatized by his fat faces. So I guess whenever they have an org, whenever Phil has an orgasm or they have sex, she's crying. <laughs> oh my God. I can't, man. I can't. Phil. A and E, why are you not giving this before give this man a reality show? He would probably squander all the money on like fucking WWE and fucking collectibles and porn. But like you're missing out. There is an entire there's I think there's more of an ecosystem around Phil than there is around Wings at this point. It can be addressed and aired out and you can hear my side of the story. Because right now, no one hears my side of the story. All they hear are they, they, read the, or they watch the detractor videos, right? They watch the nasty. No. Here, no. watch the Phil? scorn highlight. Watch this moment where Phil had a meltdown on stream. Here we go with that interview him thing again. Nobody knows the side of the story. We've already heard your side of the story countless times. He just wants to be on someone like Moist's channel that has millions of subscribers. To get new customers. It's not hard. Like me. It's not hard. Why? Why am I checking? I need to pay someone for that puppet fee. I would love to. If I had a. Could you imagine if I had a Philip Burnell puppet? The shit that I. The skits that I could do with that would be God tier. It needs to happen. And he prays to God that this would somehow resonate with people. Because Darkseid Phil, like I said, he's crazy. 
This dude thinks if he got his fair shake someplace else, he would reach a whole new audience of people. He would get. Dude, I don't like someone needs to like if there is a network. But see, then he, I wonder if Phil would even do it because then that means he would have to accept the reality that he truly is a lol cow. It's an easy reality to accept, Phil. And it, as you see, it's quite profitable. And what's funny is you could still have self-respect. You could have all of it. You can they could all mix together, but you just won't because then that means because they would they would probably give him the show premise, and once they would re he realized it was about him being a lol cow, he would he would pull out. New like I don't do. That's why I have three children. I won't hit the applause for that. I just spam fans. It. That was too easy. And they would come in and they would see that he was the realest one on YouTube ever. The man who never shills, unless it's like peanuts they were selling in the early 2000s of the beanbag chairs or um, those Chinese gamer seats he was shilling that the company was so old. Remember when OPC signed me to a sponsorship, had me advertise them, and then immediately pulled spot and I didn't fulfill their end? Karma's a bitch. Maybe they didn't use cheap Chinese parts. They <laughs> like, I'll say something like, it, it, it say Raycon stop where I actually use their fucking earbuds, okay? I do. I switch between them. I got Sony's. I got, it, like, whatever I have, I do, like, are looped around. I do genuinely use them. <laughs> oh, my God. Like, even when I, I, I used to, I made a video calling out a sponsor back in the day, not for their product. Um, but because they dropped me, that was stupid too, but you, so, so you took a sponsor knowing their product was shit. That doesn't look good, Phil. You want to know why you can't get sponsors? You want to know why you can't get sponsors? And this is, this is when he pisses me off because then he tries to play the high and mighty shit. No, dickhead. You can't get sponsors because they saw shit like this and they're like, this asshat. I review asshat USA tonight. That's like the fifth time I've used that word. But they're like, this idiot. Well, if we have any fallout with him, he'll make it public. And then he tries to spin it. This is like where I said where he pissed me off. I... I'm a real. I don't have. I'm not beholden to sponsors. No, you fucked them over. You burnt your bridges, and now you have to metaphorically suck dick to make money on a stream from the five old men that beat off to you. <laughs> oh my God! Watch Almighty Tevin's video on that. Actually, that Moist Critical said about me that actually is pretty hurtful, but I don't think he means it that way. He basically said, "I still say to this day, the best thing that Phil ever left on the internet." was when he had his accent. Yeah, but their noise canceling is an active noise canceling. That's a different animal. As far as I know, unless they came out with active noise canceling, they haven't sent me that yet though. But the rest he just kept streaming as if nothing happened. And it, you know, basically it's hilarious cuz it shows incredible determination, you know. <laughs> Wait, I missed that. What it, it was he really sucking his dick that hard again? Um those Chinese gamer seats he was shilling. That the company was so... Oh, my God. Watch Almighty Tevin's video on that. Actually, that Moist Critical... I can't believe about me That actually is pretty hurtful, but I don't think he means it that way. He basically said... It's amazing how sweet he is to Moist Critical. Dude, Moist, if you need a good blowjob, just go to Phil. <laughs> you'll put on... <laughs> you'll get a fucking... He'll get a hammer and he'll knock his own fucking teeth out to make sure it's the smoothest, most satisfying blowjob you ever got. Why? Because he wants to get your viewers. Best blowjob on the planet. I would think about it, Moist Charlie. I still say to this day, the best thing that Phil ever left on the internet was when he had his accident. But the rest, he just kept streaming as if nothing happened. And, it, you know, basically it's hilarious because it shows incredible determination, you know. <laughs> You're such a hero. <laughs> I jerked off and I kept streaming. Oh. <coughs> I'm going to throw up. I swear to God. We, I need to take a break. 
You know what, Phil? Bless you, baby. I, I don't know how anyone else would do it, but you just jerked off and you, ke you just kept soldiering on. Give you a purple heart for that one. Oh my god. I gotta go to one, two. Alright, let's... We got time after this. Let's finish the video. I just can't believe, yo. I can't, I can't take it. I jerked off, but kept streaming. Wow. Oh my God, incredible. You fight the good fight, Mr. Burnell. <laughs> no. Here we go again. DSP talk about the same crap, but then putting words in Moist Critical's mouth. <laughs> like, the white DSP, so, like, okay, okay, forget. The fucking hair. I can't. That Ken outfit. He'll never live. The Ken outfit, like, him jerking off on May 1st is here on the unforgettableness tier. Him we're looking, <laughs> dressing like Ken from Street Fighter is, it's it's going to be like, people are going to be talking about it for years to come, along with him coming. Get it? This video, it's garbage. God bless you if you made this far. The way DSP saw Voice Critical's video was like, through DSP vision, <laughs> Moist was like, he did say it was like a gangster move or whatever, but DSP saw it as like Moist Critical said I had incredible determination to keep streaming after jerking off. <laughs> it's true, because he's Phil and he's an idiot. He filtered it in phil -a vision He he filtered it in phil in phil he in Phil's interpretation in his cross wired brain. He was like, yeah, yeah, I was brave for streaming after I masturbated. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get you. Yeah, Phil. For stroking your dick and playing video games on stream, I'm going to get you the Congressional Medal of Honor. Well, hold your breath. It's like he's the hero of a shonen manga. <laughs> he's Naruto. I'm spanking it. Things that can be said about me, both positive and negative. And although you can admit, looking at my wall, the movie coming. <laughs> I can't. So here I was looking at my wall, combing my Italian hair. <laughs> That's another thing he said recently. Holy fuck, this guy. Holy fuck, this. Do you understand? I know there's fifty percent of you who literally said you don't want to see this man ever again in your fucking life, and you were tired of me talking about him. I hear you loud and clear. But what other man would go door to door with a flashlight looking for their DoorDash order, and then say, "Here's me on a map, staring at my fucking wall"? Who says they look at their walls? Who? Who in Christ's name says that with a straight face? Tell me, because I'll stop watching Phil and watch them. <laughs> he is the... Let's just, uh, fuck yes, my ass. the embarrassing moment was definitely one of the things everyone reminds or remembers about me. I don't really think that was the defining characteristic of who I am on the internet. DSP just can't accept the fact that his greatest moment on internet history was having a wang. And he couldn't play, and he, he couldn't play with it. I didn't. <laughs> he couldn't play, how, he couldn't play along with it. He was so fucking serious at first. He couldn't fucking play along with it. And his, him stroking his dick bit him in his own ass. Only, but Phil, like I said, Phil is the, like when I offered him the PC. Before we continue the final part of the video. These are hurting my ears now. All, Phil, I just wanted to unload this PC. Someone else is getting it. Sorry, Sean. Eventually I'll get to it. It's life. Um, but you're going to get it. Trust me. Um, Phil, I just want to get rid of the PC out of the house. Oh, there must be some conspiracy. Maybe Rich wants to get my address to buttfuck me. No, Phil. I just want to get... 
rid of the fucking PC. I'm not looking for anything. I'm just telling you, look, I want to get rid of it. It's tough to sell desktops because they're a pain in the ass, and if something happens, it's a shit show. Here, take it. It's like, goodbye. But no, Phil made a conspiracy of it, made a shit show of it. Phil is the person who puts, he dry, he walks forward, puts spike strips in front of his car. I know I've used this analogy many times, but it's a good one. Then he gets back in the car, drives over the spike strips, and goes, holy shit, why was there spike strips there? That is Phil's online career in a nutshell. Bank. Like, lean into the meme, dude. I think Review Tech USA said this, and he was right. You should have capitalized on that. You should have sold T-shirts, dude. He, like I said, yeah, he would have. He could. He would have been able to retire. I, he know he hates what he does. He would have been done. He could have just. I don't know. Fuck the flashlight while staring at a wall, waiting for his door dash order. <laughs> You should have ran with it. You probably would have actually made some money. And you were a sport about it. You could have probably pivoted your declining career right there. But instead you tried. And the thing is, it's not that big a deal. You know the other example guys always bring up. The amazing atheist had a banana up his ass. And it was filmed. And he, there was a video of him. Some of you may not know this. I have almost a thousand people. There's probably some new people for some fresh blood. He poured hot wax on the, he has the smallest penis I've ever seen, okay? Unfortunately, I've seen giant dicks like Gavin McGinnis's. I didn't want to. Let's not go there. But he has the smallest, and, and he just was like a speed bump. It was like, oh, boop, boop. Because he owned up to it. He owned up to it. You, why am I rubbing my chest hair? That's weird. He owned up to it. You... Sweep it under the rug. Sweep it until like Keemstar got a hold of it. Then you, re but it was too late at that point. You couldn't make merch at that point. You actually no, you still could actually, but you won't. And I've told you, I've told like how is that demeaning to yourself? Like it happened, dude. You can't unerase you jerking off on May first on the, on live stream. Just make money. It is what it is. It could, dude. There could be a time where I think that my st streaming software is off, and I'm like, you know what? Oh wow, someone sent me a hot titty pic. Oh, the camera's on. The camera was on the whole time. Fuck. <laughs> like it happens, but it's how you handle it. It's how you handle it is what the effects of it will be. You handled it terribly, as you usually do. <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck. I'm, like, you literally could ask me what I just said 20 seconds ago, and I'm too stoned to remember. I had to bury it. I'm blaming COVID, you though. You had people's videos taken down. You were a dick about it. And yeah, you were fucking erase it. You, like, and you don't didn't know by that point in 2016 that what's on the internet stays on the internet? Still, that's all. Dude, if he made merch out of the situation, I guarantee you even after taxes, he would have had some kind of six figures. He would have had some kind of, even if it was 100000 And I'm talking after he gave Uncle Sam his cut. Well, maybe not because Uncle Sam would be like, yo, you owe us like half a million. So. <laughs> What's up, Sonia? How are you? I am feeling better. I can't taste a fucking thing. Someone could fart in my mouth and it would just taste like air. But I'm doing okay. Yellow cucumber is ironic. <laughs> Talking. Well, dude, he had the... Ah, yes. You have the yellow cucumber. What does that mean? A year? Thank you. But it's true. Think about it. That's way more damning than what Phil did. He had a banana up his ass, and he poured hot wax on his super small penis. <clears throat> I mean, his career waned for other reasons later on. Um, but that did nothing to it. You know what I mean? Like, because it's how he handled it. All anyone remembered you for. Hell, I'm sure most people remember me for the pokey drama. Run with it. Instead of being upset like, I did a lot more than that. Yeah, it was me. She tried to bury me. <laughs> you know? Was well recognized as one of the most popular Let's Players on YouTube. 
who basically inspired so many others. People like the creatures. Inspired. Right? Who they in turn inspired more people and then inspired more people. DSP talking about inspire like like he wants to be Phil wants to be remembered as like a important political figure. Like that's so important to him. That's the part his pride, like his pride literally, as much as he he still begs. Let's just keep it real. As much like I want to be my 14 year legacy or whatever the fuck he says. Did I? I've been meaning to ask you for a while. Do we know if he at least cleaned up the ropes before? I have, dude, I have no idea. According, well, actually, no, that's not true. According to the quarterings interview, he shot it in a napkin. I think that's bullshit, though. I've unfortunately watched that video more times than I want to admit to, and I don't see how that can be. That'd be the reason he looks at the wall. <laughs> yeah, imagine he shot so many ropes, he's still looking at the wall. <laughs> this is your life now. Where I need to clean those ropes still. They're still there. Him inspiring the creatures who inspired other people. He was a father. A man in his wall. Danny the Foot, I'm sorry I missed father that. Let's Plays. DSP's acting like he's a pioneer. He's... But he, in his mind, he is. It's kind of sad. This is where it's almost not funny anymore. Because that's what he really, really wants. I think Phil was picked on a lot as a kid. This He's kind of said it. I'm not even speculating. And this, t like, being seen as, like, important and having meaning is so important to him. More than, more than even money. As much as he begs, more than even money. I'm not jerking off, I swear. And, like, he wants to be an inspiration to say, like, dude, just... Have fucking fun. Because the more you try to be an inspiration, the more you're going to be the laughing stock because you take yourself too seriously. But at this point, if he becomes self-aware, his career is done. So he has to just be, he has to just to stay stupid. Davy Crockett of Internet Gaming. But in all actuality, if you look it up, Let's Plays existed before YouTube and before Darkseid fell. They were on forums and whatnot. I'm pretty sure someone's done a video on it. I'm not looking. I'll be honest. I forgot the name of the website shit like that was on. Honestly, he's right. Voice critical. He's huge. He's giant. <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking about? His dick? <laughs> voice critical. He is a big cock. Well, thank you, Phil. <laughs> the fuck? I'm shocked the guy even spends a minute talking about me in his content. God, can he suck his ass anymore? Jesus Christ. Like, dude, just like, just call him up and be like, Charlie, you could not shower for a week. Come over here and let me suck your unwashed butthole. Oh, God damn. You don't even hide it. Just rim them now. As you can tell, DSP is really trying to kiss Moist Critical's ass here. Because PewDiePie's... Kiss his ass. He's, he is jerking his cock while sucking his hole. For fuck's sake. Their picture just sums it up. <laughs> and what amazes me, duty streams... Is he saying all the shit that we say, but it's because someone with the big following that there would be some cha-ching from, I have seen the light. Too little, too fucking late, Phil. You should have stopped begging back in like 2013 when we first told you. Running out of oxygen. Not really, it just, um, I don't know. That's PewDiePie orgasming. Rich, how much money would it take for you to drink a single $16 bottle of water on stream? Why would you even pay me for that? <laughs> and by the way, if you're saying that, this is not soda, this is seltzer. It's uh, carbonated water that makes me burp and piss. He's talked about DSP. PewDiePie has talked about DSP at the height of his fame. Doesn't PewDiePie have 100 million subscribers? I don't think Moist does. But since Darkseid Fell hates PewDiePie and PewDiePie knows a bit about Darkseid Fell, we just... Never talk just to him. going to pretend like PewDiePie has never spoke about him. But Moist... My God, he's a star. He's the greatest ever. 
He's Jesus. Here's the difference. Moist Critical brings me up every once in a while in a funny way. Sometimes it's positive. Uh, what's the difference how Moist Critical brings you up than how I do, Phil? Granted, okay, the amount, the, con well, not consistency. What is the word? I talk about him a lot more than you do. I talk about you a lot more than Moist Critical does. I get it. The can, not consistency. That sounds like I'm talking about turds. I talk about him way more than, than Critical does. I get that. What's the difference? Sometimes it's a Besides how often I do it. A joke laughing at me. Who cares? No big deal. Oh, yeah. It's, it's so like, uh, yeah. Please have me on your show. I, I need to. I need your viewers. I can't rely on the five horny old men anymore. <laughs> <laughs> The five horny old men. I'm just, I'm just like seeing like, like these like men like sitting around like a campfire, jerking each other off while watching Phil, just donating to him. Oh look, he's bending over and putting those OLED lights in. Mm. Give him another fifty, maybe he'll bend over again. <laughs> I'm going to fucking hell. He's not Mr. Matoker. Mr. Now it's why is it Mr. Matoker? You've said his name right before. What the fuck is Mr. Matoker? Are you trying to be funny? I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. It still sucks, though. He's not. Oh, let's do a series of insanely hateful, destructive videos about Phil. That's that's the difference. But what's insanely destructful and hateful if it's true, Phil? Like here, here, here is a taster's choice example of of the difference, Phil. So we'll use Review China USA again. Literally admitted in a super chat that he paid someone on Fiverr, a girl, to read a script to say that I sexually assaulted her at a job where I had I used my power. I was the I was a new employee. At Radio Shack, the only there was no one. There was no one. I was the lowest on the low of the totem pole, and there was no women that worked there. That is hateful. That is slanderous. That is lies. But when I'm, t we're talking about things that you have said that you have the evidence is on your own fucking channel. That's not slander, Phil. That's just go. Hey, Phil, here's a mirror. And you just don't want to see what's in it. That's the difference. And you don't like that. But you're a public figure. So too fucking bad. <laughs> now if I said I saw you butt fucking a horse on the side of the road and made a video about it. You could take it down and you could tell that's slander. But you've never butt fucked a horse. As far as I know. You, I'm kidding. He's, but you get what I'm saying? You can't say things are hateful and slanderous when you... you. It's on your own channel. I always say this. Your biggest attractor channel is DSP Gaming. Not Almighty Tevin. It's you, Phil. It's you. You are your own worst enemy. Why am I making like an end, like tonight's show monologue out of this? The fucking... What am I doing with my fucking life? This is your life now. Telling you, man, COVID and marijuana hits different. What respect does this fiber girl have to herself for dude? Money makes money will make people do anything. And as you get older, you will learn that there are people that will give up their morality for a literally a dollar. Uh Tuesday, I started feeling funky. Prince here. He's literally, Moist Critical benefits nothing by mentioning me in his content. He just does because he genuinely finds it interesting. What? And dude, Phil, I talk about you a lot. I know. Chris, congratulations on your, on your wedding. No. We, we're going to watch that after, Mighty Furtado. Why are you not a mod? Why the hell would you not be? Feed me a sub. versus I it's just the dick sucking is incredible man he is given moist critical maybe that's why he's moist because Phil suck at his cock 
Like, Jesus Christ, man. I have a concerted effort to try to ruin someone's life, which is what... Mato uh, am, am I trying to ruin your life, Phil? Oh, did. The, you saying, I'm trying to ruin your life, he has said that before, by the way. So has Jeremy. Jeremy has said, me talking with the things I've said about him have been literally criminal. <laughs> no, Phil, you're, it, it's, it's like when fucking Steve Colbert, who I'm lukewarm on at best, talks about Donald Trump every day. See, trying, like, you're a public figure. People can talk about you. Like, again, if you go... If you don't want people talking about you and you think everyone is a detractor who talks about you in a light that you don't like, even with video evidence of you doing stupid shit, go find the five horny old men, have a circle jerk with them, and they'll just give you the same money that you get anyway. Shut down your YouTube channel. I'm telling you, there's a bunch of 50-year-old bears that fetishize about this guy. Mr. Betoker was doing hateful things against me. I think Jim's whole thing is similar to my own, where you just look at madness and you laugh at the absolute absurdity. And you're an absurd character, Phil. No one has anything to gain from you. Nobody. Did it like that? Yeah, look, I make a lot of comedy off of Phil. I get that. But if, like, Phil just packed it up tomorrow, you don't think I'd have other things to talk about? It's not like I have reviews and stuff on my main channel that are getting hundreds of thousands. Oh, wait. It's not like I get anywhere from 700 to 1,000 viewers here a night talking about anything. Oh, wait. Because I could find... But there's just... You are a reality show, Phil. You genuinely are. If I was a network, like I've said 70 times throughout this commentary, I would try to write a deal with you, which you would probably turn it down. Yeah, that's not like a quarter million views, Honor Connor. <laughs> They're not happy. They're like, oh, look, I got a Game Boy cartridge from DK Oldies. It's in great condition, even though you could throw one of those off a fucking bridge and it'll be in great condition. Wow. Oh, boy. Yeah, buy a console, then come back to me. I got a PS2 waiting down there. What'll be interesting now is they know it's... See, I should have fucking... I'm an idiot. I'm not an idiot. I'm actually forgetful, which kind of makes... I should have gotten it from a... I should have sent it to like a friend's house so they didn't know it was for me. Because now they know. Now, I don't know. I haven't checked the PS2 yet. I've been suffering from Ebola. But <laughs> COVID. But it'll be interesting to check if it's in surprisingly good condition. We'll find out. Interview the court. Have you ever watched internet? Oh yeah, all the time. Internet or streamed any of his vids on the streams? Oh, he makes some of the best gaming content on the on YouTube, hands down, without question. Ordering and it wasn't exactly like the barnstormer you thought it was going to be. Even me doing this video, realistically, this is dumb. Like if I t no, it wasn't. It was fucking very entertaining. Talk to my cons <laughs> and gave me an excuse to talk about Phil again. Consultant or advisor, and I go, hey. I'm thinking of doing an hour-long Dark Side Phil video. He would go, oh, I see you like to lose money. <laughs> He's like, the time you waste editing this could have gone to a sponsor. Could have gone to a subject people are interested in, like comic books and anime and manga. Or These videos actually do good, stupid though. Stupid stuff on TikTok. Instead, you're talking about the jerk-off man. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, he's funny. See? It's clown world. He's like, it's clown shoes. I mean, I know he was crying there. That was actually a sad moment. It was a friend that passed. But that him wearing the Los Santos hat. <laughs> uh, the, I know it's kind of mean, but. That's what you're doing with your career. This isn't good for me, Phil. It's good for nobody. But I'm doing it anyway because I'm a masochist. Darkside Phil finally stopped doing his horrible podcast to start the gaming, which then turned into another conversation about Moist Critical, who at this point you'd assume is his man crush, because my God, is he talking a lot about you? I've heard more about Moist Critical from Darkside Phil than I've heard about Cat from Darkside Phil, and he's married to that broad. 
Point being, he thanks Moist Critical for helping him see the error of his ways. Incredible. Incredible. Dark side, Phil. Weeks ago, because I was pretty bad. Like I said, when Moist Critical said that, and I was like, okay, so let me walk, go back and watch. And then I watched the Scorn deal, and I was like, oh my God. I was like disgusted with myself. I First off, that's so disingenuous the way his inflection was. Secondly, I know I've said this a few times in this video, but that disingenuousness for some reason pisses me off. We've been telling you for fucking years, Phil, to stop doing this. It's hurting your career, Phil. Stop doing this. Now one person with enough subs that you think could further your career says it, and now you've seen the light? See the light coming out of my ass. The fuck does that even mean? But you get my point. People, and everyone, you're a dick, you're a hater, you're a detractor. You're just stirring up drama. You're looking for attention. But he says it. Jesus Christ. Kind of looks like Jesus. Says it. And all of a sudden, you've seen the error of your ways. Oh, fuck off, Phil. I really was. I was like... And it sucks because, I mean, obviously I did it for a reason. I was acting like that for a reason. Like, I was really scared. I'm frightened to go down his, his sister-in-law's... Someone sent me the video. That's where we're going next. I'll have to put my shirt back on for that one. But when someone who literally has nothing to gain from you says something like that about you, you realize that it's probably... What do I have to gain from you, Phil? I, we already went through that. It rings true better. I actually, I, I feel like I actually owe Moist Critical a thank you for calling me out like that. I can't do the... Just, just suck his cock. No more jokes, just blow them. Because it made me realize that I was doing a very wrong thing and I needed to stop. Oh, dude, I know you sent me the video. We're going to watch that next. Or Kyle, one of you sent it. I just... Oh, boy. This was the improved dark side Phil who was not going to beg, and he was not going to... It doesn't matter. You already know he's going to start begging again, so... Basically, it looks like yeah. you guys have lost interest. Uh, I'm doing my best. You know, world three of five. I hope the final world is not a real world. It's just a narrative ending. Um, but the game is getting worse the further I play it. Quite frankly, it is. Um, and, <laughs> yeah, if you, if you guys can see, attendance is lower, engagement is lower, support is lower, everything is lower. Imagine I talk like this in all my streams. Like, it would just suck the joy. On the 15th of November, the official podcast with Moist Critical, they talk a little bit about Dark Side Phil and the possible interview that Phil was hoping for. I heard uh, Charlie, I think it was you were going to interview divorce. DSP, by the way. Oh, yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. And at that moment, all of Philip Rennell's hopes were dashed. Yeah, he banned someone for uh, he banned someone for mentioning that Windows 8 has no more support. Uh that I wonder why you're not a breakaway success, Phil. I have no fucking idea. It's a it's a mystery. It's a Rubik's cube that's unsolvable. I, I saw I saw that. That's just. I heard, actually, you know what, Duty? You're both right, because I heard that. Someone else kind of, I think, told me that on Twitter. I'm like, oh, for fuck's sake. I can't. I think someone actually sent me a screen cap. It wasn't like a $20 super chat. <coughs> I'm not doing that. So well, what? Uh, Do what? Apparently, he's like, he, he doesn't like, he doesn't get mad at you. He's blocked my ass, because I've watched too many of those hate videos. But yeah. apparently, you get the pass, because... <laughs> You know, it's like, Moist Critical, he just looks up DSP Gaming and he just sees all the bad videos. I don't even blame him. <laughs> what? Yeah, no, so I was just talking about, so to tie everything back, I was talking about Boogie and like the e-begging stuff. And then uh, I, I likened it to DSP, whose whole brand has become like, you know, making sure his viewers are giving him money or else yeah, like he saying makes... He has he cries. No time to do anything, and he's so yeah, busy. Yeah, very similar. Yeah. yeah mm -hmm. So I, I compared the two. DSP saw it, and he made like a response to it, and then was requesting an interview. I don't can interview people. I was just talking on stream about this. <laughs> like it's not that deep. <laughs> and there you have it. 
Moist Critical himself says it ain't that deep. There's a couple more video clips that I'm probably not going to hunt down of Darkseid Phil still talking about this, still angling. Oh. All right, it's a Gundam. Well done. It's all true. You could call Gundam limp dick. You could call me an attention whore. You could say, what here is false, Phil? What here is false? Nothing. No one wants to give you an advertisement, Phil. Not a soul. You want an interview, it's different. Okay. Here, here it is. Cat was living with a Subaru dude. It was an abusive relationship. Phil started talking to Cat on DMs, convinced her to move in with Phil. She did. Apparently, that relationship was abusive. Cat's sister, apparently, they had a rough childhood. Her sister did amateur porn and OnlyFans. She hates Phil. She claimed Cat is on the spectrum and Phil is abusing her, not physically, but, her, but her manipulating Cat. Oh, boy. Her sister would make videos claiming that Phil doesn't have sex with her. He only makes her suck his dick in public in cars. Her words. She went on a rage Phil rant, calling out and threatening Phil. She's upset Phil forced his sister to get off social media and not talk to her family. What is this? And is the video? No, that's not it. What the fuck? Where someone sent the video, I thought. I can't look. No, Cat doesn't have OnlyFans. I guess the sister does. I can't picture Phil having a normal, healthy relationship. I can't. Like, I always kind of give the benefit of the doubt. Like. I'm always a pessimist, but I'm like, there's no way a guy like that can have a healthy relationship with a woman. Now his sister, now his sister-in-law seems like she's off the rails too. But I'm in its speculation. The video is on Secret Unlimited. Yeah, it's this is all alleged shit. But I, I just and I'm making assumptions right now. This is all speculation. But I do I can't picture Phil being normal. You know what I'm saying? So hold on, let me put my shirt back on. Well, we'll watch it when someone... It's public, so we'll watch the video. If I could not be an asshole and put my shirt back on, we could watch it before 1 a.m. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, man. This It just gets crazier. Look, everyone got drama. I get it. But, like, Phil is just a... Yeah, I, if anyone's thinking that you need intelligence to manipulate, that's not true. <laughs> yeah, and he does have diehards, Mighty Furtado. So I can, like, and I just, again, this is all assumptions. I would love to talk to Liana Pandalee. I would pay to get that interview, too find out the other side of Phil because I just can't I can't picture Phil having a normal relationship he's not normal you know what I'm saying he's not normal so how could he have a normal healthy relationship with a significant other it, it just does not compute you know what I'm saying Where is my shit? 
Titanius, did you send it? DSP. Someone else sent the link too. He's normal. <laughs> yeah. Phil Phil's a Phil's a voyeur. Look, I don't know anything about any of that shit. Look, and I'm not <laughs> What idea don't you like? Taught watching the video. If it ain't easy to find, that means it's private then. But then again, it's a Gundam had it in his video. <laughs> oh, man. It's... Phil is a bizarre dude. Why am I going to that one? I'm not putting Kat into it. I just want to see what the sister had to say. She looks like she's a fucking psychopath. <laughs> and the thing is, too, let's keep it real. If she's crazy, you can't trust her anyway. She just may be fucking nuts. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm not showing it. I stop with the It's a Gundam thing. So how do you know she's not just out of her mind? You know what I mean? And not and not just trying to go down the uh, Philip Burnell hate bandwagon, you know? Imagine seeing Phil not in public while you're trying to eat your Wendy's chili. Yeah, she calls DSP a ch Nah, yeah. Look, that's crazy shit then. I will hold to what I said, though. I can't picture Phil and his wife having a normal, healthy... Like, he's just too weird. Like, you can't tell me that when Phil... All right. Oh, the camera's off. You can't tell me that he just magically snaps into Captain Normal. I'm sorry, I don't believe it. You know. But yeah, if she's making crazy allegations and stuff like that, I mean, I just thought she was so bizarre. But if she's making like allegations like that, nah. But if Panda Lee wanted to come on the show and talk about stuff, that would be fucking funny. Did Panda Lee actually say that, though? Did Panda Lee actually say that? Or is that allegedly what she said? The worst kids. Sorry, I'm having a brain fart here. Uh, oh man I'm sure that's not the case either dude like you know he I, I get why Phil keeps her off camera you know yeah and I'm sure you know why I would ne I know I would never get an interview with her she wants nothing to do with that's a part of her she wants to just like a <laughs> She wants nothing to do with it, dude. She just wants to move on. You know, that was probably a very strange time in her life. And she just wants to get the fuck on and do other shit. So Andrew Tate is exposed here. This, oh, this is what I want to watch anyway. We'll watch some Piker so Vice doesn't fucking... Vice me. I'm getting stuffy. If you haven't heard of Andrew Tate yet, it's only a matter of time before he pops up on your newsfeed. His videos have been viewed over 11 billion times, and in July, he was more Googled than Kim Kardashian and Donald Trump. He's been. The best part of this video is learning that Andrew Tate is a.
Court wizard aside, okay, well, if you're a Hasanabi head, here's what you will appreciate even further. This court wizard has tweeted about me regularly and routinely since I debated Andrew Tate and has even, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, sent a hex my way. I have been cursed by his wizard, yes. He's been cursed by his fucking wizard? What? Called the king of toxic masculinity. He has said that rape victims should, quote, bear responsibility for being raped. We're about to enter his compound in Romania, which was raided earlier this year as part of the rape and human trafficking investigation that led to him. I love how it has Tate. Like, how self-absorbed can you be? Like, to just, my name. Like, that's just like if you came to a gate on my house, I had Masucci. Like, dude, stop. Uh, PSD, do not watch the Velma. It's not good. I knew it would be bad, but it's much worse than the Velma TV show. What the fuck is that, dude? His arrest in 2022. Is that true that you sequestered an American girl? She's not even pretty. This girl's average. She's ugly. I don't have time for this bullshit. What about the rape accusation? He's That's like, I only sequester pretty girls. I don't actually yeah. sequester and. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't human traffic mid girls. Duh. Like, what the fuck does that even mean? <laughs> Only male pilots, yeah. <laughs> and and uh, kidnap uh, ugly girls. She was ugly. Of course not. not true. Hello. Is this Andrew Tate's house? I'm Matt. Okay. Hey, hey hello. Just a second to have a confirmation for Mr. Tate. Okay, cool. Yeah, you just let me know when, when we're allowed. Okay. Yeah? Yes. Thank you. Welcome. It's so weird. Like, imagine, like, okay, you got all this money, bro, cool. But you got to have armed guards. Like, what are you doing? Like, is the money worth it if you're constantly looking over your fucking shoulder all the time? I don't think so. Yeah, it's like a cult compound, for real. This is wild hello, that Vice hello. did Good this. To see you. This place is... It's wild that Andrew Tate allowed Vice to do this. How cocky are you, man? That's uh, insanely cocky. It's part of the reason why he's in, he's fucked right now. Crazy. Why did you think Vice was going to do a positive coverage of you? Like the arrogance, the ego. Oh my Lord. Gee, come bite then. Me he's like a smarter version of Phil. Not to bring up Phil again, but it's true. How scary you are. Is this the normal level of oh security? Oh my God, that's a beautiful dog. Day, oh this God. Just this is the normal level of security I have in my house every day. I am prepared for all eventualities. It's better to be paranoid. <laughs> the fing cannon shot. I love that. They're like, I'm, I'm prepared for all eventualities. Like the rise of 1453. We are. <laughs> yeah. 1776 will rise. <laughs> we are in Romania after all. Who knows if Fatih Sultan Mehmed might make it. <laughs> fucking, you'll have. Vlad Tepish rise from the grave and come after you and fucking try to rip the tattoo off your nipple. In appearance with his cannons, we must make sure alongside Vlad Dracula Tepesh to defend the- God damn it, I had the joke first, you son of a bitch. <laughs> the sanctity and safety of Christian Europe. <laughs> I'm prepared for all eventualities. <laughs> I kind of like car. Oh, stop. Did you hear that Vice hired actresses to accuse Tate? Fuck right fucking off. Good night. Have a good one. I can tell, yeah. World title belts. I was four times. Can we not turn everything into a goddamn cocksucking motherfucking conspiracy? I'm kickboxing world champion. And what's this painting over here? That's my brother. Hi, by the way. Why the fuck do you have... Oh, my God. It's going to be like in Ghostbusters 2, just have a giant painting of himself. Anyway, sorry to interrupt. I'm Matt. Georgia. Georgia, good to meet you. What are you up to, Georgia? Oh. Working. Working. Isn't she... Yo, see, so bizarre. Come on. Is that a stunt double for Andrew Tate pushing him out of the way? Telling a journalist not to be a journalist? Is that deep fake? Is that the fucking Matrix? If you think so, take off, do me a favor, take off all your clothes, try to do, to put yourself into like a semicircle and eat your own fucking ass. Yeah, it's the Matrix. Ugh. Christ. She also 
she's also in jail if i'm not mistaken right this yeah what's with the hands too it's kind of like isn't that a little assaulty like literally in the states anyway i i don't know if the, every state but i think so like if it's unwarranted and i go pretend the bird is a human being and i'm like yo what's up that could be considered assault i know someone that happened to this is the am i am i am i mistaking it with someone else i don't want to like accidentally say that i think he was like whoa by the way why did he grab him working okay this is uh because he wanted to go because he didn't want her answering questions uh, the woman i'm trying to speak to working. georgiana Nogho, would also later be arrested yeah this was his like girlfriend slash assistant slash the Ghislaine maxwell of the of the situation with tate in december georgiana two coffees please accused of assisting him in his human trafficking operation like how is that why it's a bunch of women sitting there like you don't it is this like a fucking new austin powers movie like how is not nah, this is this is normal if you think this is normal you actually need to get laid and see what the real world is like I just have these random gorgeous hot women just cleaning the kitchen. Another one's, hey, how are you? Well, what, what do you do here? Ah, uh, she does nothing, motherfucker. Keep moving. Totally normal. Just, just fine. Nothing to see here. Nothing suspicious or rapey at all going on. Hey, how's it going? Hi. Hey, how are you? It's like when fucking the two girls that came on with R. Kelly... And they were like defending him, but you could tell they were totally brainwashed. I flew in on a helicopter. What are these guys up to? Conquering the world, my friend. Through what means? I run Hustlers University, which is now currently the biggest online educational platform. God, it is such a fucking stupid name. That's why we thought of the name The Last Stream. We are going to do another one of those now that I'm luckily still alive. <laughs> I'm kidding. But uh, we do The Last Show. Because we always, we always are on the brink of getting banned on fucking Twitch with the shit that we say. So we're always, it's, the last show episode two is next. But like, how, like that's, we were going to name it, oh, we should name it Off the Rails. It's like, hey, we're two middle-aged white guys and we're going off the rails today. No. That's kind of like Hustlers University, though. Oh, what's a way we could, and it, but it works though, because the bottom feeding idiots are like, well, I want to be a hustler just like him, so I'll cop up the $50 a month. Fucking cornball. Form in the world, we've grown extremely fast. We have 110,000 students inside of a year. Hustlers University. Hustlers University. Look at them. They're exactly what I thought they would look like. Hustlers University. Congratulations. You're never going to be a hustler. Hustlers University. For $49 a month. I can't believe people spend that. Andrew I Tate's online Hustlers University promises to teach his millions of... Bro, motherfucker said I'm a Discord mod. And I got my Discord mods on the job. Working Wallace hard. The secrets of modern wealth creation. From crypto <laughs> trading to drop... I wish I could taste this seltzer. It literally just feels like static electricity is pouring down my throat. Mmm. Dropshipping. And I'm like, I've had like... A 15 minus the Chinese food tonight 1500 calories in the past like three days I was like I'll eat something late tonight why eat I can't taste anything what the fuck is the point it's like chewing on styrofoam fuck COVID in the ass no big deal just the biggest online school in history is this a sharp sword or is it he's so humble too isn't he he's just like in history. Sword. I did a Tate speech about why I have this sword a Tate speech is like my YouTube channel, Tate speech. Yeah, yeah. And I talked about how the number one problem with the world is that not enough men walk around their houses with swords. Mm -hmm. that, that's up there for sure. Because if more well, you could I could drink a protein shake for nourishment. Men walked around their houses with swords. So many of the world's issues could be fixed, but you have to extrapolate it. Okay. For example, uh. if a woman panics. She sees something on TV. The man comes home. She's like, "Oh, you go. We go start wearing a mask." Da, da, da. If the man walked around with a sword, and she's like, "Put a mask on," he'd be like. I'm brave. I don't need a mask. I'm a commander. Fuck. What? It's just a... It's funny because it's like... the And these fucking 17-year-old lost little dudes eat this up. Like, the, this is what they think a man is. 
Oh, it's so the sad. Material possessions make the man is ever present even in this argument. He's like, yeah, I'm brave because I have a sword. Bro. Yeah, they're always flexing clothes and cars, and it's just like... Are you 12? What happened? Did someone knock his head so fucking aggressively that he, like, is permanently 12? Symbol of empowerment. You got your sword, your wife starts talking, you're like, shut up, I decide what I do. Be quiet. Like, I'm sure this is an act, but the fact that this is even a justifiable act to him is like... What are you doing? Cook. Andrew's unashamed, misogynistic, and violent views so far seem to match his YouTube persona. But to find out how he's translated those into viral fame, I accept an invite onto the tape. Because, dude, it's the same reason why with another basement peeing man that I won't mention, it's a bunch of lost dudes. Incels did nothing wrong. Who made a video titled just exactly that? Hmm, I have no idea. I just peed in my basement. And they're like, wow, this guy understands us. We, we, we're going to, and, and it turns into a fucking cult. Tell me that the person that I shall not name right there, that even though I named them in this stream, but now I'm just being facetious. Tell me that their most of their audience is not a cult. And why do you want a cult? One money. They'll, you, they'll buy what you could literally shit in a bag and say, this shit is the best shit you will ever have. Buy my shit for $49.99 and they will buy it and smear it on their chest and maybe even eat it. And secondly, it's an army. You accrue power. You have a cult following your, your lead. So if you're a person who's greedy and power hungry, a cult is what you want. If they invite me on, man, yeah, I would be on the show. I don't like, I don't do it. Like, you know what I mean? If I get an invite, great. That's awesome. I would love to, but I wouldn't ask because it's just, there's one time in my life I asked and it, I felt like a dick and I, I probably should apologize to him. Now, happy console gamer back in like 2011, I asked, I remember he said like, and he was like, nah, not right at the, at the time. And I, he, and I got pissed, but this was like, I was, yeah, I was a young er douche. No, that was like 2009, maybe. I wasn't even younger, douche. That was, I learned a lesson from that, though. And I like, you know what I mean? It's a sign of humility, in my opinion. Uh, I feel bad for people that in the Hussars. I can't imagine being so disconnected from the real world and lost. I suppose that's them escaping the Matrix. They think, yeah, everything's the Matrix. <laughs> the Matrix arrested him. Hate Brothers podcast, Emergency Meeting, which is also a chance to get acquainted with his brother, Tristan. Andrew's invited his mate on our show. He literally looks exactly like him with hair. It's amazing. Without my consent. I'm just... Are, there, are they twins? I'm going to have to bite my tongue and listen to you guys talk most of this emergency meeting. Otherwise, I'm going to walk off. Matt, so, Matt, can you introduce yourself? Tell them about your singing career. Tell them where you're from, etc. Yeah, so I'm, I'm actually not a folk singer at all. In what? The slightest. No, sorry. What? I'm... Are you calling my brother a liar? You lied to case, me. Yes. Let me yes. ask you a question. Have you ever seen the clown that hides from gay people? Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> have you seen? No, him? I haven't seen him. Yeah, the the so him. you've never seen him? No. Strange. Is he here somewhere? Strange. Well, yeah, he's right here. I see him. I see him. All right, let's be nice to our vice friend. Rich, I have an issue. You're a man with a bird, and I'm a man with an ass. Why do I still have a lack of birds up my ass? Well, that's. Hope you feel better, dude. Thank you. You gotta, dude. You gotta go to a store, buy a fake bird, and shove it up your ass. <laughs> Let me be nice to him before he does a hit piece. Right. This is definitely a hit piece. I've warned my brother that this is a setup, and this is what everyone I is don't to do. care. I'm uninterested. We've I've clearly been... conquered the internet. I'm clearly unstoppable. I'm like the. Womp womp. Turns out Tristan is right. Of course it's a fucking hit piece. Why did you think that you were going to be able to, like, overcome this? Especially when you've done so many awful things, dude. It's crazy. It doesn't make any sense to me. 77K Andy? No, he's not. That's not real. It's on Rumble. It's, on, it's not on YouTube, by the way. It's on Rumble. So, bullshit. The board. You've invited the liberal news media to come They can all life. come. Just because I'm wearing a gun, I'm violent. Is that how it is? Just because I got knives all over the table and I'm a kickboxing world champion, I'm violent. If you are wearing a gun and you have knives, that does make you a little bit violent. It makes... No, it doesn't. No, it... <laughs> what? It doesn't. It makes me security aware. I don't want to... 
Dude, you already have guards armed to the teeth outside of your house. What are you talking about? I haven't Say like you promised. What else do you need secured? It's a setup. I won't kick Vice out of my house. I think a few more minutes, so no, we're done with no, it. No, no, you can sing now, or you're off the park. During an ad break, Andrew breaks character. Oh, Thirty second break. Change shit. Another five minutes, and we'll get you out. I like to break character at top of the hour ad breaks as well. You can talk. You can talk shit back. You can annoy us if you want. Don't worry. Miss no, Melzy, thank you for the five gifted subs. Shit. <laughs> We've had a long career. We have to do um, our normal broadcast. Okay. Kick him off. Why hasn't Vice released his info before it feels too late? What do you mean? This is like, this is a documentary that takes a long ass fucking time to put. Yeah, people don't realize that. I mean, part of it is my poor time management, but Rich, I am getting reviews out admittedly. Why don't you get these reviews out? Like, cause it takes a while to review shit. <laughs> I can't just go review. I mean, unless you want it to look like 2010 reviews from Rich, you don't want that. Put together. If yeah, he, dude, he's he's so bizarre. What is he? Why is he dressed like he's fucking uh, leisure suit Larry? Too? If anything, they probably rushed it because Andrew Tate went to prison. This is a 45 minute piece that like required their fucking journalist to go to Romania and embed with the sex trafficker cult. If anything, yeah, it's very true. They literally. It's a very good point. He's bringing he up. released it earlier than they normally would have because he's in prison. You know, this is like vice at its best. I'm off the pod. Cool, man. Have fun, guys. Yeah. Bro, this is going to be the worst documentary about us. What they going to say? What they going to say? I don't know. He has lots of cars and money. All the women love him. He's sexist. Oh, no. Please don't put that on the Internet. Who cares? Right? Whatever. Within. They did a little more than that, dude. Minutes of being on their show, the Tate content machine snaps into action. Ah, uh, Aiden, oh, yeah. Mike. Wow, already. You promised to sing to me. If you think I won't kick Vice out of my house, you can sing now or you're off the phone. Tate, brother. Yeah, that's literally what it is. It's a propaganda machine. And then all these fucking 18 year olds who think that this is a man, it's like, yeah. It's another win for Andrew Tate. He's fighting against the Matrix. It used to be the Illuminati, but now it's the Matrix. <laughs> Illuminati out the fucking window. Never hear a motherfucker talk about the Illuminati anymore. Ever during the fucking <coughs> little Wayne heydays, I just barf. I just I just barfed. I just coughed COVID on my microphone. Come lick it. Um. Illuminati, Illuminati. Now it's now it's the Matrix. Fuck them. Let me drink some static electricity. Excuse me. Mm. Nothing like static going down your throat. There's embarrassed vice reporter. Actually, yeah, I take that back. I want to make sure that my army is fighting you know, ethically and following the Eight. It. They say it breaks like it's a normal thing. It shouldn't. Am I weird for thinking? Well, it's a show. No, 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 no. Here's a pause. It's a show like they're trying to be entertaining when they're not sex trafficking. Like, I get that. Like, like when intro guy was here, like we would, I'd be like, yo man, let's play this up, you know, and make it cause we're doing the stream get a little crazy. Let's do this and get a little crazy. You know what I'm saying? Um, so no, I get it. That's fine. The sex trafficking is not fine. Okay, I will suck it like a dildo, Rich. Thank you. Thousand likes. Uh. Loads of videos every single day. Right in the description of his account it says, looking to level up your life, start here. It's a sign-up link to the Hustlers University. Another account. And again, a link to the Hustlers University. He's got a- For those who say, Tay's the loudest person in the room, not the smartest. And it's all social media marketing to funnel the money back. And he's making it. God, man. Yeah, no shit. If I had no shame, like, yeah, I joke around with the man titties and I'll do stuff for, for donos and the fucking bear suit got to eventually happen. Wes, you know, I've been sick. That's why it hasn't happened yet. But you're selling a lie. 
You're selling a lie. Coffeezilla, we watched it, did a video on this shit. It's literally like, yeah, break through the matrix. Use Amazon affiliate links. <laughs> Break through the matrix. Break through the matrix by le by giving more money, giving a cut to the richest, one of the richest men in the world. Fuck off, Andrew and Tristan Tate. You fucking pimp wannabes. Uh, why haven't you sucked my, my penis recently? I need to speak to your motherfucking manager, motherfucker. It's like with Phil before. <laughs> like I see. That was an amazing analogy. Why it's a Gundam. He was like, yo, I'm just, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I could have had a Mercedes too, you know what I'm saying? But then Review Tech, Titanfall titties, you know what I'm saying? He just sold out to all those sponsors, man. But my, my name is Philip Brunel and I'm real, man. I fuck these motherfuckers, man. You know what I'm saying? That literally is Phil. <laughs> we already did, Isaiah. We already went down that rabbit hole. But never forget, most people are incredibly dumb, okay? Myself included. So if you want to hit the largest, broadest fucking possible uh, audience, yeah, you got to dumb it up. You got to be dumb. What the fuck do you mean? That's what dumb people like. I don't, look, there's many things I don't agree with Hassan Piker with, but I, I would say he's at least of average intelligence. No, th let's just call a spade a spade, Hassan. There are a lot of stupid, gullible, insecure people out there that are looking to like to fill that void and will buy into this shit it's in qvc is on a, on a smaller level they sell on stupidity there's a lot of exceptionally dumb people that are willing to buy whatever there are people that drink water from peter popoff and think they're going to get 60 grand in their bank account they're, the majority of people are fucking dumb. And if I get canceled for saying that, I get canceled for saying that. And people know that they're stupid. And it's and, and people who have no morality are like ripped. Cha ching. Coffee brand coffee. Oops, that slipped. Like, don't people like fucking loud motherfuckers who are just like, I'm dumb, but I'm confident. By f Pretty much. <laughs> Andrew Tate is Neanderthal. Financially incentivizing 110,000 students to share his content online, Andrew has essentially built an army to make him rich and famous in a very short space of time. And he's tactically avoiding the impact of social media bans because it isn't Andrew himself posting, it's his legion of fans. All I'm doing is... That's what happens with, uh, yeah, his diehards. And that, it, that, that's, that's what happens with um, Alex Jones, too. You could find plenty of Alex Jones content all over YouTube if you want. You, th you, you think it's not? Uh, yeah, someone paid for me to be live, so I'm live for another 15 minutes, Minxie. Um, You could find all the Alex Jones shit that you want to on YouTube, man. Just thinking and... Look for it, and it's there. And you don't think that helps his social... So he... That's why these guys don't really get... Oh, I'm banned, I'm banned. And shut the fuck up. Even though you are banned, all it does is make your diehard fans entrench themselves deeper because they think that Big Brother is trying to hide the truth. And they're spreading your clips all over like diarrhea, like it was shooting out of my ass yesterday. That is a true story. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? But like, so it's it's a money-making machine, man. It's all fucking... It's a web. It's a machine to make them profit, and it works. And these idiots who think they're... And the thing about stupid people, and the majority of people are stupid, I'm sorry I'm going to say it, a good portion, let me be a little bit nicer, is that stupid people never think they're stupid. They think they're the smartest person in the fucking room. So you're like, oh man, I see. They're trying to just hide the truth. They're trying to. They're, he's trying to break out of the matrix, and they're pulling him back in. So I have to spread these clips around. You know, all I'm realizing, and I'm too stupid to realize that all I'm doing is getting more people to sign up, suckers to sign up for Hustler University.
They have no... Stupid people do not know they're stupid because they're too stupid to know they're stupid, so they think they're intelligent. If I sound like I'm being a dick, then say it for me. I'm sorry. Uh, got that drip going. I got the drip going. I'll play that a little bit. Is saying that every the shit that everyone thinks isn't allowed to say. So that's the reason I'm all big on the internet. I'm starting. Holy shit, I've been streaming for almost six hours? I don't feel it. COVID's weird, man. To wonder whether he's just a living meme. You're a loser because your mentality is loser. Do I believe the And I streamed like two hours, but dude, I almost streamed eight hours today. What the fuck? This is bizarre. 110,000 number? No. I don't even feel it. No. Uh, I've said this before. I think his Discord was botted. Do I think that he had a lot of people in his MLM scheme? Uh, sure. A lot. Like, more than one is too much, in my opinion. But, no, I, I don't believe that he had 110, uh, he had 110,000, $50 a month paying members. No. It's because it's $50. Like, if it was $5, I would believe it. But $50, I don't fucking believe it. Think about it this way, dude. Excuse I believe it with how many people are like watching him right now. That's actually kind of a small number. If you think about it with how many millions upon millions upon millions of views, his shit gets that's tiny, but it's still a lot of money. I got to piss. I'll be back real quick. I might stream past one. If I keep feeling like this, cause what the fuck else am I going to do? Stare up, stare at my wall like Phil. Oh shit. <laughs> Oh, la, 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 la. Fucking thumbnail I made of it's a Gundam looking in horror and Phil looking at a chicken sandwich. Uh, dude, honestly, if it wasn't for everything, I try to taste just nothing like but static electricity. I wouldn't even know I have COVID. I actually feel pretty good. DC serves 70,000 people on average every fucking day for 13 hours. And his subscription... Weekly, six hours, hey, six hours of gaming is like 12 hours of normal streaming, in my opinion. Yeah, it's weird, though. Like, at night, Mingxi, I lose my sense of taste for like four to six hours. And then it magically comes back. COVID is weird. I also, bending over, pulled my back out. It's getting better. If you saw me walking, I'm kind of walking like Sasquatch stuck his dick in my ass. But... I've, this is the second time in my life I've pulled out my back. COVID is weird. It's very strange. It's a bizarre illness. Not the worst one I've ever had, but it's bizarre. Count. Think about my subscription count, and that's $5 or free with a Twitch Prime. Zerish. 
some kind of viral marketing campaign to swindle money from confused young men. You never had the life I had, ever. Or if he really believes what he says. All I am offering is... No, they never believe what they say, dude. He may believe, or he believes like 2% of it. These people will tell you whatever they need to tell you to sell shit. They would destroy a fucking nation. This, we already proven that, but... It's the truth. Yeah, it's a grift. Oh, The Matrix. I hate The Matrix. I, I hate the fucking movie was ever made. I actually like the movie. I hate it, though. I wish it never existed. I'm so tired of red-pilled and blue-pilled. Take both the pills and go fuck yourself. I'm so... Ah, oh, God. It's like he's corny, he's a goober, and then also at its worst, he's a uh, uh, alleged rapist and a sex trafficker, right? But outside of all of that, he does have a personality. He does have a stage presence. If I'm looking at it as, like, pure entertainment, and especially because, like, a lot of people do look at it as pure entertainment because, like, they don't even comprehend the impact of his words or they agree with him. I understand why people like it. Like, I, I he is he is a showman. Well, not alleged rapist. I mean, he is a rapist, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. didn't they get a voicemail of him saying to a woman, I love raping you? Literally, I'm not, I allegedly, because I'm not, I'm pretty sure that that was something he said. Yeah, I said alleged because, like, I don't know why I said that actually. Well, I guess that's a spoiler alert a little bit if you're just now tuning into this documentary. Yeah, we'll do, we'll do a sequel of this tomorrow. Yeah, he is a perfect wrestling heel. Perfect wrestling heel. And well, he was an MMA fighter, so it kind of works. You first appeared on our screens as a reality TV star. Neki Stranach, thank you for the five I've never seconds. been in this situation in my life so far. Damn, he was young. When was this? In my 21 years where I really wanted something and didn't get it. He had found an arena where controversial personalities thrive. I had to manipulate a lot of people to win. But something... He kind of looked like a dork. ...happened when Andrew was on Big Brother, one of the biggest reality TV shows of all time. This is Big Brother. Due to events Why did get in banned? the outside world, Andrew has had to leave. Maybe they thought uh, he was Andrew Tate. The Big Brother house. He was reportedly removed from the program when a video surfaced of him slapping his ex-girlfriend and then beating her with a belt. Gee, shocking. Hey, you stupid some of I didn't say the word listen. Did I say listen? It's almost like there's a pattern there. Did I say listen? No. Did I say it? He did. Oh, well, we'll watch more of it tomorrow. We may actually watch the non-Hassan commentary tomorrow. Public outrage simmered down after... Maybe we'll do it almost from the top. Too. Andrew released a video of his ex claiming it was all part of a so-called kinky game. It was just pure game. It's just what we used to do. But what the public didn't know, and what we can now reveal, is that around the time that Andrew was playing truth or dare in the Big Brother pool, the UK police had informed the production company that he was under investigation for two incidents involving other women. Wow. One of rape. More patterns. And a further of physical assault. In May 2021, Tate made reference to his arrest in an appearance on the Fresh and Fit podcast. I was like, who are you? They're like, you're under arrest for a suspicion of assault of this dumb hoe. And I'm like... Oh, uh, here... Yeah, dude, it's ridiculous. Like, Wait, is it dumb hoe? <laughs> they didn't... I could listen to Tate's stories all day long without get protect that man at all costs. Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, I'm going to protect her at anonymity. At, at, at I feel like there is more to this story. A nice guy. <laughs> Come home. During this same period, the Tate brothers were recruiting women for a webcam sex business and creating the first of their many online courses, teaching other men how to do the same. I am. Yeah, how to... Here, we could teach you how to human traffic. Come on. <laughs> Holy shit. Her everything. It doesn't matter if I fuck someone else because I'm her everything. She has nowhere else to go. His pimping hose degree. Dude, he did so many fucking videos like this is crazy. Like he, he did so many videos. where was just like basically admitting to all of this shit. Go. It was. Yeah, he, he's he, he's like, I hate saying them in the same name but he's like dsp his worst enemy is his own fucking mouth called the tate phd or pimping hose degree she was a fucking hoe and i spotted it instantly because she didn't humble herself when she was supposed to and i'm glad i didn't waste any more time on her because she's never going to be doing like my other girls do living in my house letting me fuck other women remaining loyal and fucking bringing me coffees and doing as i say andrew has closed down wow. the pimping hose degree to focus on the hustlers university 
Luke, your screen's compromised, yeah. So yeah. keep. Yeah, I'm not comparing Phil to. But super fucking vanilla. But with a historic rape allegation in the UK, and the Romanian police now looking into him for rape and human trafficking, I want to find out more about his methods of recruiting women. Did you at one point say no, that thank you, the sorry. girls who started as your girlfriends and then worked for the webcam industry, 100% of the profit goes to you? I think in a lot of households in the world today, the man is in charge of the investments. I think that's not an uncommon thing. Tell me a view I have that you think is genuinely insulting or destructive to society. I'd like to hear it. You would prefer younger women who are 18 or 19 because you can leave an imprint on them? No, when I say leave an imprint, I mean that. Oof. It's, uh, you, I, I understand what you're trying to say. You're trying to say that, like, if I get her, I can brainwash her. I'm not trying to say that. If you meet a girl who's- Just now realizing this motherfucker doesn't have a chin, he looks like a guppy fish. Just now you're realizing that? Yeah, he has, he has like, no chin like Leafy. <laughs> Brother, I guess that's- I don't really have a chin either, so I can't talk. That's why I have a beard. If I got rid of my beard, I'd have no chin. That's how powerful, like, fucking a, a persona that you put on can be, considering that, like, you know, even dudes in this community are like, wait a minute, like, I, I thought he had a chin this whole time. How the fuck did it take you this long to figure that out, man? I was 22 and you're her second boyfriend. She's probably, like, a nicer person. Less jaded, less upset, less suspicious. So you like to be in a position of power. It's not being in a position of power. It's about, I enjoy to show her amazing things. You're trying to attach things to the situation, which, are, which aren't. This, by the way, this argument that he made about like the purity thing was probably his most insecure. If you recall, he talked about how like he's, he's, uh, he wants to be the first to show these uh, women things and stuff like that, right? And it's like, it's so, like a lot of people were, were focusing on how gross it was. Meanwhile, I was looking at something entirely different because it just basically showed how fucking insecure he is. Like, he's worried. Well, all these guys that are like that. I know macho guys, quote unquote, in real life, man, that are like that. What's up, crazy banana? You just came in for the end because I'm stopping the stream in a minute. They're not. They're, it's, it, it, it's projection and anyone with moderate intelligence can see through it. But I, I hate to say it. Most people, I'm not saying I'm brilliant, I'm an, I have average intelligence, but most people don't even have average intelligence. Not, okay, not most, a lot of people don't have average intelligence. And these motherfuckers are like, suckers, suck the money out of their wallets. All right, guys, I'm clocking out like DSP. Uh, I have streamed literally eight hours today, I think, if we do the math. Um, I am... Gonna be back later today. I'm gonna go get some breast and rest, and I will see you tomorrow. Thank you for the support. You have been awesome. Have a good night.